Good morning, lovely jewellery makers. Guess what? I genuinely think it's been probably two, three months since I've seen this gorgeous lady. I'm with Monica. Hi. Yes. <laughs> yeah. How long has it? It's funny. Be it's funny because it happens in like stages. Like there's a while when I have all my shows with Carol. And then there's a while when I have all my shows with oh, you. Oh, so have I got lots of shows with you now? Well, maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. How have you been doing? Very good, thank you. Thank it's you, so yes. lovely to busy, see busy. you. Um, yes, busy, yes, busy. busy, busy. Because I think that's really where we should start today's show. Firstly, your jewellery is insane. Oh, thank you. So beautiful. But yes, you've been busy because your tutorial that you will get for free jewellery makers with Monica's projects is 21 pages. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a positive book. Yes, it, it just kept on going. I didn't, I didn't think it would be that long, to be honest with you. Uh, okay, so not this one. These, these are your nine o'clock, right? These are the nine o'clock, These are the yeah. nine o'clock, so which are, are equally awesome. Yeah, that's a, that tutorial is a little bit shorter, but even that is, I'll tell you in a second, how many steps. Oh. So that one is 24 steps. Oh, just, just, just 24. Um, <laughs> but the other project, how many steps is that? 119. <laughs> 100. Oh, wow, though. I tell you what. It Monica. is made in stages, so you can do bits of it at a time. You don't have to do it all at once. All at once. <laughs> I mean, yeah, multiple Sorry, techniques, a lot of learning, all go. in one amazing project. I think you've just taken the record. Have I? Yeah. Well, well thought, you've got to have taken the record, I as in... Really. I know this is longer than any of the booklets um, that I wrote previously, the ones that we actually sold, Yeah. rather than the oh, ones really? that came free. Yeah, it's longer so than it's any longer of those. So it's longer than the sold ones? Yeah, that, the longest one of those was 12 pages. Okay. Um, and you get this for free? Yes. With the project. <laughs> so that's at 12 o'clock today. Of course, yeah. you can see the most beautiful jadeite high goose yes. both in the black and the white as well and there's a green one as well which is is there you yes. get all you've got I mean, a choice of all three oh, oh my goodness where do i put it there that's the green one monica they're absolutely amazing absolutely amazing <coughs> so i can't wait for that project at 12 o'clock so that's at 12 o'clock yeah but again not to be outshone your nine o'clock uh, projects are equally awesome yes look I've at got, all the sparkle yes I've got bicones with seed beads, of course, and there's leather cord, and there is there are threader earrings, and I couldn't resist doing a bit of um, kiss cross as well. Why not? But it's got my own touch in the middle, so that's a little fine. bit of a Monica twist. <laughs> yeah, Monica twist. Oh, speak. Oh, speaking of, because we just said Monica twist. I don't know if she's watching right now, but congratulations to our lovely Gemma Yay. Crow. Yay. <laughs> Do you know when you just watch on Facebook, like for, as an outsider, what looking in, you're just like, they're bound to get engaged, oh, aren't they? Yeah, I, I always thought that they're like perfect for each other from, yeah. from what you see on Facebook, obviously. You yeah. could just see, I, and I saw it with you, Ross, as well. I saw it you and Coco. You just could see that it was bound yeah. to happen, and the, just the sheer happiness on oh, their faces. And that, that picture that she posted with, when she's laughing when he, when he proposed, obviously, a few minutes yeah. later. Oh, she just looks so happy, doesn't she? She does. It's so wonderful. Yeah. So I don't know if she's watching, but massive congratulations, Gemma. We're so pleased for you. Now, back to the show. Yes. Because let's have a little look down the menu, shall we? Because you've got um, just uh, five hours of awesomeness. <laughs> um, so your early bird, we're actually going to tiptoe over until the nine o'clock hour because we've got massive quantity of them. Mm -hmm. So we don't want them to time out, basically. Okay. Um, and they are all about your stoppers. Well, that's good because I saw this list earlier on, obviously, and I was thinking about the stoppers. And actually, in one of my tutorials, if it's the kind of stopper I'm thinking of, I used it. Is it? Uh... I'll show you. You actually get this. The menu suggests you get you get one, but you don't. You get you've we've got two two separate auctions with the silica in the middle. So ah. can you see? So that's the diamond cut swirl. See how they're joined together? Yeah, with the silica in the centre. But you also have disco balls. Oh well, that's not what I was thinking of. I was thinking of to use in your making, but this mm -hmm. is even better because actually this works perfectly also. Like a lariat, yeah, yeah, with the cord the or the chains. If you bought meter long lengths of chains and you're not a yeah. solderer, you can literally bring it through these, and it works as a, a as a lariat style. Yeah. These are going to absolutely fly. So they're your early bird. They're not in this hour yet, 
because we've tiptoed them over. They're going to be brought to you at nine o'clock on the dot, and that's because of the quad today. Five hundred. Oh. Is that five hundred across the two? No. It's a thousand across okay. the two. Oh, five hundred and one. Five hundred. Chance of getting some at the end yes. of the day. <laughs> one of the biggest auctions of the year and one that is you know this is the thing because how many times have you watched maybe a meter long length sterling silver chain not yeah. bought it because you thought i don't solder or i don't know how to finish it that's solving that because you could wear that at the front or the back doesn't yeah. have to be at the front on the wrist as well yeah um so i don't think people are just going to be getting the one so that's at nine o'clock on the nose it's going to be a massive auction um then into your nine o'clock is all about your beautiful bi cones yes full of sparkle perfect yes. for summer amazing um and your seed beads 10 o'clock today you saw it just before we came live you've got the most amazing deal of the day strand in your yellow and blue diamonds Ooh. but they are, I mean, we've brought diamonds before, but these are some of the biggest that we have ever done. Um, they are colossal wow. in their individual size. I thought so. I can, I can actually guarantee that. They are the largest fancy colored diamonds we've ever brought to air. Wow. Um, I mean, look at that yellow diamond. Look at the blue diamond. Yeah, they're amazing. If you think about yellow, if you think about these colours, so with blue, you think about the Hope Diamond, don't you? With yellow, you think about the Tiffany's & Co, that canary yellow piece that Lady Gaga wore. Um, just, I'm, I'm not comparing, obviously, those two, but just in terms of their openness, their quality and saturation, make that comparison, I suppose, um, when you're trying to sort of focus on, yeah, it, you know, is this good grade? You can see the quality of those diamonds. So they're the biggest that we've done in fancy diamonds diamonds they're also some of the finest quality so that's at 10 o'clock today jewelry makers um one thing i don't know let me just double check okay yeah there's 51 available of those so not as many as i'd hope but it, they are diamonds so that's the thing um diamonds believe it or not are actually um one of the big, the greatest challenges for our wane at the moment because the price of diamonds has skyrocketed we had yeah, black faceted rounds a few months ago and they absolutely flew out the door. Um, that tells me that yellow and blue will go even faster. Um, but they are very, very difficult to get hold of at the moment because, like I said, the price has gone through the roof of diamonds. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got some last of stock collectors opportunities, jewellery makers. Very exciting hour. We've got some beautiful Tahitians, the most amazing Tahitian pearls a trio of and they're huge as well you've got some of your blue marbe pearls in there um you've got last of stock birthday celebration pearls you get all of those there's 11 wow. left you get all of them the price wow. that you pay for that bundle it's ingrained in my mind this is you're basically buying one of those pearls and you're getting the other four for free wow. it's that good ross bought it wow. it's that good a deal ross bought the pot yeah and I, I don't I don't blame you for making that purchase, Roscoe. I think that was very sensible. Um, you're saving them for a rainy day. Oh, well, you're not going to regret that, are you? Yeah, you're not going to regret that purchase. Um, then at 12 o'clock, it's about that amazing necklace, the 21-page booklet that gets, <laughs> comes with this project, um, written by our, our wonderful Monica. That's coming your way, but again, I need to point out there's less than 50 of each of those colorways, so please make sure that you do check out nice and early. As always, um, text in, come and say hello. It's always hot in this studio, though, when we get in in the morning. Do you find it hot? A little bit, yeah. It's quite much it's stuffy. It's stuffy. <laughs> it's like it's it's all no no ventilation in the morning. And so when you come in, you're like, oh, God, it's stuffy, stuffy. Um, right then, should we get cracking? Shall we? Let's go. Okay, I'm going to start with some beautiful lavender. Bit of Ooh. this is a bit of you, Monica, isn't it? Bit of lavender fluorite. Yes. I saw that kitchen you Did uploaded. You see it? <laughs> I was like, ooh, uh, not for me, yeah, but I can see why somebody who loves purple would love it. Yeah. Although, mind you, that's a little bit too much purple, even for me. <laughs> if you, even if you did like the floor or the worktop, all yeah. the cupboards, but all of it. Is it right. Yeah. Are you ready, Monica? <laughs> because we haven't worked together in a while. No. Um, you might not realise that Ross has become accustomed to doing certain things. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm that worried. sounds very wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> That's his fault. That that's it, Monica. What? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a burned. It's a burned. Oh god. Ross, 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 Ross. It's gone. Well done. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> Let's do one. Okay. Yeah, a bit of goldstone. Oh, lovely. Um, goldstone. I know our graphics say sandstone, but it is goldstone. Yeah. Uh, right now, a double point, a double point, lovely. How about under ten pounds? Yeah, that's very good, isn't it? Great, and there is a drill hole. Can you see the drill hole? It's kind of through the midriff. Oh, that's quite nice because you can use it as a toggle as well. Let me just double check. Double check. I think it looks, it looks like it goes through the middle in the picture. At least, so is that not it? Oh, or you could wire wrap length? it, whichever you wanted to. Uh, nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Yeah, you could use it in toggles. Yes. Um, you could use it in your wire wrapping. Tell you what, for your goldstone, beautiful man-made creation, full of sparkle. How about under five pounds? Wow. Four ninety-nine, Monica. Oh gosh. There's over a hundred of these, Monica. Thirty seconds on your screens. You know what's going to happen. Let me just warm up the vocals. <coughs> <laughs> I'm holding my breath because I thought I heard him say what he's going yeah. to, but <laughs> there's your first clip. It's going to, you know it. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> It's a pound! Oh it's a pound! <laughs> one pound! One pound! We've got a hundred! Get them gone! Get them gone! Wow. Amazing! Jennifer snapped up ten. Dawn, well done. Sharon's multi bought. Natalie's got five. Rachel's got four. Susan's got three. Morning, everybody! Hope you're well. Did you enjoy the sunshine? Very nice bit of sunshine the past couple of days, haven't we? Oh, I didn't notice I was writing my book. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Monica had her head written in a novel that she was writing. You literally wrote a novel, <laughs> haven't you? A jewellery making tutorial novel. Well, I did, I did novel. say on my Facebook post, how many pages do you need for it to be a book rather than a book? Oh, it's booklet? definitely a book. I don't think 21 makes a book, does it? I, I, I don't know, because yeah. you've got to remember this. Each step could justify a page. Oh, yeah, okay. Then it would be 120 pages, okay? Yeah, so, yeah. It's got, I mean, that's a lot, isn't it? And yeah, we all, and how many hours? Do we know how many hours? Well, just the writing and, and laying it all out in the booklet was 11 hours, which I did non stop. Right. <laughs> there you go. And that doesn't include. And you uh, get that for free, jewelry makers. Yeah, I took 180 photos, but I only used 120 in the end. Wow. You get it for free with your project. Um, we had 100. I don't have 100 anymore. There's lots of multipliers. Jennifer and Sorry says, I'll have 20 at that price. Thank yeah. you very much, jewelry maker. I mean, how can you not multiply that? I mean, that's. Mm, precisely. I mean, as soon as you use it, you're going to wish you had more, so. Yeah. Because, that, yeah, you could do so much with it. Uh, hello, Mark. What a joy to be watching two of the most beautiful and extraordinary people. Oh, bless you. I have Aww. the privilege of calling friends. Lots of love, Mark. Mwah. Oh, we love you, Mark. <laughs> Isn't he a sweetheart? We love you, Mark. I miss you. See, we were talking about that. I haven't seen Mark properly in ages. I don't think I've seen Mark in person since we left Ivy House. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. See, that's the thing. Uh, here at Jewelry Maker, we're like ships passing in the night. Yeah. I don't see Carol from, like, usually semi-annually I'll actually see Carol. Yeah. So, very yeah. rare. Very rare, because obviously we're all on opposite, opposite uh, yeah. um, shows. Um, mwah, we love you, Mark. We love you. Hope your elbow's doing okay. Bless him. Because he's a tennis elbow. He's struggling with it. I hope you're feeling all right, darling. Um, okay, let's bring you some Blanca Onyx, shall we? A beautiful parcel of that comes box like so. Great if you do things like your gem setting. Yes. CB bezeling. Yes. Yes. Why work? Yes. All of the above. You're getting nine carats of. They're all nine by seven millimeters. Guess what? It's a pound. Wow. Yeah, I mean, the box shouldn't be a pound, should it? You can use those for bead embroidery as well. Bead embroidery. Mm -hmm. Shibori. Yes. 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 It's a pound <laughs> for the box alone. 
Oh, Ross, that's a good one. That's a good one. Broncoronics, one of the biggest launches of what was it, 2022? And not just one, it is five, yeah, with the box. Six components, basically. Isn't it? It's very good. Very, very good. All the minuses on our end, but fantastic for you guys. Um, hello, Oxfordshire. Susan, Joanne, Rachel. Hello to you, Linda, Northumberland, Dawn, Nora, Angela, Pauline, Veronica, and Natalie in Gloucestershire. Hello to you. Uh, make sure you're checking out. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Very ethereal. Very, very ethereal. Do you know what I did on my days off? Planned an eighth birthday party. Ooh. Eight birthday parties are very different to when I had an eighth birthday party. Yeah. You know, it's like, Mummy, I want, I'd like a DJ, please. I have Willow. I, I have said to Willow, you're not having any more parties after this. You're getting to an age now. That this is your last party. Okay, yeah, make the most of it. Right, book the DJ. <laughs> no, she, no, she. We said what we not. I'm not saying she can't ever have a. Well, no, she can't have a party until she's like eighteen. 18th I think fair she what we said we do is like next birthday she can go I don't know to a theme park with a friend yeah. parties are expensive you see I pulled that all the stops for my son's 11th because we had actual real genuine firefighters with fire trucks oh god now you're making me feel it bad. wasn't on purpose though <laughs> oh really <laughs> somebody got stuck in the lift oh no <laughs> So they, found, they sent seven firefighters and two trucks so that one of them could go to the lift and turn a key. Wow, so did they all get on the fire fire truck? No, they didn't. Well, the oh. fire truck was there, so we were like in a, it was like a laser shooting place. Oh. But they, they came in and sort of crashed our party, so we got all the photos with the firefighters. Oh, there you go. That's cool, isn't it? That's I said cool. to my son, he's not having them again, and he's 12. No, I mean, we, we had, um, we've had Elsa and Rapunzel oh, for nice. Tiggy and Willow's birthday parties, separate oh. birthday parties. Um, <laughs> do you know it's it's it was one of those the kids weren't even remotely interested in either of them. Oh wow! So then, of course, it's just like the circle of grown-ups there going, let it go, trying to try, <laughs> because you feel bad for her. Yeah. So you're trying to have a little sing song, but the kids weren't even remotely interested. Oh in no! It. So at least with this DJ who I've got really for a really good price, um, he doesn't. I'm not going to have that embarrassment, am I? Yeah. So that's good. So when Let's, is it? When is it? This is at uh, the end of J July, so oh, right. that's what I've sorted. Um, moving on to, what do you say? Jet. Ooh, jet in four mils. Ooh. I can't, did we have jet in four mils when we relaunched it a couple of years ago? Um, very cool organic gemstone. Well, that basically means it forms from a living organism that once was a monkey puzzle tree millions and millions and millions of years ago very cool gemstone um hugely historic it was a gemstone that was uh, well queen victoria wore it obviously as a symbol of mourning uh, now those days are gone now it's very much a fashionable gemstone um and very lightweight as well because once upon it was yeah. actually uh, um well, it's a wood it's a type of wood fossilized wood mm -hmm. um we're at 79.99 which is an absolutely incredible price i mean we've shown you in the past jet necklaces jet uh, pieces of jewellery, rings and things like that, that, you know, normally are three figures upwards. I think there was one beaded necklace that I showed you some time ago that was about £3,000, wasn't it? Oh. And it's simple knotting. Um, it might have been slightly bigger than this, but still definitely in the four figures. Now, this is totally and utterly natural jewellery makers. We can't have many of these available. 16, I knew that was the case. When we first got Jet in, says Ross, very expensive. Yeah, absolutely very yeah it's so difficult to get hold of jet so so difficult like i said in the whole of tucson i kid you not there was no jet that is not just a, an online joke there was no jet in the whole of tucson um and i asked believe me i asked you only have to ask Ange or tobes or anybody that was with or, or or dave i asked believe me yeah so you get classic beaded graduated necklace three thousand four hundred pounds um, and you've got to remember, I was asking in, in the height of, it's really hot in Arizona, mm. as you can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Even <laughs> though it was at the beginning, really? Even <laughs> though it was at the beginning of the year, it was so hot. Wow. Very cold at night. Yeah. But very, very hot by day. So pounding the streets, yeah, yeah. Look at the state on me. <laughs> you can, <laughs> I, you can see, yeah. Look at the. <laughs> 
You can see I was getting, that was the end of t Tepper. We're at £24.99. pence. Are you ready for your early bird price jewellery makers? Oh yeah, knotting this with some red silk. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, oh with a tassel. Ooh, tassel. Because they're nice and lightweight. Oh. Right, we're going to do one minute at this price. Or putting it with this kit. Or put it with Monica's oh, amazing yeah. black jadeite project. Yeah. Yes! That's coming up at 12. Are you ready? One minute at this price, jewellery makers. We shouldn't have jet anywhere lower than what's on your screens. Or oh goodness me, that's that's agreed. Wow. <laughs> Ag totally agreed. <laughs> Ross has just said, I think that might be the lowest price we've ever done jet for. Totally agree. Totally agree. This is not a nine ninety nine gemstone. Jet is expensive. Very, very expensive to get hold of. It's very difficult to get hold of because it is uber rare. Might even be up there with one of the rarest of your organic gemstones, you know, Jet. Um, but, I mean, you might ask yourself how often does a jewelry maker have it? Very, very, very seldom. Couldn't do a showcase of Jet. Um, whenever we do have it, it, it's gone in that one showcase. Um, I only had 16. It is looking like it's going to be as... Oh, okay, there's only five now. Uh, Liz, five. Natalie's got three. Simone, Angela, Neil and Linda. I've got Susan, Maker, Maker, Vera, uh, Mary Ann, Elaine in Essex, Northampton, all there. Linda in Hertfordshire. Make sure you're checking out. I only had 16. 9.99. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Should we do those next? Let's do some spaces. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, we launched these the other day, didn't we? They're lovely. They're very beautiful. Now, there's only 40 of them left. They are solid 925 sterling silver. And what I, um, Debs and I were talking about the fact they're, they're feather. There's a feather, like a coiled feather. Oh, yeah. So you've got that lovely meaning of the feather. Yes. Because they believe it's messages, don't oh, they? Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? They're beautiful, and sometimes you might not want to wear like a, a leather pendant or a charm, yes. uh, you know, because obviously that raises questions. But it, this is a nice way of having that meaning without it being an yes. obvious one. Does yes, that make absolutely, sense? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. There's also a huge amount of silver. Now we had a massive quantity of these when we first launched them, jewelry makers. We're down to the last forty something. Exactly forty. There you go. Um, and you do get all three really beautiful two grams of solid sterling silver, even here at twenty nine ninety nine. You pop pop into Pandora, you'd not be paying twenty nine ninety nine for three, you. <laughs> I think you'd be hard pushed to pay that for one. One, yeah, exactly. Ross says this next price crash, I think, is fair. Even if we were to stop here, he says I think it's fair. Yeah, I agree. Five pound <laughs> each. That's amazing. It's silver. They're not base metal. Yeah. They are solid 925 sterling silver and they're not flimsy either. That's why I turned this one on its side profile so you can yeah. see the thickness of the gram weight. Yeah, yeah. nice nice big hole. You could put maybe your cords or your tassels through. Oh, you could use it as a, like a slidey bit on a tassel, couldn't you? Yes. And you could you could technically get, I would say, probably a four or five millimeter cord through that. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Macrame. Yes. You could do it with macrame or kumihimo. Um, now we've got 40 left. These flew on the launch. We don't stop there, jewelry makers. £3.33 each. Wow. For silver. <laughs> where else? A genuine, genuine question. Where else in the world would you get solid sterling silver? A piece of jewellery, effectively. Wow. You could feed that directly yeah. onto a chain, couldn't you? Absolutely. Where else in the world will you get it for £3.33? Mm. Seriously. You know, if you pop into, I don't know, H&M, new look. Yeah. You're not going to find their costume jewellery for £3.33. Yeah. You're getting precious metal. I only have 40, though, jewellery makers. It's like we've just woken up to that deal. Seriously, though. Oh, Ross is saying, not woken up enough. 30 seconds on your screen. See, the, the hole in those is big enough if you wanted to make a necklace kind of like this one and yes the, the leather cord that's coming up in the nine o'clock project two of those would go through there lovely yeah and you could have instead of the bead instead of that bead there yeah one of the sterling silver ones oh, beautiful so yeah. it's going to hold it together that's a nice idea 10 seconds we're going to go even lower jewelry makers can you believe that 
We shouldn't be. That's already £3.33. You've got that lovely detailing of the feather as well. I can't, I, I, I'm, I, I'm actually speechless. I pay 9 99 for one. <laughs> I paid seven ninety nine for one. Yeah. It's a precious nine two five sterling silver charm pendant, whichever way you want to look at it. But you get three. Buy one, buy one, get two free. Yeah. Again, ha, ha, listen, I'm not discrediting. I hugely, hugely compliment Pandora on their marketing. Yeah. Their marketing is genius. Yeah. Literally genius. Um, would I buy it? No, because it's I I I do think it's yeah. quite expensive, and and to be truthful, I can come to jewelry maker and get absolutely, absolutely. I don't have any Pandora. No, no, me. <laughs> no, I have bought it for friends because even, they I like Pandora. I haven't even bought it for friends. <laughs> but I I I wouldn't because I think it yeah it's expensive. Yeah. Whereas this seven ninety nine you get all three. Twenty have gone. I can't believe that we had forty. What are you doing, Ross? For all three. Oh wow. <laughs> You're not paying fourteen ninety nine. You're not paying nine ninety nine. We are going lower on these. I can't believe it though. Wow. And they're not base metal. These are solid nine two five. Two grams. You know, I, I mean, I'm not saying I would do this, but just for the sheer gram weight alone, you could melt it down, couldn't you? Oh no, that would be a crime. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I would do it. Yeah, absolutely. But for the gram weight alone. Yeah, yeah. You could. You could solder them. No, still not enough people. If you want us to go lower, this is the last 30 seconds though. We will take it lower, but they need to be an on-screen sellout there, jewel makers. That's ridiculous. I can't believe, I cannot believe we're doing this. If it was base metal, yeah, okay, fine. But not for solid 925 sterling silver. And the reason why that one sat at a weird angle is so you can see that it's solid. You can see the thickness. You can see yeah. that beautiful gram weight. You can obviously see that detailing. £7.99. No, going even lower. We had 40. Mary Ann's got two. Cambridge has got four. Andrew's got three. Susan's got two. That's more like it. As if. Oh. As if, I, I I almost want to like it just as an exercise that you know the out what the outcome is going to be. I almost want to go into a jeweler's and say, "Hi, can I buy, I don't know, a charm?" But I've got seven pounds. <laughs> can you imagine what their reaction is going to be? Yeah, have you got anything for seven pounds? Yeah, you can have a gift box, <laughs> a bag. Yeah. yeah, you can get a little plastic bag. That'll, even that's going to cost you. You know, that's the thing. <laughs> Genuinely, what can you buy for seven pounds in a jewelry box, in a jewelry store? Not much, can you? If anything, well done, everybody. You've got three beautiful charms or pendants, whatever way you look at it, um, and that's working out at two pounds thirty-three each. Crazy. Natalie's got five. Well done. They've sold out. Congratulations, everybody. We knew it was going to be the case. Those with, oh, you could put them with your projects as well at twelve o'clock, couldn't you? Yes. You could put them with a the jet, they'd be amazing. Absolutely. Okay, should we do a brand new low on a gorgeous malachite strand? There are only 11 available. We're gonna clear the vault on one of our most popular gemstones, beautiful malachite. Of course, this very shallow forming gemstone that's copper rich, literally forms in stalactites and stalagmites. Love it. Um, that's natural color. Now there's 11 within the vault. We're going to take it to a brand new low for you. How amazing is that? These wonderful um, dramatic patterns. Remember, malachite in the gemstone world is that outlandish, eccentric, once seen, never forgotten. Um, bit like Ross. Um, do you want to see the should be price? Should be. 49.99, but then we're going to go to a brand new low. 30 seconds, wow. it's got to be a sellout though. Ross, would you say you're an outlandish eccentric? <laughs> uh, uh, not really, no. Adam, would you say you're eccentric? No, no. Dan? No? 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 no, I don't think any of us could say we're eccentric, really, are mm, we? No, I don't think so. No. Pleasure. 
Come hey? to mind. Kleshner comes Kleshner to mind. Kleshner was eccentric, yes, absolutely. Yeah, amazing, definitely. Yeah. Colourful. It's yeah. very colourful. Brand new low. Take advantage. It is natural. You can see that beautiful quality. Van Cleef and Arpel, Chopper, Piaget. Lola Rose, Ashley Clark, all of the big designers working with Malachite. Never been to that price point before. £29.99, pence, lovely jewellery makers. Hello, Amanda. Susan in Norfolk wants two. Carolyn in Surrey and Mary Ann in London. Make sure you check it out, ladies and gents, um, to guarantee your success. Now, you could, of course, just put this onto elastic. You could, but I'm thinking to put it with a four millimetre jet that we had and space it out oh, a bit more nice. so you can have a, a curve and make it into a necklace. Lovely. Yeah. Because they're double drilled as well, aren't yeah. they? Well, the, the, the rectangles. Yeah. Double drilled. I mean, look at the quality of that malachite. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that quality. You've got a bullseye there. You've got a bullseye. Sorry. <laughs> that is, to anybody that doesn't know what I'm talking about, that's a very odd saying, isn't it? But, you know, the <laughs> circles that you sometimes see within malachite. Um, that's what we refer to as bullseye. There's a bullseye as well. You pay a premium for the actual eye of the gemstone. We literally cannot go a penny lower than this. It's already way, way, way lower than we should be. This is absolute rock bottom. We, we cannot go any lower on this one. Um, the quality of that malachite is incredible. I don't think it takes me to say it. You can see it's all about the distinctive separations of greens within that beautiful gemstone. This one at the front and centre now, that's like I said, bullseye or peacock's eye. Um, if you imagine something dripping down like a stalactite or stalagmite would actually form, it's the heart of that. So you pay a premium for that one. Um, yeah, the centre effectively, yeah. 29.99 is a brand new low. We cannot go a single penny lower. So good luck to everybody. We've only got 11 of them within the vault, but I have got quite a few of you with it in your basket. The fact they beautifully graduate there as well. Padem. Yeah, make sure you're checking out everybody. I love malachite with pearls. Oh yes. I think that's a gorgeous yes. combination. Just the contrast, I think. The intensity yeah. of the malachite. and then the Malachite the... is one of those that you can make, make it look so different depending on what you put it with, I think. Yeah can be sort of dark and mysterious if you put it with something like jet or it can be a bit more sort of cheerful if you put it with pearls I, I totally think. agree yeah 100% yeah, that's a really good point actually just literally yeah. swapping out the colours well done everybody stay where you are on those phone lines again coming up your early bird we've actually tiptoed into the nine o'clock hour so we're going to be playing that on the nose at nine o'clock you've got two opportunities you can't pre-order on these just yet so um, they're your slider stoppers so can you see if I show you that one can you see in the center that there's silica? Like you would on a slider bracelet. Um, so you could put cords, chains, leathers, whichever for. They are sterling silver. You get. I've got two different designs, so 500 of each auction opportunity. So stock up on these. And the reason why they, um, they're together is basically so that, for example, if you have got a sterling silver chain, you could literally just put the two ends together and then it becomes the fastening, um, also adjustable. So they're coming up at nine o'clock, jewelry makers. Um, up until then, we'll bring you some more early bird deals. Should we do a brand new low on some strawberry quartz? Another Uber Rare Collector's Gemstone. This should be in the, in the 11 o'clock hour, Ross. Shouldn't it? Because it's a collector's strand. Um, a form of, this is, this is a sargonetic quartz. What that basically means is it gets its color from the internal inclusions. Very rare to get it in red. Um, and the red comes from, from little tiny dots of hematite, basically, that naturally occurs. Um, we've shown you in the past pieces of strawberry quartz that sold at Sotheby's, Christie's and Bonhams for four figures. Um, we have 20 of these. We're going to bring it to you for a brand new low price tag. Yeah, with, the, with strawberry quartz, it has to have a certain element of clarity because obviously you wouldn't see the little pips. But um, you also want the little pips at the same time to bring you that colour intensity. So this is perfect. Textbook quality. Um, often gives you a little bit of a shiller to it as well from the sort of metallicness of the hematite. 99.99 is where we should be. It's not where we are closing today, jewellery makers. I'll show you the launch price. But beautiful, natural, and you want it to be natural as well. If you see a treatment on strawberry quartz, then I would have a red flag because it's not technically speaking strawberry quartz if it's treated. This is natural. That's our launch. Very good. Very good. When you consider what they would cost at an auction house. Today, for the last few, 20 available. 
Shall we do a brand new low? And that brand new low is, if there's enough people, should we take this under £20 today? Shall we? If there's enough people, 60 seconds on your screens, show Ross the love, pop it in your basket, pick up the phone lines, even if you don't press your option one. If there's enough of you there, we'll take it to a brand new low. Look at those together. Oh, I was just going to say, it's a very sophisticated pink, isn't it? It is, yeah. Especially when you put it with pearls. Yeah. It's lovely together. And it'll, it will actually reflect on the pearls yes. as well, so you get this lovely bluish uh, um, orient to your pearls too. It's totally natural. This is already an amazing price. It's launch. But we will take it under £20 if wow. there is enough of you there. You've got 20... We need three more people. There we go. If we say... Uh, yeah. We need three more people to either add it to their baskets or to pick up the phone lines, jewelry makers, for us to quantify that price drop. You know, that's not a small amount off, is it? It's not small. You, you're less than half. Less than half. More than half, whichever way you look at it. Um, Susan's got two. Well done. You're not alone, Susan, though. I've got Marcia, Cara, Maker, Angela, um, London. Hello to Gloria in Staffordshire, Mary Ann, and Andrea Knotts. Everybody's paying this amazing brand new low today. Well done, nineteen ninety nine. Listen, twenty is not really. I don't know. Actually, I was going to say twenty is not a viable quantity for us, but for something like strawberry quartz, it probably is because it's so rare. We probably would never have had a massive quantity of your strawberry quartz given the rarity of the gemstone. Don't be fooled by the term quartz. Quartz as a gemstone is rare. Um, quartz as a mineral, not so much, but um, you know. Pristine, eye clean, clear quartz, very rare. Um, sargonetic quartz, quartzes, like your uh, golden rutile, your strawberry quartz, incredibly rare. Because it ha basically has a gemstone in a gemstone. All right. Which I find very, very cool. Yes. So cool. Little tiny hematite yeah. pips. It's fascinating, isn't it? It is, yeah. Little yeah, tiny it's, it's amazing hematite. how it looks pink when you don't think of hematite as being pink. But if you think about... Um, See, see, hematite in its natural form is actually quite a russet red. Oh, is it? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, like a russet. Not a russet. <sighs> a rus. A what? What did you hear? <laughs> I didn't say erotic either. No, not erotic. <laughs> a russet. Very, very different. Not erotic. Russet. Um, well done. Can you believe this hasn't sold out yet? Natalie, Janet, Jackie, Karen, Angela, Susan, well done. Um, and Amanda, I think that was. Gloria, Marcia, Susan, Mary Ann. I've got single figures. It's got to be a sellout for strawberry courts. And also, it's top quality strawberry courts. Lesser grade would be, wouldn't have that intensity of colour. Would be a little bit more of a powder pink. Um, you, you look we've shown you powerpoints before haven't we we've shown you specimens not even beads you know little little three inch specimens of strawberry quartz that were that were like sold at auction for thousands of pounds and again the quality the reason why it's so expensive is because of the quality of the strawberry quartz it's that deep red um almost like strawberry jam and that comes solely from the hematite inclusions inside and this is one of the more affordable ones says roscoe i can show you yeah yeah look at that one bead a cat's eye strawberry quartz over a thousand dollars wow where's that? in 2006 ross where's that like kind of weird free form shape have you got that that one yeah two and a half grand there you go another one and also i don't know if, look look if you look in the specifications actually as well it says somewhere the sizes of these, they're not massive. They're not massive, 2,000 pounds for that one. Look at that one, eight centimeters, six and a half thousand pounds. Oh, wow. It's a very strange shape. <laughs> There's five left with 22 of you with it in your basket. Well done, everyone, congratulations. They will sell out because we're over allocated. Um, did you say minute to close? Clock to close, yeah. 
hello Lida, hello to Karen, hello to Angela, hello to Maker, hello to Gloria, hello to uh, another Linda, Susan, Mary and Angela Marcia, Rosita in Birmingham as well, make sure you're checking out your baskets everyone, totally natural, beautiful strawberry quartz, again, not caught, we think of quartz as abundant, don't we, and that's, yes, that's true if we're talking about the mineral, um, quartz as a gemstone is a very different entity, especially when we're talking about the likes of your sargonetic quartzes, like strawberry quartz, um you know they are very very collectible like i said you've just seen their one piece 8.3 centimeters for 6688 pounds it's not even a finished piece of jewelry i don't even know what it is it's like a shape it's a very strange shape it's a pretty shape but i don't know what you do with it it's almost like they started cutting it as a shape and then they kind and of then stopped just halfway down <laughs> yeah. yeah i'll just stop it there that's true <laughs> yeah. i'll just do the top bit just go do the top bit um, I've got one left. I'll leave it with you. Well done, everybody. The most requested item of the hour. Oh, they're Ooh. amazing, these Ripple Pearls. Absolutely amazing. Um, there's only four. Gorgeous Dan. He knows. There's what, sorry, Ross. Thank you. <laughs> Sally Adams just said, if someone's just tuned in, they've just heard this. <laughs> Gorgeous Dan, he knows. <laughs> you do know, don't you, Dan? He knows. <laughs> one, thing, one thing they always say about our Dan is he does know. <laughs> he knows. Um, he knows that I want the gold bust. That's what I was referring to. Um, okay, there's four available jewellery makers. One of the hottest trends in the pearl world are ripple pearls, where they basically have an abundance of nacre, nacre being the rare precious material that makes up the value of your pearls. Now, when an oyster produces an abundance of it, obviously it kind of folds, it creates beautiful ripple textures across the surface, and that adds, uh, creates like a... Um, a wonderful orient basically which is how reflective your pearl is of all your virtues so remember there's technically there's more than five virtues but we always simplify it to the five so we're talking about size these are big pearls shape these are your baroque pearls one of the hottest trends uh, then we start talking about color this is all natural they're not dyed then we start talking about your nacre and your orient which are closely linked nacre i've just explained uh, ripple pearls have lots of nacre so that's what you're looking for in a pearl you want lots of nacre which leads into the high reflective metallic like orient that you're seeing on these there are only four available jewelry makers um sorry three somebody's already checked out so well done to you we are going to take these to an early bird low price tag so well done and thank you for your trust again look at that you get beautiful sashes of purple you get amazing pistachio colors deep golds um big 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 metallic ripple pearls i mean look at the measurements up to 12 millimeters in their size I, look I'm, I'm not sitting here saying three and a half thousand pounds is not a small amount of money of course it is however for pearls it's not not in the current market pearls have never been more expensive than they are right now um the, the pearl world has gone completely crazy. The fact I have before me pearls on this desk is, 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 is amazing. I only ever purchased, not me, we only ever purchased 32. That speaks volumes. Gone are the days where jewelry maker used to be able to bring you hundreds of pearls. We can't do it anymore. We just don't have the access to them anymore. 1,499 pounds. Now, let me rephrase that. We can, we have got access to them, but we have to pay more than that. We can buy them for you, we can bring you pearls, but we would have to pay the higher prices. And that's the challenge. In fact, George has just walked past, she's obviously just gone into work. She, she has openly said, I can get Edison pearls, but they're, they're very expensive. Can't get South Sea, can't get Tahitian pearls, can't get freshwater pearls, can't get ripple pearls. So even here at £1,499, that's a deal. It is a deal. You try and find any pearl trader in the world that brings you high-end pearls for anywhere near that price tag. But today, there's those three magic words, close out deal. Natural, not dyed. 
natural golden ripple pearls today under 500 pounds and look you've got your five-way split pay there as well 0% interest um, so you can break it down into bite-sized chunks for me Monica and I've been talking about shouting about this I'll be really upset if they launch gold without us Roscoe because how long mm. have we been talking about gold findings yeah, yeah I, mean, I think I th he wouldn't do that to us would he no yeah, I'd absolutely put that with gold. I agree with you. This is the thing. Yeah. This is what look, I'm not. I haven't got any problem with silver, but there's pearls like this which de deserve gold, yeah. don't they? Yeah. And and you'd be surprised actually. You can get some gold class for a fairly good price in actual fact. So if you, as soon as you put this on something like nine carat, fourteen carat, or even eighteen carat, whichever you wish, you're yeah. immediately elevating the absolutely. price tag straight away. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Straight away. There are two left. Okay, we don't want to be left with two. This is ridiculous. We could sell them back into the trade very easily. However, we wouldn't have much of a TV channel if we did that. 30 <laughs> seconds, let's take it even lower, shall we? You will be one of 32 people that will own, maybe even less actually, because some people might have multi-bought, um, that will, can say that they own these pearls. Ripple pearls, like I said, they've got an abundance of nacre, which is you want nacre on your pearls because that's what gives them their orient. That's what gives, gives them their luster. Massive closeout deal for you today, jewelry makers. You won't find a better deal than this. Genuinely, I believe that. You won't find a better deal for ripple pearls, particularly with natural multicolors and they're naturally metallic. All of the above. Yeah, that's silly. I genuinely, you won't find a better price. Yeah, get them home. Fall in love with them. You've got 30 days, no questions asked. Get a second opinion if you want. How many jewelers will do that? Say to you, yeah, take them. Keep them for the best part of a month. And you know, just you have a little think about it. You can even take them to another high-end pearl traders if you want. Get a second opinion from them. And if you don't like the outcome, then just send them back to us, we'll refund you every single penny. Yeah. How many jewelers will do that? Well, that's effectively what we do here at Jewelry Maker. We say, I tell you what, get the, take these high-end pearls that are worth so much more than what's on your screens. Go and ask another uh, pearl specialist if you like. See if they were, you know, what they believe their price tag would be. I very, very, very much doubt they're going to come back anywhere near. In fact, our viewers have done it. We've yeah. had customers text in, haven't we? Saying, I've bought pearls from Jewelry Maker. I've had them valued at X, Y, Z. You know, and it's never, ever, ever the on-screen price. Telephone callers, you can take the last uh, last one if you wish. Uh, £59 and £80 on your split pay. We had literally 32. That's how many we bought, ever ever not 320 not 50 32 one of the most limited pearl purchases we've got why because they're ripple pearls firstly they're metallic remember from a harvest of 10,000 pearls less than 10 will be metallic that's per pearl not strands yeah so let's just put that into perspective three six see those there 10,000 pearls had to be harvested to get those. Wow. When you put it into perspective, they look like 24 karat gold, don't they? Yeah. 10,000 pearls needed to be harvested to get those. Wow. We're going to hold this on screen for one final minute, jewelry makers, then we have to move on. Um, I'm tempted to get these, Roscoe. So tempted. Because they're like 24 karat gold, aren't they metallic? With a gold clasp, yeah. And, and, and do you know what? I might even go all out and put a gold silk. Ooh. Can you imagine that? Yes, yeah, very nice. All the golds, that would be lovely. But it would also look really nice with rose gold, I think. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, that would yeah. be nice. Um, so far, jewellers have got this. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Wendy, you've got yours as well. Um, don't let this slip through your fingers. You can get hold of them. So uh, how many have we got? Two. Oh, we've got two in the vault. Two in the vault. So Joanne, if you want those two, you can do it. Don't let that put you off dialing through jewellery makers. It's first come, first serve. There is a, uh, there's a bidder in London. Is that right? And Gloucestershire. So for the final two, I've got four, yeah, four bidders. And two of you have got multiples in your baskets. That's one of the best ripple pearl deal. Oh, there's one left, Joanne. I haven't got two. 
I've only got one left, Joanne. Good luck. Good luck, good luck. Well done, everybody. They're absolutely amazing. Oh, good. Keep the gold bus there, then. <sighs> These are the ones that I picked up earlier on. So you can get ripple pearls, which are Baroque. You can get ripple pearls, which are near round. Does that make sense? Yes. So if you imagine you've got a pearl and whatever the shape it is, but you've got a pearl and there's just masses of nacre forming over and over and over. The more nacre, the thicker the nacre, the brighter the luster actually be. That's why ripple pearls are as popular as they are, is because they have thick nacre. So these have maintained that perfectly spherical shape, but they've got a very de gentle ripple effect across the surface of them. Um, I love this strand. You know, it's, it's, it's taking the classic pearl necklace being you know that perfectly sort of uh, near symmetry if you like of your of your round pearls but then adding a modern twist with the ripple edition yes. isn't it um so like the previous strand what did you there's three in the vault yeah i'm not surprised they're amazing aren't they yeah i do you know i've seen a lot of pearls in my time this 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 one stands out to me look at look at how champagne that color is Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. We're not going to dilly-dally on this, Monica. Massive price crash. I've only got three. We could go... 1799 should be a first price crash, to be honest, shouldn't it? We could then go to, what do you reckon, 999, 499. First price crash of what you are not paying. Again, look at that. If you saw that on 18 karat gold clasp on Bond Street, would you be surprised if it was something like, I don't know, £7,000? I wouldn't. No. I definitely wouldn't. We're at £199. And you might be thinking, no, don't be silly, Elle. They can't be real pearls. Oh, they are. They're genuine pearls. But it's one of our greatest strengths here at Jewelry Maker Pearl Buying, or certainly it was. We can't maintain that accolade i agree sorry adam is just saying these are incredible They're, they are aren't they again you've got that beautiful champagne nacre plus they're ripple pearls with that perfect knee around um why haven't i bought these <laughs> i do buy a lot of pearls even my, like my husband's on board my husband's on board with pearls he is but even he said to me the other night you have got a lot <laughs> <laughs> it's my collection he collects trainers I like pearls one hundred and twenty nine look at the split payment there's only three available we're going to hold it on screen for one minute at that price so that's ridiculous it's actually ridiculous you could, I mean, even if it was 1,299, that would be ridiculous. Look at the quality of those pills. They're insane. Do you see where I'm coming from? That with an 18 karat gold class, knotted on silk. In any high-end boutique jewellers, you would be talking about four figures, wouldn't you? Oh, yes, absolutely. You would be. Um, Karen, you're the first person to secure yours. Well done, lovely. It's a race. It's a race. Joanne's there, Gloria's there, Kathy's there, Tracy's there. Who's going to get the, f the other two? There's still one of the gold of the metallic ripple pearls. I've got two of these. Kathy, who's just up the road. Yeah, I mean, you, you probably drive past there, Roscoe, don't you? You drive past Warwick. Adam does. Do you, Ads? But you, you don't, but you would for Kathy. That's nice. That's nice. There you go, Kathy. Get them hand delivered. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Kathy's like, oh, expect not not knock at the door now. <laughs> okay. Type A natural white jadeite. Now, because we're not doing the early bird in this hour, should we do something stupid? Says Ross. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, but this is type A jadeite, so we shouldn't be too stupid, should we? I quite like a little bit of stupidity every day. Do you know? Do you know what I mean? A little bit of stupidity is not is not a bad thing, is it? I think life's too. We can take life too seriously. 
Okay, Ross says, if he sees 30 people on the web, on the phone lines, he'll do something stupid. How stupid is stupid, Ross? The most stupid J deal we've ever done. Okay. That's a good word as well, isn't it? Stupid. <laughs> do you know certain words are quite pleasing to say? Yeah. In an endearing, stupid way. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm going to say it in a nice way, not a nasty way. Pardon? What was that? First price crash that you're not paying. <laughs> and by the way, it's closed higher than this price crash. You have the most beautiful, translucent, type A, natural jadeite here. It's not type B. It's not type C. It's natural. First price crash, we've closed it higher. <laughs> higher than what's on your screens. 99.99, we've actually launched this for previously. Look at that quality. Melting ice cubes, see the translucency, that beautiful apple blossom green that's consistent from end to end. Remember Stanley's words as well. Um, there's one thing more expensive than a jade bangle and that is a matched jade strand. For me, they're all matched beautifully. Um, in three seconds, we're gonna do something stupid. It's natural, it's not type B or type C. No way near, I knew you were gonna say that, Roscoe. No way near enough people. You've got to give him the ammunition to be that bit silly. <laughs> Sorry, Adam's almost hurt himself saying that word. The ammunition. <laughs> no, I definitely can't say anything. I'm the worst for mispronouncing things. Okay. Now, thirty-four ninety-nine. It's natural type A Burmese jadeite. Still to this day, one of the world's rarest gemstones. In fact, even more so because the mine's closed. It's had 800 years of history mining and now it's closed. Now, in 2020. So really, logic would tell us all that it should be going up in price, not the opposite. We are not stopping there, jewellery makers. 30 seconds. Ross says, if I'm going to be stupid, I'm going to be properly stupid. <laughs> there are 40 carats of natural type A white jadeite. Reverse two years ago. This would have been 199, wouldn't it, here at Jewellery Maker? Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why it has gone the opposite way. It should, if anything, do be, yeah, it should be increasing in price, not decreasing. Natalie Allen, Helen Gloucestershire, Nuno, Hello to you, West Midlands, multi buyers getting involved. Gillian and Harpeter, morning everybody. Happy Wednesday. Not your price, says Ross. How many did we have, Ross? Oh, 30. And you can do your Morse code jewellery. Yes. Ah, oh, do you know what? Oh. Twenty nine ninety nine. Ross, I need to buy one of these. Do you know, weirdly, it's so weird that you bring this to air. I had a conversation with my um, eldest daughter and weirdly we were talking about Morse code and she was like, what's Morse code? And I was explaining to her and I said, you know the bracelet daddy wears? That's Morse code. And she was like, is it? And I was explaining to her the, the, the dots and the dashes. And I said, yes, it says, I love you. And daddy always wears it. She was like, where's my Morse code bracelet? Oh. So now I've got... <laughs> <laughs> You've got a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure it costs a lot more than yeah, this yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that would be nice, wouldn't it? Just to put a little bracelet on there for yeah. the girls too. 29.99, Ross, that is silly. That's a silly, silly price. Sylvia, Natalie, Helen, Gillian, Alan, Rachel, we've closed this very strand on your screens previously three times that price, haven't we? 99.99. More than, more than yeah. three times that price. Goodness me. 
So now is the best time to be getting involved. I'm going to be joining you on this as well. Um, and likewise, make sure you're checking out on all the items that we're bringing you so far um, because they will disappear from your screens as soon as we uh, step into the next hour where we bring you your beautiful sterling silver slider, slider stoppers. Uh, beat stoppers, thank you. Um, make sure you check it out, everybody. There's loads of you getting involved. Yeah, and you can soon get up on Google or something like that. You can, your browser, you can soon, um, if you don't know your Morse code letters. Um, yeah, just to, that's all I did, basically. Yeah. Googled what's I love you in Morse code. And it yeah. gives you the arrangement then, perfectly. Um, I think we've done a, pre uh, a sort of presentation on it previously before as well. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. One minute, and that's to close, not just this item. Oh, sorry, it is just to close this item. I've got one more item to squeeze in. Rupal, Five, Neil and Linda, Angela, hello to you, Alison, hello to you, Raphael, hello to you, Sonika, hello to you, London, Lynn and Kent. Um, morning, everybody. We've got the most beautiful project out with our lovely Monica. I'm very excited. It's been ages since I've seen Monica. Yeah. <laughs> um, very excited about the show. Lots to squeeze in the next four hours. Keep those messages coming through to the studio as well. Tell us what you're up to. Tell us what you're up to. Any inspiration for kids' parties ideas as well? A what? A falconer? Oh. In a village hall? Oh, I mean, I'd, I'd like a falcon at my party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I was thinking a bit more like sort of bracelets, little things like that, ideas. What's that? Your eighth birthday. You had a Star Wars party. Oh, nice. That sounds cool. That sounds cool. Yeah, we've got Stitch. Stitch. <laughs> Lilo and Stitch. One more auction. And we're going to do something crazy with it too. Oh, I'm glad you said that. He's absolutely beautiful. I think I do believe he's the first Buddha we launched, actually. Um, we'll do it in one price crash. One price crash, one minute. The bead stoppers are coming up on the other side of the break. He is carved, by the way. You've got a 45 degree angle. The bead stoppers are on pre-order. So you can grab them now. We've got 500 of each of those design. Um, yeah, yeah. Make sure you secure them during the break. This is the Buddha of Happiness. Type A, natural jadeite. They believe if you rub his belly, he'll give you, uh, he'll bring you happiness. Yeah, I think. What? I have... <gasps> oh, Twenty-five pounds. Oh wow. Well. I think I have him actually. He's lovely, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Give his little belly a rub, and he brings you happiness. Look, look how happy he is. Yeah. He is very happy. <laughs> look at that little face. And he is drilled, by the way. Can you see the drill hole just there? There you go. So just literally suspend him on, on a chain if you wanted to, or you could incorporate him in, certainly into Monica's amazing sea beading designs. Yeah, I'm sure he was the first Buddha that we launched. Um, in 30 seconds, jewelry makers, we're going to be diving into your break and closing out this hour. Uh, um, we launched these at what? £129. You've got well over £100 off. Look, this, what's the word? Apology price because the early bird is in the next hour. Make sure you check it. A massive apology. Make sure you're checking out everybody. Don't go anywhere because your bead stoppers are coming up with lovely Monica. You, they're open for pre-order right now. We'll see you after this. I'm here to tell you about what's coming up on Wednesday's show. So in the 9am project hour, we've got some beautiful kits with some multicolored quartzite and findings, including leather cord. So I'm going to be showing you how to make these little beady beads, which kind of slide around on the leather. Okay, and I'm writing the instructions for those as well. Okay, uh, the findings pack that comes with it also includes threader earrings, which are those, which are really beautiful. Okay. And then in the 12 o'clock project hour, uh, you may remember this necklace that I made for the December advent calendar, right? With the beautiful jadeite. You can see the carved donut in the center there. 
So now we've got this project coming up in three different colorways, including black jadeite, white jadeite and green jadeite with all the seed beads included, all the, um, the round beads included as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful project and full written instructions on how to make this whole entire necklace. So I hope you can join us on Wednesday, that's on the 12th of June. See you then. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm back with you on Thursday the 13th of June. We've got the most amazing show. It's all about flowers and you know me, I love a flower. In the 9am we've got absolutely gorgeous Nanhong Agate projects um, and I got the flower one so I made a little mala so I'll be showing you how to do that in the 9. But in the 12 we have got more Lucite flowers. Now these ones are completely different to the ones we've had before. Um, really workable sizes, little buds, all different colours. They come in a lovely heart shape box and I'm going to be showing you how to make these wisteria earrings so I've written a project uh, for this and I've also made some other pieces but of course anything that I've done before with my lucite flowers you can do with this box as well there's quite a lot of little bell shapes which I think are lovely for earrings and lovely for single pendants so I hope you can join me Elle and the team on Thursday at JM Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Nice that, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh. Very mellow. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, last night I was, um, it was about, I don't know, it must have been like quarter to ten just before I was going to bed and it was still light outside. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that. But then the downside is when I'm still up beading and it starts getting light in the morning. <laughs> That's not so what, great. What, work, working through the night? Well, quite often. Do you? Not all the way through the night, but sometimes at like four o'clock I'm still beading. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness, you would not want us to talk to Elle the following day if I did that. <laughs> well, they say that um, artists love being up late at night, apparently. Oh, okay. It's, it's nice because it's quiet, everything and everyone else is asleep. I so definitely don't just... have that title, so I, I, I like to be in bed. I, through choice, would be in bed by 10 o'clock. that right? That's my time. No, I'm, I, I that's love the my middle time of the night. That's bed. my time in the middle of the night. Is it? Yeah. Um, I'm up bright, and bright as a button in the morning then. Oh, right. No, I, I like to sleep late. But then I have to get up at eight to take my son to school, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, this morning, this morning, it was a very strange morning in the Stevens household because Willow was going on a little trip. Oh, yeah. Um, she's going to a Hindu temple today. Oh, very nice. So they needed to be at uh, the car park extra early this mm -hmm. morning. But that meant that everybody was up. I'm getting, usually I can get ready for work in peace and quiet, but yeah. I definitely didn't have that luxury this morning. <laughs> mummy, mummy, can you do my hair? Mummy, can you help me brush my teeth? I'm trying to get ready for work. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, my son recently went on a school trip to London on the tube. Oh, wow. I, I was terrified. They went to a museum, you know, um, all 60 of them in their year. 
And I'm like, they're taking them on How? the tube. I mean, I'd, I'd be worried about losing my one child on the tube. Yeah, me so too. So I smuggled an air tag onto his belt. <laughs> a little what? An air tag, you know. What's the, an air it's tag? It's like a little tracker. You could, oh, so you could track him? Yeah, that's and then very good. other mums were phoning me all day asking, where are they? What are they doing? Where are that's they? That's good. That's smart, that is. <laughs> yeah. That is smart. Yeah. Do you know, I do think this, like like I saw the other day that schools, they do, when you do cycling proficiency, now we used to do cycling proficiency in yeah. the playground. Oh, yeah. No, but no, um, with cones. Yeah. Now they actually take them out onto the road, don't yeah. they? Yeah. And I remember I was like, I stopped my car because the cycling proficiency was going on. And they were like, and the teacher was like, no, 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 please keep driving. They've got to get used to it. I was like, oh my God, so scared. <laughs> How have you got the responsibility for all these kids? Oh. Anyway, totally digressed, haven't we? <laughs> right then. <laughs> we have delayed the early bird. The reason why we delayed it is because we've got 500 of each. And we want everybody to get an opportunity. If we'd have brought them in the first hour, then they'd have timed out, wouldn't they? Um, so there's 500 of each design, two separate auctions. They've been on pre-order during the break. Really? Over 10% of each of these auctions, which doesn't sound like a lot, it's 50, yeah, have gone during the break without us even bringing a graphic to air. That's in three minutes. In three minutes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm going to start with the diamond twisted ones. Can you see those? How beautiful are these jewelry makers? So you have the diamond cutting. But then, if I just turn it like this, can you see how there is actually, see it better on the other side. Can you see the silica in the centre? That is basically what will stop your, whatever it is you put through. You could use them with leather, you can use them with chain, you yep. can use them with a fine macrame or kumihimo. Yep. Or any, any type of cord. Yeah. So it is essentially, you know, like a slider bracelet, it's like a slider bracelet, but you can actually, uh, that you can make yourself or a necklace that you can make yourself. Now, I will put this one out there. The price that we are gonna take these two, you will not just buy the one. You will 100% choose to multi-buy on these. They're absolutely flying on pre-order. I'm not surprised at all. And they're joined together. You can separate them if you want to, I guess, but um, they're joined together. So if you can imagine, in fact, I know I've shown you lots of designer necklaces like this where um, the, they have a chain or a cord and it comes down like so. Two different lengths and they're kind of asymm asymmetric. Yeah. The graphics are about to appear open. They're diamond cut, sterling silver swirl, the double bead stopper. You think you can make your bracelets with this, you can make yeah. your necklaces with this front or reverse. And it's, it's great because you don't need a clasp if you use it no. at the back of your necklace, but then you can also turn your necklace around and put it in the front. Yes. Also, if you're making a bracelet, you know how we've got the slider bracelets where you've got the, uh, the bead in the bottom and then you've got the two ends coming out of the bead. Yeah. But then we have like the friendship bracelets where you have the two ends going in opposite directions. Going in that, yeah. So you could do that with this as well. Yes, you could. For a so, bracelet. Um, um, I think it's Monica and Ada that do it that way. So you mm. actually have, well, they do both. So you, like you said, you can almost have where them, so they go like this. Yes. So they almost come to like a, like a tassel. Yes. But then you can also, that Have direction, them that way. which yeah. I think is great, especially for gents' jewellery as well. Yes, yes. Now, you're shopping ahead on these, and the price that you're shopping ahead on is this, but it's not where we are closing. You will multi-buy on this, and I don't just mean ones and twos. Twelve ninety nine. we are not stopping there. We are going so, so, so much lower, jewellery makers. I think there's going to be jewellery makers who go, oh, I'll have ten of them. Yep. Yeah. I agree. Oh, Ross is saying I think there'll be people buying um, buying 20. Hiya, Jan. Do these have the silicon in them? Yes. Let me try and show it to you. So can you see if I... Yes, they do. Can you see that how in the middle there, Jan, there's a very... Have you got a pin? I can, can I borrow um, a, a head pin or something? I can give you a head. Actually, I'll give you my very bent needle. <laughs> oh, here I, I, found, I found one. Here we go. Oh, there's there a little bit of wire here. So bear with me a minute. I'll just pick it up. Yes. Can you see that? Can you see? Can you see the silicon in the centre? It's, it's gripping onto that. 
and that's a very fine wire that's 1.4 so you could easily put you could easily put a thicker gauge through there or a lever or a and chain if, and if you're thinking how to get a, th a thin chain through there uh, the easiest way is to take a like a beading needle thread a bit of thread onto your beading needle beading thread or fire line whatever you have at home and then go through the bead then come back again so you have a loop at one end mm -hmm. but actually before you come back go through the last link of your chain yes and then come back through so the bead then you've a got needle. exactly then you've got the thread to hold on to to pull your chain through because obviously you can't push it through because your chain will collapse there's nothing to push kind of like that yeah exactly like that yeah but you would go through the chain i don't have a piece of chain with me um hang on yeah so you can be easier with a needle obviously yeah your yeah, wire yeah will bend yeah so oh, so yeah you double you double it through create your own uh, create, create your own um 12.99 but we are not stopping there yes in answer thank you for your question jan there is silica in the center of both of them that's what's going to grip obviously yes. whatever yes. it is that you're attaching this to we're under 10 pounds um as expected and we'd like to think we know you quite well we'd like to think as expected there are people getting tens. There are people twos, threes, fours, five, sixes. I've seen sevens and I've seen tens. Um, we're not stopping there, jewelry makers. We've got 500 of them. This is the diamond cup, which kind of gives you that lovely kind of illusion. Can you see that? So it's like a constant light performer um, that goes through these. We're going even lower. Jane in Somerset. Have you ever watched... Um, a meter long length strand of silver that we've brought you here at jewelry maker thought oh that's a lovely chain however i don't know how i would attach the class now you can just wrap loop yeah you can um you can um you can solder it of course you can but a really quick and simple way to actually do it would be to be pop it on one of these and it's really practical as well as i say because if somebody has a has trouble doing up clasps then this essentially this becomes an adjustable necklace so you can wear different lengths but you also can pull it all the way open and take it off over your head that's true so and then just bead at the bottom yeah yeah so it's not going to pull back through not paying 9.99 jewelry makers how about this you can use them as like connectors yeah 7.99 perfect 7.99 it's solid sterling silver and it is diamond cut we're not even stopping there though jewelry makers we've got 500 of them you know th that again sends a message doesn't it we bought 500 because we knew our customers would go crazy for these it's it's one of those co components you go gosh that's that's it's a problem solver isn't it also i mean uh, speaking of connectors i mean just because it's got silicon inside doesn't mean you can't just use it as an ordinary bead true so if you ha if you make like a two strand bracelet you've got two strands let's say the four millimeter jet that we had you could go through the bead and that would connect your two two yeah. strands together so like a connector oh so it almost kind of looked like it's floating yeah wouldn't it yeah if you were to like absolutely yeah if you imagine like a cartier style you know some of the tassel necklaces that i showed you the, uh, the other day you know cartier do like a long line 1920s vibe but where it sort of gathers together it's not one bead holding them together it would almost look like it's floating alongside one yeah another. oh yes monica <laughs> yes that sounds amazing we're at four, uh, seven pounds and 99 pence. They are joined. 80% of you have multi-bought on this and we're not just talking twos and threes. You're not paying 7.99. 6.99. They're diamond cut, sterling silver. And it's with the silica in the center. If you didn't have the silica, then it wouldn't grip. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. If you don't want the silica, then you can just almost ignore the fact that it's there, yeah. can't you, and treat it as a bead itself. Um, but like, take Monica's necklace as a, as a prime example. If Monica didn't want to put this part here, you could put one of those, couldn't you? Yeah. You could put it on the leather itself. Yeah. And as you say, it would be sort of next to each other. It would look like two separate... Like a cowboy lariat. Yeah. Wouldn't it? Yeah. It would, wouldn't it? Yep. It'd look like a cowboy lariat, you know, almost that they, that, that they wear around neckline or under the hats, just to tighten their hats up. 
very, very cool. Six pounds and 99 pence only. Uh, Fife's got five, Angela's got four, Kerry's got four, Natalie's got six. Uh, Sandra's got four, Wiltshire's got four, there's loads of threes and twos, Kerry and Devon's got five, I've seen tens on there as well, uh, Maker's got three, Paula's got two, um, Hamida you've got two, Felicity you've got three, well done, I've got Denise with three, Sandra with three, um, London with seven, congratulations, you disappear off the bottom of the screen, well, at six pounds and 99 pence only, there's loads of you with it still in your basket, you can shop ahead on the other one as well, it is one of those components you go, oh gosh, that's going to make my jewellery making so much easier. Absolutely, but it's also going to enable to, you to make different pieces of jewellery than maybe what you're used to making. True. So you, know, you think about all the different fastenings that we have. You know, you've got your bolt ring, your toggles, yeah. your magnetic class and things like that. You could treat this as a class, couldn't you? Absolutely, yeah. Um, you think about all the spacer beads that we've brought you. You could treat this as a spacer bead. Yep. Yeah. So it's one of those multifunctional... As a double spacer bead with two yes. strands. That's really cool, I think. <laughs> very, very cool. They're absolutely flying. We had 500. You can add the other one to your order as well. They will both be going to the same price. And guess what? That price is not 6.99. We're going to go even lower. We're going to go even lower. There we are. I knew there was a 10. Davinia's bought 10. Hello, Maya, Lorraine, Sylvia getting three, Michelle, Patricia, J. Marie, Holland, Penny, uh, Valerie, Isle of Man, Lavinia, uh, Cheryl, I can't keep up with you, sorry, Linda, Michelle in Wales getting three, Elaine in Devon getting three, Manchester getting four, Derbyshire, Hilda, Oxfordshire, Paula, Abiola, Manchester, Marishka, I can't keep up. We had 500. 500, doesn't that speak volumes? Jewelry maker knew that this was going to be one of those amazing elements, amazing components, so you go, ah, oh, genius. And again, sorry to keep mentioning them, but if you go into Pandora to buy a stopper bead, they're not cheap. Yeah. And that's the same. They've got a, like a silica core. Yeah. See, now I'm thinking earrings, because if you took a piece of chain through the one bead, yeah. went up through your earring finding and down through the other bead, then you could make the ends of the chain different lengths. Ah, so and it's like really a nice. clasp. Kind of, yeah. Do you know, you know, like earrings. Yes. Mm. Like the thread of earrings. Is yeah. that what you're thinking? Kind of, yeah. I'm totally not getting what you're thinking. No, I? you take a piece of chain up through one bead. Yeah. Up through your, the loop of your earring finding. Yeah. Like your shepherd hook. Yeah. Down through the other bead. Yeah. And then the two loose ends at the bottom, you can make different lengths. Oh, and you've got like two separate chains hanging yeah, down. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Four pounds and 99 pence only. Amazing. And they're going to be nice and secure if you're wearing those. Yeah. Because they're yeah. basically going through a stopper, aren't they? Absolutely, yeah. Twice. Yeah. Fabulous. Make sure you check it out, everybody. Alison's got three. James got six. Natalie in Gloucestershire's just got ten. Michelle's just up to her order to five. Well done, Michelle. Uh, Kate and Dorset, lots of people up in their quantities now, everybody. We had 500 of these. Right now we're talking about this one. Um, but the other one is going to exactly the same price. You can get them both for under £10, jewellery makers. So can you see if I tilt that one this way? Can you see how you've got the silica core in that too? You see it almost, that's what's gonna to grip to whatever it is you choose to put through the heart of it, whether that be a metal, whether it be a chain, whether it be a cord, whether it be a braid, whatever it is. Four pounds and 99 pence. Stock up your stashes. I don't think we've done these before, have we? Are these oh, new, Ross? I haven't seen them. Thought so. Mm. It's very clever, isn't it? It is, because it gives you more sort of, um, space to design your own slider bracelets for example mm. rather than sticking to what you get at the slider bracelet do you know yeah, what i mean absolutely mm. and i like the fact that like you said you can either go down like a tassel or you can go in alternate directions yes um with the cords hello to you um yanis hello yanis morning ladies can you use them from them from a crame yeah Definitely, I think they'd be great from a crown. Yeah, I would not a too thick a cord though. Yeah. I don't think a braid. But that being said, if you wanted to go for a really thick one, you I suppose you could remove the silica from the centre. You probably could. I don't know. I, maybe use a little drill or something. To drill well, it maybe. Out. Or yeah. yeah, yeah, widen it ever so slightly. Yeah. Almost ream them. Half the stock has gone. Yeah, you could. I don't think. Obviously not. Not too wide, Jan. I think it would have to be quite an, uh, a, a more of a slight macrame cord, but you could definitely do that. Half the stock's gone. We had 500. Oh. 
And that is why we can go lower today. Brand new shop ahead on the diamond cut ones, which are coming up on the back on the back of this auction. We've got the same quantity of both. They are solid sterling silver. Yeah, I've been kind of trying to hint to the fact that these are um, these are going to a multi buyable price. I have been hinting that, haven't I? Yeah, it's one of those you're going to stock up because I can't guarantee that we're going to have these on every show. I can't guarantee that they're going to be on every week. Every. I'm looking down the call screens. I reckon, you know, we said 80% of multi bought on this, Ross. It's probably more like 90 now, if not more. The, uh, I'm on my fourth row of names. 500 were available. Half the stock's gone. We're going even lower. In 10 seconds, look at all those multi buyers getting involved. I don't blame you. They're a jeep. They're a revelation. They are, aren't they? One of those pods you go, ah, yes. I know what I can do with that. I've got meters of chains wow. that I've not been able to finish or turn into pieces of jewelry. Yes. Oh, anklets. Yes. They'd be lovely for anklets, wouldn't oh, they? Yes, like a slider bracelet type anklet with a two bit Because that's down. a difficult piece of jewelry to cater for, isn't it? It is, it is. Because people have different size ankles. Yeah, and it's got to open really wide to, to put it on, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's going to be wider to go over your foot. Yeah. Any comments about my feet, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you've got different size feet. Uh, £3.99 pence only. I haven't got big feet. I've got little feet. Oh, what size feet? Well, you average have? feet. But apparently my toes are quite large. <laughs> um... <laughs> 3.99 well done everybody they're absolutely flying pauline's got 10 as well well done pauline jane's got six well done jane victoria's got four uh caroline's got three manchester's got four there's a lots of sixes fives sevens tens Ten, yeah yeah i'm not surprised again it's one of those components um you know and it, 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 it the fact it is so versatile and it's not something that you can, if you run out, you can just quickly order another no, one. No, you, you know. can't just go onto our website and get these, can yeah, you? Yeah, we don't have them. Well, as you say, we've never had them before. And I'm pretty sure I've never seen them anywhere else before either. That's true. Um, yeah, Charlie says that quite a lot. Mm -hmm. um, who was on yesterday, I guess, on. She was like, well, I don't know where else you can get these for. From. Yeah, I wouldn't even know where to look, to be honest with you. No. So stock up, stock up on them. If you're thinking, oh God, that's a clever idea. Stock up. Um, I think by gauging by the response today, our buying team will probably reorder them, but that takes a good three, four months. Yes, and of course, if you miss it, they will probably sell out as soon as they come on again. Exactly, exactly. So do stock up on these jewelry makers because they're highly unlikely that these are going to be on on a weekly basis. In actual fact, I think this is going to be, this is going to be uh, sold out possibly today. Um, look at the call screens. Doesn't that speak volumes again it's a genius idea take the slider slider stopper which is not a new idea is it but actually have them so they're almost like twins yes alongside one another and then you can create a lariat a tassel whichever it is you can create an adjustable piece of jewelry because that's the other thing we don't always want to wear our chains the same length do we sometimes a certain yeah top or style might mean you can wear Absolutely. it a little bit longer you might want to wear it down the back as well yes um this is the graphics for this design this one's coming up 155 people still have this in their basket whilst i had 500 oh we we're in double figures now yeah see 87 left the only other way you would be able to get beads like this is if you took two single ones and soldered them together but then you've still got to get the stoppers. Yeah, but I'm not so sure you'd get one bead with the silicon inside for that mm -mm. price. No, that's true. Yeah. And could you solder them with the silica in the centre? Oh, I, I don't know. Probably not. Because it might melt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry, Ross, yeah? Almost half the stock's gone on the disco. Disco ball style ones. They, you see what I mean? They've got facets all the way around. Oh, it's hard to choose which one's the nicer one. Well, at to these get prices, yeah, don't choose. Stock up. Yeah, you definitely, you definitely want to get both. Five by ten, so they're five millimeter spacers, ten millimeter together, obviously. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Um, okay. Can you see the silica? Just about. Yeah? Almost looks opaque in the centre. That's the silica. And that is what's going to grip. It's going to grip whatever it is you put through the centre and also not damage it. You know, if I was to put like two lengths of chain directly through a, 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 a metal bead, it's probably going to scratch it or catch it um, or break it, Actually, whereas see, silica protects it. See, that's a good point as well, because when you have the one slider bead and you've got two lengths of chain going on there, those two chains are rubbing on each other. Yeah. Whereas, <gasps> whereas here, they're separated. Oh, that's, that's a good point true. too. That's true. So it's going to yeah. add longevity to yeah. your pure piece of jewellery because you haven't got the chains rubbing up against each other. Yes. Twelve ninety nine. You know we're not stopping there. Davinia says I'll have fifteen of these. Thank you very much. You like this design, darling? They are lovely. They are lovely. Davinia, we're not stopping here, lovely. Or Manchester is getting ten. Or every single person that's got twos, fours, sixes, threes, fives. Well done. Already under five pounds, but you know we're not stopping there. In 53 seconds, we will drop that price. We've got 500 of these available all around the world shopping in for these. I'm not surprised. Hello, Kathy. Haven't found any doubles on the web. Plenty of singles in a variety of materials, but no doubles. Yeah. There you go, Kathy. Thank you for doing that. Yes. That's the thing. That's yeah. what. That's why we were, Monica and I were, were talking about. Like, where else would you get these? Because normally, you know, you can go to Cooks and Gold for certain findings, can't yeah. you? They're fantastic as well. We've got a lovely relationship with them. But I don't know. Do they have these? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I've never seen them before. I've never seen them before either. It's actually a really good idea. <laughs> Very clever idea. Four ninety nine. But stock up on them because these are the type of component that I know. In my twelve years, I know they will not. Saying that, let me rephrase this. These might be, like, remember when Wire Guardians first appeared on our screens? Mm. And we were like, oh, and they'd be on, gone, on, gone, on, gone, on, gone. Now we see Wire Guardians. They still sell out very quickly, but we have them more frequently. You never know. These, I think these are going to be so popular that our buying team are going to have to buy them more frequently because there's so many uses for them. Yes. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a clasp, it's a connector, it's decorative. You know, as you say, there's so many different it's ways. It's adjustable. Can... Yeah. Oh. It's a finishing. Absolutely. It's adding sterling silver into your... True. Into your jewellery as well. All of the, it, there's so many different uses for things like this. Yeah. Uh, you know, I opened up this early bird by basically saying, oh, well, hang on a minute. If you've, got, if you've bought a metre long length of chain before and you've not know how to finish it, pop one of these on. Because you basically put the two lengths of chain, cut it to whatever length you wish, put the two lengths of chain through and away you go. But there's actually so much more potential and opportunities with them. 500 were available, jewellery makers. I don't have 500 anymore. Well done. Proving to be extremely popular as we predicted. kathy has got five. Well done, Cathy. Abiola's got six. Natalie's got eight. Cheryl's got seven. Uh, Sandra's got four, Derbyshire's got five, London, um, we saw, was it Davinia? Davinia's multi-bought on these as well. I think you got 15, didn't you, Davinia, on these? Uh, Fife has got six, well done. Stock up. See, now I'm thinking how to use them in seed beading. Oh, could you use them in seed beading? You could, because if you made sort of beaded ropes, let's say you made three or four beaded ropes and you join them together like on the side asymmetrically using yeah. one of these between each and nice. actually bead them into the design so they don't move yeah but they're used it to hold it in place yes. that'd be perfect oh, that'd and be also nice. it's not going to rub the silk is it it's yeah. not going to rub the thread yeah so you know that that thread is not going oh, oh, to snap oh that's another <laughs> point it's not going to snap your so if you want to if you put a beading a normal bead on there yeah I'm not saying it would break the thread, but it has got a, a sharper edge, hasn't it? Yeah. Whereas this has got a cushioned edge. Yeah. Because it's got silica in the centre. Yes. yes. Oh, definitely, yeah. Mm. Amazing. You can get both for less than a tenner. Less than ten pounds. Less than eight pounds. <laughs> yes, that's true. With change, Ross, eight pounds for the two. 7.98 for the two, that's very good, isn't it? 
Well done, everybody. Again, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Congratulations to you all. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, the most amazing projects. Do, have we spoken to you about Monica's projects today? Have we spoken to you about the books that you're going to be getting with, for free, with Monica's projects? If you buy any of these projects, the colorways, you will get the step-by-step -step tutorials that Monica herself has written for you. Should we start by showing that? Okay. Because this, I, I, I am fully aware, Monica, these take a lot of time. They do, yes. I mean, this one's a, a shorter one. So this one doesn't take that long, probably two, maybe three hours. It's still two or three hours yeah. for free. Yeah. Literally for free. Um, and you will get this, like I said, for free with your project purchase. So it's a tutorial, step by step. Even talk shows, uh, um, you know, approximate time of how long it's going to make, how long it's going to take to make it, what you need, um, and literally comprehensive step by step tutorials of how you make this piece. So basically, the instructions are for the beaded bead, which I've used in all of the designs that I've made. Okay. So uh, I've written the instructions for this necklace, which is just several of the beaded beads threaded onto the leather cord. But obviously, you would use the same beaded bead in any of the designs that I've, I've made. Amazing. So let's have a look. Oh, Monica, I mean, look at these. Yeah. That They're is so sweeties, beautiful. Aren't they? <laughs> so beautiful. Do you know what they remind me of? What? Fabergé. Oh, yeah. They remind me of a Fabergé egg. Yeah. Which yeah, are, do. you know, obviously are very expensive. But they've got that wonderful kind of elaborate opulence about them. Yes. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I was just looking at home when I was making the, bead, the beaded beads and I had the components on my, on my desk. And I mean, I'll show you when I do the demo that you have this little pile of components and you put it together and it makes something. This is why I love beading. Yeah. <laughs> And it makes something much more interesting and much more amazing when you put them together. Yes, great, and greater than the sum of its parts, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and the fact that you can actually, you know, when, when you look at, say, that tube of yellow, you might go, oh gosh, that's, uh, you know, that's a lot of yellow. But actually when you separate it out, um, it kind of tones down the gemstones or tones up, whichever yeah. way you want to look at it. Um, I'm just gonna reach across because we're starting with the colorway of the piece of jewelry that um, you get in the instructions. So that wonderful bright canary yellow. So where do we start with this? Let's start with the sea beads. So you get the tube of sea beads, which are so beautiful for summer. These are your transparent yellow, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Look at that. Also very nice for making flowers, that sort of thing. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, so they're going to be a staple to any sea beads, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I know Deb, you've got Deb's tomorrow with the lucite yes. flowers. Oh yes, would be lovely. So they'd those. be lovely. Um, you also get your leather cord, which is approximately, would you say, fifty centimeters? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. About fifty yeah. centimeters of your leather cord. Um, so you get that as well, which is more than enough to create, as you can see. Oh, a couple of necklaces you've made out of that. So you get that. Then you get your bicones, which are stunning. These are your crackle quartz bicones. Yeah, we don't get bicones very often, do we? No, definitely not. And I'm loving that color palette. Oh gosh, I'm thinking summertime weddings. Oh yes. It's <laughs> the kind of pieces of jewelry that you'd be, you'd be wearing to weddings. And then if I just slide my hand back for one second, you're also getting all of your findings. So one second, I'll tilt the board forward. Um, so if I put that there. I mean, this is a brilliant findings kit. It really Isn't is. it? It is. So you've got a pinch bail. Yes. I've not seen this findings pack before. Yes. So pinch bail. Yep. Lobster claw. Yeah. Cord end. Two sets of cord ends. Two sets of cord one ends clasp on your one. lobster. So essentially you've got three lobster clasps in the in the findings pack. Yeah. Head pins, crimps, crimp covers, and jump rings. Yes. Then you also get your threader earrings. Wow, that's an amazing findings pack. It is. I'm not yeah. sure what this project is going to, but I have to say, really? Okay, so I would expect it to be around about this price tag for the findings pack. 
Be just because you've got so much in you. A silver plated yeah. pinch bale. Yeah. We normally sell those individually, don't we? Yeah. I mean, with the jewellery that I've made, I've hardly touched the findings. Obviously, I had three packs of findings from the three projects, but I've got so much left over. I bet. Masses. So you have the strand of bicones, you get the tube of sea beads, you get all of your findings, you get the leather, and you also get Monica's instructions. What? Oh, <laughs> that for me is the price of the findings. That's an amazing yeah. price for those findings and absolutely everything else for free. Monica, the instructions. I don't know if you know this, but on our sister channel, these are a tenner. Oh, are they? On Sewing Street, mm. 10 pounds for these. And I think that's 10, 10 pounds well spent. Yeah. First yeah. and step by step. I mean, that's about the price that you pay if you went to Etsy or any of those pages where you can you can buy instructions. That's about what you would spend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, on that basis, ten pound for your instructions, then, mm -hmm. and then five pound for the whole project. That's amazing. Oh dear. <laughs> or fourteen ninety nine for your bicones. They didn't think this price all the way through. Did no, they? <laughs> we've done some amazing project prices recently, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. Absolutely incredible. I mean, just well, the threader earrings, I would say those would be seven, six or seven pounds. Just the threader earrings and the finding. Yeah. Well, the, aren't, aren't these seed beads eight pounds? Yeah. The tube of seed beads are seven to eight pounds on their own. Yeah. Yeah, the ten are on sewing street for the instructions. Seriously, that's a massive add, deal. You add all those together and you get 14 99 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really somewhere, math, math was never our strongest point, was it? <laughs> um, amazing, absolutely amazing. I'm going to, okay, let's do it this way then. I will count all those findings together, which I shouldn't because you've got a pinch bale and you've got threader earrings yeah. in it as well. But, and cord ends. And well. cord ends. Yeah, that's a good point. I'd pay fourteen ninety nine for the cord ends. But let's do that just for ease. One component in your threaders, uh, sorry, in your findings. Another component in your leather, which we've definitely brought together on its own. Yeah. Another component in your tube of sea beads. Another component in your beautiful bicones. Definitely another component in your step-by-step yeah. -step tutorial. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five components. Three quid. Took me far too long to work that out. <laughs> Three pounds, unbelievable. Well, I'm guessing you had to work it out a few times because you couldn't believe yeah. you were getting the Do you right know what? answer. Sometimes math seems so right, but so, so easy, but it makes it more confusing. Um, okay, on to the next project. Which one? The same but smaller. Okay. Yeah. So basically, I combined these two kits because I, I had a suspicion that would be a really good price, to be honest. So I combined the smaller one and the larger one and the two tubes of seed beads. Okay. I'm just going to keep that as it is. So you get the same finding pack. Yes. You get silver sea beads. 15 of these. 15 of yeah. right, okay. You get the leather. You get the instructions. But the only difference is the size of the bicones. So these are that little bit smaller. And in the, in the instructions, I've told you how to make the beads with the larger bicones and with the smaller bicones. Okay. If I put those two together you can see the difference yeah. I mean I had to put these two projects together didn't I because they're just so perfect together yeah I would do exactly the same I'm just gonna guess I'm gonna put it out there at the prices that Ross is doing today I reckon you could buy both of the projects I think so yeah for That's, one project price they're genuine <laughs> gemstones multicolored quartz and I love those colors for summer it's yeah just, that's just summer isn't it oh my gosh <laughs> Is it just me, jewellery makers? How much are they, Monica, normally? At least five, six pounds. Five, six pounds for that one tube. So let me just go through this. So you get, I'll pick the both of them up, to, if I can. No. You get one of those with your cord ends. Two. A pinch bale. Is it just me that these findings should be more than that? Yeah, the threader so. earrings, all your head pins, all your crimps, all your crimp covers, and your jump rings, and your leather, and your Mayuki, and the strands, and Monica's instructions for twelve ninety nine. Wow, that's amazing! What a deal! 
Can you do the maths then, Ross? Is it what? Is 38 pounds? No, 28 pounds. Yeah. For the two projects. 28 pounds. Less than 28. 27.98. That's very good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's very, very... And you've got these instructions, not for a limited time. You know, like if you buy, uh, want to watch a, vid, a film or something. Yeah. It's like, oh, you've got it for so many days. You've got these indefinitely. You can print them off. Save them to your desktop, whatever yeah. you wish. £12.99 pence only. How many do we have of these projects then, Roscoe? Pardon? We had 100, good. We need that quantity because there's loads of you getting involved. Full of colour. And I mean... I know, well, I've separated out the two, the colours into two sections because I've done sort of the more yellowy ones, yellow and the green and the purple together, and then I've put the pinks and the blues together. But obviously they look just as good mixed up as well. And then yeah. the other thing I was going to say is I really like the digital instructions. I know a lot of people still prefer to print them off. And I've tried to zoom in the pictures as much as I can. So you, if you print it off, you can still use the instructions, obviously. Uh, but I'm really liking the um, the digital version of the instructions because you can zoom it right in. So one of the pictures, which is about that size on the printed instruction, you can make it the size of your full screen. Yeah. You know, so you can really see, especially with seed beading, you can zoom it right in and see every single bead individually ah. and where the thread goes through and all of that. So especially um, with seed beading. Seed beading. Yeah. Wow, that's a really good point. Now the last of the projects. The only thing I need to do is swap out the Mayuki and the strands. This comes with three strands. Um, these are AB coated uh, bico glass bicones. They're stunning, so pretty. Great, again, look, you know, if you're going to a, I don't know, a, a, a ball or a gala event or something like that, how amazing are these? <laughs> Just full of sparkle. Um, look at the colours of the seed beads, the tuber seed beads alone. So you have your silver lined green AB, three strands of your black AB coated bicones in four, six and eight mils. They're full 38 centimetre strands, jewellery makers. Then you get your silver plated um, findings and you get the leather. Are you ready for, and you get the instructions. Are you ready for your deal, jewellery makers? Is there, is there quantity of this one as well? How many? 65, okay, it's more limited. What? What? <laughs> but why? Because that's the price. Oh. Because he can. Okay, these are these are your glass, faster glass. Wow. Yeah, but, but you I mean, get three strands. <laughs> and the other findings, the same findings that we've just been going through. So there's two cord ends for your leather. You get those. You get the pinch bale just here. You get the thread earrings. You get the head pins. Mm. You get the crimps, the crimp covers, and the jump rings. You get the tube. Um, I mean, again, that on its own is seven, eight pounds. Yeah. You get three strands and the instructions. Any questions that you have for lovely Monica, do text in. Diamonds are coming up as your deal of the day in a few moments' time. But Monica, take it away, my darling. Well, I've, I'll show you a quick version of how to do the little beaded bead, which. Um, as I say, it was in all of the designs. It's also in the middle of the kiss cross necklace as well. Okay, yeah. Um, so I'll quickly show you how to do that. So I've got some of my blue larger bicones left over here. Okay. Lovely. So I'm just going to use a size 10 beading needle and um, so maybe a six pound fire line or, or you can use a size 12 beading needle as well because we are going to be using some size 15 beads as well. Um, but I, I use a size 10 and I managed to get through it all just fine. So if you only have a size 10, that works too. Right, so you, what you're going to do, you don't need a lot of thread for one of these beads, probably about 60, 70 centimeters, something like that. So you're going to start off by picking up your four bicones. Now, as I say in the instructions as well, you can do this with the smaller bicones as well. You just have to slightly adjust the number of beads that you're using. You don't need to stop a stopper bead. You're going to go around and you're going to go through all of those beads a second time. So they come together in a circle. Okay. And then you're going to tie a knot in your tail thread and you're working through. You don't need a lot of it of the tail thread because you're just going to thread it through a few beads and then cut it off. So you're not really going to use it for anything. Uh, in fact, in, this, in the instructions, I've said to tie three knots just to make sure that it's extra secure. Okay. Then you're going to go through the very next bead so that you're not coming straight out of the knot. But try not to pull the, um, the knot inside your bead because that usually blocks your bead and then you can't get through it um, again. Um, and then you're gonna start with your size 15. So I'm gonna pick up two size 15 beads and I'm gonna go through the next bicone. 
I'm going to pick up another two 15s. These 15s that I'm using here are coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. I forgot to bring the ones that are in these projects, but as I say, these are coming up later, so you'll be able to get these if you wanted them. So you're just adding two size 15 seed beads in between each of your bicone. Okay, and then when you add the last two, you want to come out and you want to go through the first of those two size uh, 15s that you've added between your next two. So you're coming out between your two 15 note beads. Okay, then you're going to go around again and you're going to pick up a size 11 and you're going to go through the next size 15, go through the bicone and go through the first 15 after the bicone. Okay, so, you're, so your size 11 now sits kind of in between the 15s, but a little bit sort of proud, so it doesn't sit in a row. So don't be tempted when you first go around adding your 15s, don't be tempted to add a 15 and 11 and a 15 all at once because it does have a different result. Um, because this way, when you add your 11s, it kind of tightens everything up because there's not quite enough space for your 11s to fit in between the 15s because obviously you've already tied those to each other. Um, so this is why I, I'm adding the size 11s in the second round. Um, so just add one. And then when you go through the last one, you want to come up through the size 15 and through the 11. You might not be able to do it all in one go, which I'm also not doing here. So you can just come up through the first 15 and then go through the size 11. Okay, so that's what you're starting with. Now, I did originally try this with only three of the bicones, but because I knew I wanted the cord to go through the center, the three bicones tessellate together perfectly, so there's almost no space in the middle. So I went with the four bicones because I needed the space in the middle to be able to thread the cord through. So that's why I've used four. You could probably do it with five as well if you wanted a, an even larger hole in the center for a larger cord. And then what I did was, for the larger size bead, I picked up six of my size 11 beads, three, four, five, six, and then a size 15, and then another six of my 11s. Five, six, okay, and then I went through the next size 11 bead, okay, then do the same again, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a size 15, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, so just bear with me because this will take a minute because you can guess that I'm going to do the same thing all the way around. Three, four, five, six. And obviously, you don't have to finish this component the way I finished it. You can stop in a second when I've got all these beads going around. It kind of looks like a flower. So you could stop there and you could use it like that. Um, so there's different things you can do with it to, to change it up. Or change it down if you were going to leave it like this I would obviously I would use less of the 11 so that the the petal sort of sits closer to the bead but for what I'm going to use it for you need those few extra beads there to make those little sort of loops a bit larger five six and then that's the 15 and then one two three four five six Okay, so when, you, when you've got the last loop, you want to go through that 11 node, which is sitting between your 15s, okay, just as you've been doing all the way around. And you want to step up, so you want to go through the next six 11 nodes and the 15. So basically, no, sorry, before you do that, just go through the 11 node that's between your 15s. I'm skipping ahead here. And then you want to do exactly the same thing again. So again, you're going to pick up six, one, two, three four, five, six, and then a 15, and then another six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So exactly the same as what you picked up before. And then you're jumping across to that 11O again, which is between the next two 15Os. Okay, so just as you did before. So now you've got two layers there, and then you're gonna do the same thing all the way around. Is there anything you want to say, Elle, while I make my way around? No, I mean, we're, I think we're all good. We could, the, how's the stock levels on uh, on this project? It's just sold out. Okay, so we'll swap the graphics over. This one's just sold out, so we can swap the graphics over for the other. There might be 
Oh, is there, is there one left of the last project? <laughs> okay, but we'll swap over because the other one, we've got a few more, but they're still limited as well. I'm not surprised. These projects yeah. have been so, what was it, like £28? And that £38 for all of them. <laughs> is that right? £38 for all three projects. Wow. That's amazing. You can make a lot of jewellery with that. I did have some uh, leftover, as you can see, I'm using some of it in my demo as well. Yeah. So, uh, and obviously with the Kiss Cross one, I've gone quite heavy on the on the beads. Yeah. And, I'm, and I've got loads of seed beads left. I mean, obviously probably I mean, three cubes. That. That's, so that's a special occasion piece if ever yeah. I saw it. I couldn't help it because uh, the beads are so perfect for a Kiss Cross, so yeah. I had to do that. Okay. Obviously you could do it with the, um, with the coloured stones as well that would look fabulous too yeah and there's this technique it do, you know can be done with all of them as yeah. you said yeah well, I've but got look how different they in look. the center of the of the green necklace as well yeah okay so once you've gone all the way around twice so you've got two layers of your petal going all the way around then you're going to step up so you're going to go through the first six uh, size 11s in one of your petals it doesn't matter whether it's the one at the top or one at the bottom because you're going to do the same to both ultimately and then go through the size 15 at the point as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what I did was I wanted to bring these petals sort of closed together like that. Yeah. But again, if I just bring them together like that, the, the hole in the center is going to be too small for the cord. So you want to space them out a little bit. So I'm going to pick up two of my 15s. Then I'm going to pick up or go through the center size 15 in the next petal. Okay, then I'm going to do the same again. Don't worry about pulling it tight at this okay, point. Okay, so it's you're just going to cinching it in now. Yeah, it's just going to loosen up if you pull it tight at this point. So don't worry too much about that. Just go all the way around, adding in two of your size 15s between each of the petals. Okay, and then the last two. I'm trying to hold it so that you can see. I can't actually get through the beads unless I pick it up. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, so you go through the last one. And then, so when you pull it tight, it makes kind of like a little square in the middle. Can you see? Yeah, yeah. Which is now big enough to get your cord through. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to, I've come through the middle 15 -0. Yes, it is like one of those folded things. It is, yeah. The colour things. Yeah. So now I'm going back down the second side of that petal all the way down to the bottom and through the um, the size 11 that is between your 15s <laughs> okay and then you're going to come out to the outside of your second layer of petals again you go through the first six 11 nodes and the 15 and then you're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side so that's quite nice like that actually mm. and I was also thinking you could add a third layer of slightly sort of smaller petals and it would look almost like a water lily um, if you just looked at it that way but as I've, I've used them to make them into a beady bead you're just going to do the same thing again so pick up two of your 15s now your thread this time is going the other way around if you notice so you want to carry on going that way in the meantime you can finish off your tail thread because you don't need it anymore just go through a few beads and then cut it off no, it's quite hard to see these without leaning in, but <laughs> you get the idea. So you just go all the way around like that. And then you pull these together as well. And that gives you your, um, your finished beaded bead. And then if you're not going to get, you're not going to put cord through it. Um, like for example, in the, in the kiss cross necklace, I've used beading wire through the center. Yeah. So for that, you can, I just used one uh, size 15 out here because I didn't need the holes to be that big. You could also do it then with three bicones if you wanted to, but I didn't want it to be quite a bigger bead. So there I used four, four beads anyway. So okay. you can vary the number of beads and do the same sort of technique. And that's pretty much it. That's your, oh, it looks quite nice in those colors, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it looks lovely. That's your beady bead finished. And then you, you can, you've got quite a large hole in the middle so you can get your cords through quite easily. Even with so the cord ends. Do these move? They do, yeah. Ah, oh, look. And then can you see the two end ones are the smaller size? Yeah. So the only difference there is I've used the smaller bicones and I've picked up only five uh, 11 O's in each petal instead of six. 
Oh, they're amazing. And then same and then similarly that with your well, lariat yeah. too. You see, that one's got two cords going through, so it's a bit tighter, so it kind of stays where you put it, but you can move it up and down if you wanted to. Wow. Look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? And again, look at that. That's just taking a few of your bike ends, and look yeah. what the end result is. Monica, you're amazing. You are amazing. I've always said it. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely incredible make sure you check out your baskets everybody each of these projects is very uh, very limited now and remember that you do get Monica's instructions as well plus you can always watch the show back as well on YouTube because we upload them all um, to YouTube um, amazing any questions that you have then do text in because we are live here in the studio coming up jewelry makers Ooh. we have the largest fancy diamonds in jewelry maker history wow um you are looking at a carat weight of 2.4 but what we need to remember is that's the largest carat weight not in a cluster does that make sense in each individual stone which is far rarer than a cluster lots yeah. of little diamonds is not as rare as one big yes, diamond of course, of course, or in yeah. this case a parcel of big diamonds wow. 11 separate diamonds wow now 2.4 carats two to three millimeters wow. in their size yeah and also the fact they're round we don't yeah. often do faceted round diamonds um they're usually like a i think we describe them as pipe shaped um or or nuggets or something like that. The, the cut on these is absolutely beautiful. But heads up, lovely jewelry makers, I've only got 50. It, yeah, there's literally 50 available. The largest colored diamonds in, in, our, in our 14 years of broadcasting, it's coming up straight after the break. I need to emphasize though, jewelry makers, look, I will never be, I will never sit here and say diamonds are the rarest gem in the world. However, when you start talking about your fancy diamonds, you know, your yellows, your blues, your reds, your pinks, then obviously that right rarity is heightened. But diamond mining is very much operational all around the world. However, this is the world, globally, the world's most sought after gemstone. No doubt about that. Of course, yeah. Um, and the price is basically dictated by the likes of De, De Beers. Yeah. If they want to increase their prices, then absolutely the world listens and everybody pays more per carat. True, that's very, very true. So the price of jeweler, uh, of diamonds, sorry, has skyrocketed, making it very difficult for our buying team to actually source your, your diamonds, especially of this grade. But the other thing to consider, if you go into a high-end jewelers that is going to be able to offer you diamonds, you're going to pay most likely pay interest on it, aren't you? Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. You're you, mm -hmm. you you might if you take out some kind of payment plan, you're most likely going to have to pay some form of interest. I'm not saying guaranteed, but we gar we definitely offer you 0% interest to source. Look at them. Oh, Look at that beautiful. in a bracelet. Can you imagine? When we talk about legacy pieces of jewelry, that is exactly it. You know, in terms of pinnacle saturation for both the blue and the yellow, that's it. That's wow. textbook. In this short break, jewelry makers, and we'll do the same, I want you to get the Lady Gaga photo of her wearing the Tiffany's Canary yellow diamond. I want you to get an image of the Hope diamond. Because then you can appreciate, and they're some of the finest diamond pieces in the world. Then you can fully appreciate the quality of your, because with, with fancy diamonds, I'm waffling a little bit here, but do bear with me. When it comes to fancy diamonds, it's a bit different to the colorless. So you've obviously got the four C's, but you also want to add openness of color. So a, a fancy diamond can be so deeply saturated that it almost loses its ability to produce brilliance. You don't want that. You want that intensity of saturation with brilliance, with scintillation, with dispersion, with luster. And my goodness me, you've got it. It's coming up in a few moments time, lovely jewelry makers. We'll see you after this.
Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Debbie Kershaw I'm back with you on Thursday the 13th of June we've got the most amazing show it's all about flowers and you know me I love a flower in the 9am we've got absolutely gorgeous Nanhong Agate projects um, and I got the flower one so I made a little marla so I'll be showing you how to do that in the 9 but in the 12 we have got more lucite flowers now these ones are completely different to the ones we've had before um, really workable sizes little buds all different colours they come in a lovely heart shape box and I'm going to be showing you how to make these wisteria earrings so I've written a project uh, for this and I've also made some other pieces but of course anything that I've done before with my lucite flowers you can do with this box as well there's quite a lot of little bell shapes which I think are lovely for earrings and lovely for single pendants so I hope you can join me Elle and the team on Thursday at JM Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is 395. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of 595. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Oh, welcome back everybody what a privilege what an honor it is to be able to bring you diamonds of this grade you know and, and and I know it sounds a little bit nostalgic but I've been very fortunate to be here pretty much through the bulk of jewelry maker and we started in, literally in a cupboard you know and we we were very humble 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 um, but when we reflect and look back to sort of where we were and where we are now, you know, we haven't changed. We still bring you all different varieties of agates. We've just brought you kits for $9.99, which yeah. is amazing. In fact, I think you get more for your money these days, certainly more selection. Yeah. Um, but yes, we can also cater for the high end um, at the most achievable prices. You know, how many of us, in all honesty, how many of us 
ever thought that we'd be able to own 2.4 carats of diamonds? How many of us thought we'd be able to own 2.4 carats of fancy diamonds as well? Because I certainly didn't. But it's also a, an opportunity. I, I, I really wanted to seize this opportunity because we speak about the history of many of your gemstones, like your jades, you know, your rubies, your sapphires, your spinels. But how often do we actually talk about the history of diamonds? Yeah, we don't usually do we? We don't. But um, they have, of course, a very long history and a fascinating story of their formation. So I thought we'd cover that because we, I don't think we do it very often. Um, and here it is. These are sort of sections, if you like, from different articles that have been published, which I think was, you know, some, uh, um, very informative. Diamonds are formed over billions of years. Again, when you look at that diamond on your strand, on your wrist, on your hand, whichever it might be, that's formed over billions of years. Wow. <laughs> under the intense heat and pressure deep in the Earth's crust. Diamond, it, uh, as a material, is a natural mineral consisting essentially of pure carbon, crystallized in an isometric system. That's one of your crystal structures. There's seven different crystal structures. Uh, isometric is one of them. Uh, diamond is the hardest substance, uh, substance sorry, occurring in natural form. Physically, diamond has a hardness of 10 on the Mohs scale, um, a, relative, a relative density of approximately um, 3.52 and a refractive index of uh, 2.42. So again, you talk about those kind of things really when you're making comparisons with other gemstones, um, refractive indexes and things like that. But the history of diamonds. The name diamond arises from, the, uh, from a Greek root of Adamus, meaning unconquerable and indestructible. Diamonds have been a source of fascination for centuries. They are the hardest and most brilliant of all precious stones and have throughout history been a symbol of status, power, wealth, love, spirit and magical power. Diamonds have been sought uh, the world over, fought over, worshipped and used to cast love spells. Throughout history, they have been portrayed as magical objects of desire, protecting the wearer from harm, bringing good luck, embodying celestial spirits, um, and endowing the wearer with charm and the ability to attract others. Diamonds have held a special allure for royalty, with monarchs um, competing with one another for possession of renowned gems, often using them as instruments of diplomacy. Until the 15th century, only kings wore diamonds as they were considered a symbol of strength, courage, and invincibility. Some went into battle wearing heavy leather breastplates studded with diamonds and other precious stones, as it was believed that the wearer was thus uh, um, super, uh, yeah, imbued with supernatural powers, as diamonds were considered to be fragments of stars and the teardrops of the gods. Isn't that fascinating? It is, yeah. So they used to literally encrust their battle wear with diamonds wow. for the strength that this yeah. gemstone actually uh, um, has. Reading on, during the Middle Ages, more attention was paid to the value of diamonds rather than the mystical powers surrounding them. Due to the heightened public awareness of the value of diamonds, mine owners, uh, um, where was I? Mine owners, owners, myths, where am I? I've lost myself. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, value of diamonds. Mine is per perpetuated... I can't say that word. Perpetuated myths that diamonds were poisonous. This was oh. to prevent the mine workers swallowing the diamonds in an attempt to smuggle them out of the mines. The popularity of diamonds surged during the Middle Ages with the discovery of many large and famous stones in India um such as uh, the koh noor and the blue hope which ironically we're going to be talking about a little bit further on as well over the centuries diamonds have been associated with romance and legend and have developed unique status as the ultimate gift of love um, it was said that cupid's arrows were tipped with diamonds with a ma with a magic that nothing else could equal the Greeks believed that the fire in the diamond reflected the constant flame of love. It wasn't until 1477 um, when Arch, Archduke Maximilian of Austria gave a diamond ring to Mary of Burgundy that the diamond engagement ring was introduced. 
At that time, diamonds were considered talismans or charms that could enhance the love of a husband for his wife. From this time forward, the royal tradition of giving a diamond engagement ring began to be embraced by people around the world. Placing the ring on the third finger of the left hand dates back to the early Egyptian belief that the Venerama's vein of love runs deeply from the heart of the tip of the third finger. Oh. So apparently, yes, it goes directly to the heart. Oh, interesting. This is why we wear it on that hand. Oh. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing! Sure. Uh, the marketing slogan, a diamond is forever, has become a part of modern language, a concept that in popular imagination links the symbolism of the indestructible diamond to the ideal of eternal love, as enduring as the precious stone it describes. It's also, I've said many a times before, the most successful marketing campaign um, in history. Um, okay. Um, the global demand for diamonds. I'm going to try my best to read this too because I am aware it's very small. Uh, natural ethical diamonds are considered a symbol of everlasting commitment and trust. That's what makes them extremely popular amongst people, especially couples. Whilst diamonds and diamond jewellery include wedding rings, necklaces, earrings, bracelets and cufflinks have always been the first choice of most individuals. The demand for diamond jewellery is increasing even further. The global demand for diamond jewellery has increased by... Is that... 2%? 2% during the last year, and it is expected to rise. 2% might not seem like a mu much, but you'll see in a second, that's colossal, that rise in the diamond industry. Um, expected to rise even further. This is clear from the recent stats shared by De Beers, which is an international corporation specializing in diamonds, uh, diamond mining, diamond retailing, diamond trading, and industrial diamond manufacturing. Okay, so 2%, like I said, doesn't seem like that much, does it? But actually, when you look at it this way, when we're talking billions, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. So obviously this chart only goes up to 2017 and that it has continued in the same trend. From what, 2009 where you were talking, what do you think that is? About 62 billion, would you agree? About 62 billion, now you're talking about 82. So it has gone up incrementally each year by multiple billions. So the reason why I'm showing you this is really to hi highlight the fact why diamonds are so seldom on our screens, because it's such a challenge for the likes of Wayne to actually get hold of them. And it also explains why we only actually have 50 available for you today. The, it is a global gemstone. Um, so again, let's just quickly, due to the rising demand for diamond jewelry, De Beers increased its price for a third time in a row. Other diamond producers across the world have also increased prices by nearly one to two percent, which accounts for to be a lot of money since it's diamonds, um, which is just what I was saying. With current insights in the diamond industry, it's been making sales uh, making sales of 530 to 550 million with greater profits for high quality stones. The demand for diamond jewellery has risen to a record 82 billion, which is what we said, in the last year, after several years of stagnant growth. Major rise in demand has been seen in the US and China. De Beers is expecting the demand to stay on the rise for this year too. And I can confirm, jewellery makers, it has risen significantly between 2017 and 2024. Um, now... I wanted to show you because we did say these aren't just your colorless diamonds these are fancy diamonds remember i said just before the break in this time maybe try and find an image if you like of the famous tiffany's diamond the one that's that's literally priceless they said they will never sell it um has only ever been actually worn a couple of times by lady gaga audrey hepburn And Mrs. Mary, a socialite. Okay. So, it's at, look. the reason why I'm showing you this is look at the colour. Look at the openness. Can you see the brilliance? Can you see the scintillation? That's what we can lose in a fancy diamond. But not the case in this one. So, there is 
Lady Gaga wearing it at the Oscars. And they say for the occasion, Gaga chose a silk, uh, sorry, black silk uh, taffeta gown and leather gloves by Alexandra McQueen, accessorized with diamonds by Tiffany's and Co. One diamond in particular, the Tiffany diamond, a vast yellow stone, one of the largest in the world, which dates back over a century. She joins just two other women who have worn the diamond previously, one of those being Audrey Hepburn, who famously wore it in, um, in the press photographs for breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, wow. That, that, didn't, didn't she have like a, um, people from Tiffany's and co literally chaperone her, <laughs> Lady Gaga, because, well, I'm not to be honest, because yeah. of the actual necklace herself. Wow. Now when um, Audrey Hepburn wore it, it was slightly different. It was actually styled differently. They they oh, they will revisit it. The diamond obviously stays the same, but they'll revisit yeah. the piece of jewellery. I have to say, I prefer the modern version. Yeah, I actually prefer where it's all about the yellow diamond, the canary diamond. But look at that colour; it's absolutely incredible, isn't it? That brilliance, that size, and then no, it is. One of the world's largest largest yellow diamonds, the 128.54 carat Tiffany diamond is a treasured part of, T of Tiffany's archives, uh, meaning it is categorically not for sale um, and is usually kept under lock and key in a display cabinet in the brand's Fifth Avenue flagship um, as much of a tourist attraction as the Tiffany book, uh, Blue Book Cafe a few floors above. The cushion cut diamond um, from 200, thank you, from 287.42 carat rough stone discovered in South Africa's Kimberley mine in 1877. The cutting process took 12 months and was overseen by George Frederick Kunz, Tiffany's chief gemologist at the time. It is priceless. It will never, ever, ever go to sale, they say. Wow. Look at that color, absolutely incredible. Also, I mentioned the Hope Diamond, which is arguably one of the most famous blue diamonds in the world. Again, there's lots. If I, if I was to talk about the history of this, I'd be here for a while, to be honest, because it, uh, it has quite a long and lengthy history behind it. But again, Padam, King Louis the 15th, it, 14th, sorry. It's, it's got a, a vast history, this beautiful stone, but um, amazing, isn't it? That wonderful kind of teal-like color. But again, notice how it has that openness of color, which is something that usually fancy diamonds can lose. Now, I think it's time, don't you, jewelry makers? In our 14 years of broadcasting, we have never brought you fancy diamonds of this size. I don't believe we've ever brought you fancy diamonds of this cut before in this size. Brought you rounds, but not in this size. Um, I don't believe we've ever actually brought you the quality, as and we've brought you some lovely diamonds. We obviously have, but I think this is the best round we've ever done. Do you agree? But easy says Ross. But there's fifty. In a market which has never been, like I said, that's why I read that article at the beginning of the hour. It has been, initially it was on a slow, slow incline, but actually when you look at that graph, you go, that's oh, not so bad. You know, I'm fairly sure there's different types of food, oil, whatever it is that has increased more than that. Mm. Actually, that only goes up to 2017. Remember what happened also in 2019 and 2020? That didn't damage the price of, my, uh, of diamonds, quite the opposite. It skyrocketed. So if I was to bring this chart up to date, notice how it's just a very steady climb. That's it. The, the demand is up, but the supply is down. Remember the Kimberley, certain mines have, uh, have closed now, some of the biggest mines, especially for your coloured diamonds. Um, I've just gone blank, which is the pink diamond mine. Oh, I've gone blank, it's on the tip of my tongue. Argyle. The Argyle mine's, cl mine's closed, isn't it? Which is what was the largest mine in operation that produced fancy diamonds. So again, demand's up, yeah. supply's down, price skyrockets. Are you ready? 
Just that. If I was to recreate, if I was lucky enough to say that I own this, sorry, I'm looking at the recording that Adam's got for you. Recreate a diamond tennis bracelet. How beautiful is that? When we talk about heirloom, legacy pieces, do we all agree? That's what I'm looking at right yes. now. Oh, absolutely, yeah. A piece of jewellery that I can pass on from generation to generation. I'm going to wish you all the very best of luck. I promise that we will bring this... To, in fact, I know what this is going to, and it's crazy for this quality of diamonds. Beautiful canary yellows. Beautiful teal blues. The largest, look at the size of them, jewelry makers. They're absolutely huge in faceted rounds. Look at, if I bring it down to the white piece of paper, look at the quality of those colors. Look how bright and open. Look at that wonderful brilliance and luster. Remember your four P's, um, four C's, sorry. But you also need to have that wonderful ability, if you like, openness. So it doesn't hinder the saturation, doesn't hinder the scintillation, doesn't hinder the, the, the luster. In 14 years, they're the best that we've had, by a mile. I, absolutely, we're all in total agreement. My only wish is that we only had more. 50 is available, that's the way of the diamond industry at the moment. Yeah, well, diamonds are, okay, they're not, fancy diamonds are a different entity because they are rarer, of course, but diamonds aren't running out, but they are probably more expensive now than they've ever been, which makes our deal of the day price tag very, very, very exciting. If you are a diamond lover and you're looking some of the biggest and the most beautiful, I would add this to your basket. I would join us on the phone lines. I know what this is going to and I don't want to support, uh, spoil the surprise. But trust the process. <gasps> Adam. Look at those. That's not light trickery, Adam, is it? That's literally in a light box. All that scintillation. All that surface luster. A single light source. The graphics are live. Good luck, everybody. When the price of diamonds has gone up so dramatically, multiple billions year over year. It's not a bad increase, is it? Well, it's not bad if you own them. It is bad if you want to source them from anywhere else other than Jewelry Maker. So even here, Roscoe, at £2,999 for 2.4 carats of diamonds, it's not unrealistic, to be truthful. Um, I'm going to tell you, we had a strand in a similar cut, a similar size. They were black diamonds. Do you remember? Um, we had a bigger quantity at the time. And I'm going to tell you, they went for a higher price than what you're seeing, what is arguably a rarer color, pair of colors. Because like I said, well, it's the price of diamonds. Black diamonds, though, should be more affordable than yellow diamonds and blue diamonds and wouldn't ordinarily be. However, we get a great deal, you get a great deal. Okay. 50 available, already confirmations being made. Already. Year over year, it might only seem, 2% might not seem much, but when we're talking billions, it's a huge amount. Increase, year over year over year. And that's up to 2017. The chart would look very different if it was more current. It's far more dramatic an incline. Good luck, everyone. When we talk about legacy jewellery, when we talk about heirloom jewellery, this is the kind of thing that I'm talking about. Um, okay. Do you reckon you could pop into someone like De Beers or Tiffany's or Beaverbrook's even? Anywhere on your high street and say, okay, I'm looking for a 2.4 carat, say bracelet, shall we? You could get a 2.4 carat diamond tennis bracelet. You could. Do you reckon it would be £999? I don't think so either. No, it's going to be four figures. Could you create this, jewellery makers? Or a better version of this with your wonderful creativity and skills? 
Valerie, you've done it. Karen, you've done it. I've got Janice there, Zara there, Wiltshire there, Claire there, London there as well. And there are people wanting multiples of these. We are no way near your deal of the day price tag, jewelry makers. Still to this day, globally the most sought after gemstone. Globally. Not just here in the UK or in the West, globally the most sought after gemstone. You know, laced in amazing history. We're going even lower. Look at the quality of those beautiful blues. Look at the vibrancy of your canary yellows. That's why I wanted to show you arguably two of the most iconic yellow diamond and blue diamond pieces of jewelry ever created. Um, yeah, I'm not hesitating showing you those photographs. I'm not making comparisons. Obviously, there's a very big difference in their size. However, the quality of the actual color is what I wanted to draw attention to. And notice how yours aren't matte or op opaque. They've got that wonderful performance, ability to perform, which is one thing that fancy diamonds can struggle with. In six seconds, jewelry makers, we're going even lower. 2.4 carats of diamonds. How many of us can say that we own that? Let's half that price and still not be done. Claire, well done. We're not stopping there, Claire. We are not stopping there. Can I just say 10% of the stock has already gone? I only had 50. Over 10%, sorry. My maths is terrible. Well over 10%. Even here. If you were to walk into Beaverbrook's, Ernest Jones, and you were to say, I'm looking for a 2.4 carat diamond pair of earrings, shall we say. They're not going to be £499, are they? No. But also, where else are you going to get drilled diamonds? True, which you can actually bead with. Yeah, so you don't have to be a jeweller to no. actually be able to True. use these. Where do you get faceted rounds from? Yeah. <laughs> That's very true, Monica. Yeah. You raise a really good point. Nobody is paying £499 today. Nobody. For 2.4 carats of fine quality, vibrant canary yellow and beautiful teal blue diamonds. £299. So many of you have got this in your basket now, jewellery makers. Plus, don't forget you've got your 0% interest split pay. I don't know. I, I, I don't work in Innes Jones. I don't work in Beaver Brooks. I don't work in any of the other high street jewellers. I don't know if you would pay interest. Most likely, I should imagine, if you were to do it on um, easy payments or whichever way. Or Janice, well done getting three of these. Absolutely incredible. When we talk about legacy jewellery, um, it's diamonds, isn't it? Well, not just diamonds diamonds but diamonds are absolutely up there on that list probably the number one for most people did you think that you'd be able to buy 2.4 carats of diamonds do you think you'd ever own 2.4 carats of diamonds because i didn't on split pay less than 60 pounds and you can be wearing them have you got somebody who's celebrating an 18th birthday 21st birthday getting married an anniversary what a special gift this would be is it your birthstone? How amazing. If you're, if you're, you know, I think we've all got sort of uh, dream pieces of jewellery. Yeah? Yeah. A tennis bracelet is up there on my, on my bucket list, dream pieces of jewellery. But I'd never even entertain the idea of actually getting yellow and blue diamonds in that tennis bracelet. That would be insane. And I didn't entertain it because obviously I didn't think I'd be able to afford it. Today we can. Today we can. £299. Renfusha, congratulations. Janice, massive congratulations. You've got, let me just try and work this out, Janice. Um, you've got 7.2 carats, yeah? 7.2 carats of blue and yellow diamonds. How amazing. 7.2. That's incredible. Uh, Zara in London, Claire in Gloucestershire, Valerie in Somerset, Karen in Fife, uh, Amory in Cheshire, another maker wanting three, Jeff Wiltshire. Hello, Claire. Thank you, jewelry maker. Love to all the team also. Lots of love to you, my darling. Massive congratulations. But Claire, you know what? 
Claire, Zara, Janice, Renfusia, Valerie, Karen, London, Anne Marie, new customer, uh, Jeff, Wiltshire. That's not your price. I don't know anywhere else in the world that can do what we're doing right now. Even Wayne, by his own admission, says, I, I, I really struggle to buy diamonds. You know, we'd do a whole showcase if we could, wouldn't we? If we could do an hour of diamonds, we would. But we can't. This is literally the only diamond strand that we have available for you. They are the biggest, though, that we've ever done in our fancy diamond collection. And my goodness me, are they breathtaking. To say that you can source fancy diamonds of this quality, you know, not rough, not... not I haven't got anything against the rondelles, but I would much prefer a faceted round um, in a diamond. And I'd much prefer that 2.4 carat weight to be made up of, you know, larger stones. To say that you can do that for less than £300, we will go lower. Wilch has just bought two. Jeff, you've just got yours. How amazing is this? We're going even lower. 299 not your price. The quality of these. Wiltshire, £200 back in your pocket. Janice, £300 back into your pocket. One nine nine for diamonds of this grade. We've brought, nugget, we've brought nuggets, haven't we, in the kind of pipe shapes for that price. These are far bigger. Faceted rounds, far, far bigger. You know, our graphics are saying, what, three millimetres. I think they're bigger than that, even, to be honest. But fantastic for you, because you're getting it at the, at, the, at the measurement or the graphic price tag. Half the stock is confirmed and gone. Massive congratulations. Angela, you've just got yours. Congratulations. Renfusia, you've just got yours. Well done. I've got Joanne there, Amy there, Anne-Marie there, anonymous customer there. I've got uh, West Midlands there. I've got Wiltshire there. And there's a lot of you with multiples in your baskets as well. You can still do it, jewellery makers. Did you imagine on this, what, Wednesday morning that you might be able to... Yeah, I mean, oh, I've just bought myself 2.4 carats of diamonds today. And it's only cost me 40 quid. 40 quid on split pay. And a sterling silver spaces as well in between. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just kind of, yeah. Just, just by the way. I just hadn't noticed that at all. It's all about the diamonds for me. Yeah, I mean, that in itself, surely they're, they're about, what, 15 pounds for the spacer beads? Yeah. You just casually get them. Thank you, Monica, for drawing that to my attention because I just totally overlooked it. They are solid sterling silver spacer beads, so don't discard those. When di there is diamonds have consistently gone up in price and yet we seem to be doing the opposite don't we yeah i like I, i'd like to be able to say i remember when we did strands like this for four but we've never done a strand like this before we've never done a strand of this size before they are the biggest rounds that we've ever done in jewelry maker history 14 years Teresa, well done amy well done i've got cambridgeshire there Joanna Norfolk wants three. I want as a make who wants three. There's Wiltshire who wants three, uh, two. Now there's people on the phone lines. And by the way, there's enough of you with it in your baskets for this to be a sellout. I want it to be a sellout. I don't want these are too beautiful to be within our vault. In fact, it would be such a shame to put these in our vault. I don't know if we're allowed to, are we? We are. Mm -hmm. Makes me nervous though. Does make me nervous. If you want diamonds and the best diamonds, who's just added? Janice has just upped the quantity. Janice, we're going even lower. There's never been a better opportunity for the, look at the quality of them behind me. In 41 seconds, we are going even lower, completely spontaneous, completely unplanned. The largest diamonds that we've had of the best quality. We do all agree. Look at that scintillation. That's the internal brilliance and performance and fire. Scintillation is internal. Brilliance internal. Luster external. As long as it's sticking all of those boxes. Today, there's never been a better opportunity to get fine quality diamonds, genuinely. I've brought nuggets. I've brought some tubes, I've brought rondelles for more than what's on your screens. Ne nothing like this. Well done, Wayne, by the way. 
They're incredible. Good luck. Ayrshire, you've just done it. I can't believe we're going even lower. Oh, I just knocked just a little bit lower either. <laughs> wow. Do I say it? I've got something in my head right now. I'm going to say it. There's 14 of these left. Look, there is, <laughs> there's a company that launched, years ago it was actually, they launched a collection that really were one of the first to include diamonds in silver. You know the one I'm on about? Do you know the one I'm on about? Mm -hmm. And they were tiny little diamonds, yeah. little tiny weenie diamonds, usually not the best quality, not, not the most dispersive. And you'd have paid way more than what's on your screens. Yeah. And it was a melee diamond. These are not melee. These aren't melee size. In fact, you know, some years back, the average engagement ring size was three mil. And you've got a strand of them. Yeah, these definitely aren't melee. Melee are literally a millimeter. I'll tell you, here you go. See these here? On my engagement ring, just there, those ones on the side, they're melee diamonds, little ones. You have yeah, they're they're so far away from melee, it's untrue. This will sell out. Jeff's got up to his quantity, Sandra and Warwickshire, Christine, Susan, Janina. Uh, hello to you, Ayrshire. Janice, like I said, has got four. Annette, you've got yours. Teresa, Amy, Angela, Wiltshire, Zara, well done. How many do you have re left, Roscoe? Ten. Ten of them left. But if I look at the call screen, Joanne wants six. Oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to. Claire, Sharon, Jay, Lynn, Sharon, Maker, Maker, Stella, Barbara, Maker, Christine, um, Valerie. Oh, Valerie, have you been in once? Have you, why do I feel like you're getting this... Yeah, Valerie's got two. Well done, Valerie. Claire and Gloucestershire's just up to a quantity. Jackie and Essex, well done. These will sell out. If you're seeing your name now, you have you need to check out. I can't say congratulations to you yet. Jeff, I can say congratulations to you because you've got yours. But if you see your name now, massive congratulations, Valerie, Claire. Casual, like Bristol, you've just got yourself, what is it, 4.8. 4.8 carats of genuine diamonds. Fancy diamonds. Valerie, you just got 4.8 carats. Jeff, you just got 4.8 carats. Claire and Gloucestershire, 4.8 carats. Bristol, do you want to know how many's left? Out of 50. Out of 50. The biggest. Certainly the finest yellow and blue diamonds I've brought, had the privilege of bringing to air. It's, it's an honour. It is an honour. That's why I said, that's, that's why at the beginning, you know, I thought, what a chance for us to talk about, you know, the history of diamonds. Why have they captivated the world for, you know, for so, over so many centuries? Six of these left. But how many are in baskets? 25 people. Mm. Valerie, you've got yours. I've got Elizabeth in Tynanware chatting to our call centre. I've got Alison in London, another maker in London. <clears throat> Excuse me, Jay, you've got yours in your basket. Lynn in Kent still got three in a basket. Sharon in Durham's got three in a basket, two in a basket, sorry. Good luck, everyone. Elizabeth, you've just done it. Well done. Amazing, the final five. £29.80. <laughs> it's a basket shop, isn't it, that? That's a basket shop. Oh, you! I can't go into my... 20 quid easily in a basket. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ghost, I'm nothing. You're like, how's all that? You can get diamonds. £149. And the finest quality diamonds. Angela, good. You can do it, lovely. Stay where you are. Speaking to our call centre, you will... Oh. You're cutting it fine now, now. You can do it. There are four of these left within the vault, uh, within the vault, and they are absolutely incredible. Wait until you get them home. Um, can I just, the reason why I put this on a white paper is so I can really show you that brilliance. Get it out into natural sunlight as well. Look it under, um, under daylight, it's beautiful. Um, you've got 60 seconds and I need to move on from this jewelry makers. Good luck everyone. They are brand new. I didn't want to send any of these back to the vault and I don't think I will. 
because I th I'm fairly sure there's a few people here in the studio that will be very interested. Uh, 29. Yeah, <laughs> Monica's eyes are lighting up. Ever since. They're so pretty, Monica, aren't please, they? Please, please leave me one. <laughs> yeah, you want, you're after these. New telephone bidder. If you press your option one key, you can do it. My lovely Angela just has. That's exactly what Angela did. Pressed her option one straight away and she leapfrogged everybody who's got it in baskets. Uh, Jane and Gwyneth, <clears throat> you can do it, but you need to check them out. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. The final two opportunities. They are breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. Dispersive, fiery, scintillating, lustrous, with that openness of colour, which you don't often hear me, to, well, in fact, you won't hear me talking about if I was referencing colourless diamonds. When it comes to fancy diamonds, that's anything like your yellows, your pinks, your blues, your reds. Uh, openness is really important. Um, okay, there's just two of those left, so I'll leave those with you, jewellery makers, because we're massively over-allocated. There's 20 of these. Oh my goodness. Now, if everybody who got, came in for the last auction gets involved with this auction, there's not going to be enough to go around because I've got less of these. Really? Uh, can I repeat what you just said, Ross? Ross has just said, wait until you see the price on these, Al. Whoa. Okay. I'm intrigued. Ross, they're not just marquees. They're, dub they're double drilled. Oh. Interesting. As a jewellery designer, Monica. Wow. <laughs> does that open doors of opportunity? Absolutely. I mean, we were talking about this with the double um, slider beads as well. As soon as you've got two possibilities of going through. Wow. <laughs> I've only got 20, though. Oh, wow. Little old jewellery maker, how far we've come. Look at the quality of these. Oh my goodness. Now obviously these are just beaded onto a strand, but focus on the diamonds rather than the arrangement. I have exactly, how many? 20 available. Seriously, just look at that one. I don't know where this is going to, but I've got my eye on that one. I'm thinking that, oh really? Ross says, look at the smallest one on there. Okay, so let's look at that. What we're doing overall is too low for that diamond. The graphics are live. Each and every single one of these. Look at that. Look at the size of it. That's a massive black diamond. Wow. Absolutely huge. And how many have we got? One, two, one, two, three, four, eight. Eight solitaires. Yeah, I am counting that right. Two, four, six, yeah, eight. Okay, I don't know what the closing price is going to be on this, but... Okay, first price clash. But nowhere near where we're closing. Nowhere near where we're closing at 199. Okay, that's interesting. So, a lot of the bidders that I've already confirmed... We are not stopping at 199. A big price crash. I'm literally repeating producer Ross right now. Um, there are only 20 available though. That's why we've gone lower straight away. We've not dilly dallied on this one. Get it, get it uh, into your deal of the day opportunity. Florence in County uh, Londonry. Uh, Karen in Fife. Janina in Kent. I've got people um, on the phone lines as well. Quarter of the stock confirmed. Look at the quality of these diamonds. They are about to sell out. In 20 seconds, we're going even lower. And I don't just mean by a little bit. Jeff, some amazing purchases today, Jeff. Well done. You've just sourced four carats of black diamonds. And I can't remember how many you had of the previous strand. Was it two? So you got, you got, four, I, think, I think Jeff got two of the last strand. 4.8 of canary yellow and blue. Four carats of black diamonds. Wow.
That actually is ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> Never mind the biggest one, but how close can you get in, Lauren? Thank you. That's the smallest on the strand. That's the smallest black diamond on the strand. That alone for £99. But let's work up, shall we? What about that one? £99. What about that one? What, oh my goodness. What about that one? That's not even the biggest yet. Look at the size of these. Any one of those, Monica, for £99. You get eight of them. Wow. Incredible. At Wow. I know the graphics say barrels, but I think they're more Marquise, like a rice bead shape, aren't they? I suppose. Jeff's got two, Karen, Janina, you've got yours, Joanna, Norfolk's there, London's there, congratulations. What a day for diamonds. And I mean, we were saying earlier about where you're going to find diamonds that are drilled. Mm. Where are you going to find diamonds that are double drilled? Double drilled, yeah. Because nobody else is going to drill them because you lose carrot weight. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is that's the exactly right. Um, that's the challenge that we have with your jade. You know, yeah. You know, f when we wanted things like bicones and faceted mm. rounds, they're like, no, 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 we don't facet them. That's cutting carrot weight away. Absolutely. So, um, and again, don't necessarily look at the arrangement of this strand. Look at the actual diamonds. If I could, you know what? If we had more, Ross, I would cut the strand. If I had more. Do you know what I mean? So I'd actually just show you the parcel on their own. Um, so yeah, because I think it's easy to focus on the bugle beads in between rather than the diamonds. That's it. Let's let's just look at that because you can see the diamonds on the white background perfectly. Pauline, Sharon, Joanne, good luck. New customers, I only have 11 of these left. Ah. Oh. To close. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Yeah, but how though, Ross? How are we doing diamonds of this size? Eight big black diamonds. How, oh my goodness, madness this is. How about 10 pound per diamond? I've got nine left. 10 pound per diamond. One of the one of the most valuable commodities on our on our planet and we're doing it for a tenner each again i know it's ridiculous but if you pop into any jewelers and say have you got anything diamonds for a tenner <laughs> have you you know is there any chance i can get a pair of i don't know just a simple diamond pendant maybe i've got a tenner they're like no absolutely not that's the reality and i know you've got to create the piece of jewelry but that's why we bring you the drill diamonds. That's why we bring the double drill diamonds in this instance. Crazy. That's actually crazy. I'd pay $79.99 for any one of those black diamonds. And do you notice the quality of them? A lesser quality black diamond can be quite pitted and it can be quite metallic. What I mean by that looks a little bit like oil on water, but a little bit opaque. Does that make sense? The best quality black diamond, and I think I've got information on that. I don't. I know we haven't got long on this, but um, the best quality black diamond should literally be like a mirror image, um, so less opaque. Beautiful. Do you know also a black diamond is actually stronger than a colourless diamond? Oh, really? Yeah, because oh. there's more carbon content in there. So it's actually, I know 10 is the top on the Mo scale, but a black diamond is even stronger than that. Mm. Ayrshire, well done to you. Teresa, well done to you. Pauline in Cambridgeshire, um, congratulations. Uh, so good luck, I should say. Uh, Anna in Derbyshire is joining us as well. Andrew in, Je in West Midlands. Je oh, I can't, I had 20. I'm down to the last three. Sandra, you can do it too, lovely. There's lots of you with twos, uh, twos and fours I can see in baskets. So good luck everyone, £26.66 on your split payment. Amazing. Well done everybody, absolutely incredible. 29 of you have the last two in baskets. It's a good sound, isn't it? It's part of our coveted collection, this is, so you get a nice box with it too. Okay, something a bit different. Should we do some spacer beads? Always essential. I love this design. You get four. Four different designs. If I just grab my tweezers so you can see. So from this kind of like... 
triangular like shape I've only got 40 though silver then you've got oh a bit like your diamonds that you just had I'd be putting those with your diamonds the yellow and blue what do you reckon Monica yeah or if you've got a double um, slider spaces yes they'd go with those two I'll try see if I can do this ah and she has <laughs> um, then you've got your stardust and lastly with that little black anti-tarnish strip that's there don't throw those away they're invaluable they are then you have your diamond cut oh an absolute essential for every jewelry maker solid 925 sterling silver 10 pounds per design amazing we used to do them in packs of 10 didn't we used to get a pack of 10 uh, spacer beads you didn't have all the sort of parve you didn't have the diamond cutting they were literally rounds lovely don't get me wrong really lovely uh, but now you get a sort of a design element to them as well okay how many do we have of these roscoe 40 on the nose straight away we've got people saying need some of them never mind 10 pound per design how about a fiver per design so there'll be occasions, Monica, I mean, as a designer where you'll go, oh, I'm looking for my stardust or I might go for my diamond faceted or uh, the illusion kind of bead or that yeah. triangular. There'll be occasions when you're looking for those different ones, aren't there? Absolutely. You? I mean, as I was saying, especially if you've got the, um, the double spaces this morning. I True. Mean, you've got both of those designs in there. Yeah, you have. And then the stardust is, is probably the most popular one, yeah. I think. And then the triangle one is, is really cute. Cause it's actually, cool, isn't seen it? That before. I was going to say earlier that you could set one of the diamonds into the hole of the triangle, but then I can't believe I'm actually going to say this, but the diamonds are too big. <laughs> Your diamonds are too big. Sorry. What a yeah. problem to have, you know. Yeah, what oh, a dilemma. Diamonds are too big. <laughs> Your diamonds are too big for those. No, you can't. You, you'd, have to, you'd have to use some of the smaller <laughs> ones, maybe, that we've had uh, in the past. Definitely not today's. Um, okay, 19.99 jewelry makers. That gets you all designs. You can see the different sizes as well. So what do they go from? Four, uh, four and five millimeter. Um, that's a big gram weight of silver, also, isn't it? In something like this. We had 40. Straight away, collectors getting involved. Oh, that's a purple clock. We're going again. Stock up your stashes. Much like we had the um, spacer stoppers earlier this morning that went completely crazy. Get them whilst you have the chance because spacer Absolutely. beads have consistently been one of those integral components. I, I refuse to call them a finding. They're so much more than a finding. £12.99. Marion's got two. Karen's got two. Jennifer in Staffordshire. Marion, London. Um, well done. I've got new customers getting involved. Barbara, hello to you. Deborah, congratulations. Anonymous customers. Press your option one as well if you're um, on the phone lines. It's busy, busy, busy this morning. It's pieces like this that like additions like this monica would you agree that you know if i'm working with that jewelry maker pearl bundle yeah you know i'm not going to want to put a, a base metal with those am i no if i'm working with the diamonds you deal the day diamonds i'm not going to want to put a base metal with those absolutely i mean it's just like you were saying earlier when you had the ripple pearls as well to put it with gold it's the same with silver as soon as you put a precious metal with your pearls or your diamonds or anything else that you're using it kind of takes it to another level it's a perceived value, isn't it? Yeah. As soon as you say, absolutely. Yeah, that's that's a nine two five sterling silver. That's I don't know nine carat eight. It's a perceived value straight absolutely. away. Yeah. You know, and you're you're complementing if you like the quality of the gemstones. Um, stay where you are now. Jewelry makers coming up after the break. We have last of stock opportunities on your collector's closeout, which includes yes those amazing pearls that we just mentioned unbelievable quality can i just say it once more because i remember the price of these whichever strand this one or this one whichever it might be you're basically buying that strand and you're getting everything else for free it's a mad deal that's coming up i've also got your blue marbe pearls we've also got a collection of tahitian pearls which is unbelievable i've got tanzanite to bring you 
Topaz to bring you, um, Sakura Agate, Nan Hong to bring you, Conk to bring you. So it is a real hour of collector's opportunities. And then don't forget jewelry makers coming up at 12 o'clock today. You do not want to miss out on this masterclass. Um, there are 21 pages in the tutorial that Monica wrote for you today that you get for free. You get it for free with the purchase of your beautiful project. So you can get it in the white, the blue, uh, sorry, the white, the black, and also and the, the green. green. Yeah. Um, that's coming up at 12 o'clock today. So still lots to bring you. Don't go anywhere, jewelry makers. We'll be back after this. I'm back with you on Thursday the 13th of June. We've got the most amazing show. It's all about flowers and you know me, I love a flower. In the 9am we've got absolutely gorgeous Nan Hong Agate projects um, and I got the flower one so I made a little marla so I'll be showing you how to do that in the 9. But in the 12 we have got more Lucite flowers. Now these ones are completely different to the ones we've had before. Um, really workable sizes, little buds, all different colours. They come in a lovely heart shape box and I'm going to be showing you how to make these wisteria earrings so I've written a project uh, for this and I've also made some other pieces but of course anything that I've done before with my lucite flowers you can do with this box as well there's quite a lot of little bell shapes which I think are lovely for earrings and lovely for single pendants so I hope you can join me Elle and the team on Thursday at JM Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well and having a good week. I'm here to tell you all about my next show which is this Friday the 14th of June where I'm going to be joining Carol, Tom and the crew and there's definitely a high-end feel especially in my two project hours. For example in the nine o'clock hour I have got the undisputed king of the agates Botswana. Two incredible kits both featuring most beautiful strands and teamed alongside these absolutely I'm going to say the word cute sterling silver bead caps so that's in the nine o'clock hour and then at 12 o'clock we're going definitely keeping on with the high-end feel i have been given the most extraordinary strands of hematite i think i've ever seen and worked with firstly one of the project kits contains three strands of the most extraordinary high-end polished hematite bicones never seen the shape before absolutely incredible i've made this beautiful bracelet so far and then in the other project kit a texture and a shape i've not worked with in hematite diamond matte absolutely extraordinary we've got a peach tone a rainbow tone and this incredible anthracite gray absolutely beautiful so that's in the 12 o'clock so we've got hematite in the 12 incredible botswana in the nine hope you can join myself and carol from eight o'clock look forward to seeing you there have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share.
Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. What an amazing Wednesday it has been, and we've still got so much to bring you. So much to bring you. I've got, I, I want to just show you a little trick that Charlie taught me. Well, that's not really a trick. It's the best way. It's the best way to look at pearls mm -hmm. on a white piece of paper. He says. All oh, right. Because there's nothing blocking it then. Yeah. I'm going to show you. So we know the situation of pearls, right? If you don't, then uh, um, I can certainly educate you. Um, Tahitian pearls were the first where the harvest was literally bought outright for the future decade. So what that basically means is, as I've just mentioned, Charlie Barron, sixth generation pearl harvester, who used to join us on air. I haven't seen him for a while, have we? He can't bring us pearls because all future harvests have been bought out for the next decade. So if you are lucky enough to see cultured pearls, then you can bet your bottom dollar the price will be dramatically more expensive than, because they'd have been um, harvested prior to that purchase. You know, the traders will have bought them from the harvesters prior to that. So if you see them, then most traders will increase their price because the demand for it's gone through the roof. How about I show you, coming up, but not yet, not one, Wow. Not two, but three genuine Tahitian pearls. Look, oh, come on, at the quality of those. Wow. Yeah. Um, I will talk about it some more, but it is coming up. If you are a Tahitian pearl lover, then you're going to love the deal on these. They're huge. They're some of the biggest that we actually have. Now, Originally, there was 30 of these, yeah? Now there's nine, okay. It's not available for pre-order, is it? No, that's coming your way. Not only that, I have a massive Tahitian fireball pearl in a single. Wow. Tahitian fireball, talk about ticking all the boxes. Yeah. Um, I don't physically have that here in the studio. Oh, I beg your pardon, sorry, a fireball bundle. Yes, of course, this one here um, from the jewelry maker birthday. How many do we have of these? There's only a couple, isn't there? On the launch, we had 100. We're now down to 12, yeah. Well, I'm not surprised because this is good, probably one of the maddest deals you could ever imagine on pearls and they're all natural, by the way all totally natural so if you're a pearl lover if you love pearls then that's an absolute must i mean ross you've said i bought it yeah well we, to be honest you'd have been daft not to wouldn't you you'd have been daft not to and i'll say it again any one of those strands i'm looking at the bottom two in particular because they're the biggest either one of those let's just say you're buying one strand and you're getting all what one two three four other strands for free ridiculous that's your birthday deal there's 12 available today today jewelry makers 12 okay what do you want to start with color oh, pristine white topaz oh wow so do you remember not the birthday just gone but the birthday previously we absolutely sent the web and the phone lines into meltdown with that topaz strand do you remember that <laughs> And it was priced at, wasn't it 20, what was it, 34, was it, how much was it? That topaz, wasn't it, was it, I, I had in my head about 29 pounds. Anyway, anyway, it went crazy. And the point being about five, 600 of them flew out the door. Originally, we bought 600 of these jewelry makers. This comes under the that title we have the final 32 opportunities topaz is well one of the few colorless gemstones that we can use as jewelry makers mm -hmm. you know because if that was colorless diamonds then goodness me oh i've just seen the recording oh, oh my goodness first 
price crash, last of stock opportunity, but not when we're closing. First price crash. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Not going any. Uh, we're going even lower though. I was about to say not going any lower, but we are going lower. Um, imagine those in a tassel, Monica. Oh, sparkle, sparkle. A topaz, a pristine topaz. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Imagine this in a capriccio bracelet. Yes. Imagine these in the demonstration that you showed earlier on. Yes. Absolutely. Wow. And of course, it's a birthstone. I've only got thirty two though. We started with 600 down to the final 32. That tells you the, the deal. Three mil faceted rounds. What on earth? What? Genuinely, can I, can, can I, can I just say, and, and it's been mentioned that our prices have gone up. Our prices have gone down massively. This would have been 30 pounds, I reckon. 20 at a push, at a push. In fact, wasn't that what it sold for when we did that big birthday launch, Roscoe? I'm sure it was around £20 for a very similar strand. Might not be exact same strand, but very similar. Here we are today bringing you, again, flawless clarity. Look at the fire at the back. So you know it's ever so slightly out of focus at the back of the screen. Can you see the spectrum? Can you see the blue, the yellows, the greens that's just flashing away? That's what we call fire or dispersion. That's a qual indication of the quality of the topaz that you're getting. Multi buyers getting involved. Sandra's got two. Erica's got two. Elizabeth's got uh, got hers. Myrtle in Lanarkshire. Julia in West Midlands. I've got Jill in Sussex. Jan uh, Janet in Merseyside. Sandra in West Yorkshire. And it comes with some instructions. I'm here. Just get those for free. Just get them for free. Twenty five carats of eye clean quartz topaz. Sorry and instructions well done everybody well done to you all <gasps> starting the hour with a bang ross says doesn't that quantify a bang <laughs> that's a bang isn't it under 10 pounds half the stock's confirmed but we're doing it anyway 9.99 99 sorry ross what Half the stock's confirmed, and the other half is over allocated. Conway multi buying, West Midlands multi buying, Janet, well done. Good luck starting the hour with a bang. $7.99. Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, no, I agree. I, sorry, Ross has just said we've never done a deal like that on a strand like this um, previously before. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Yeah, this would have been 24, 30 pounds in my head. Um, look at the quality, unbelievable. And at these kind of prices, you know, Monica, no disrespect, but this is a clear quartz price, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. Do you agree? I mean, I remember when, uh, it must have been about four or five years ago, we used to say that we were not allowed to take any strand price below, I think it was seven pounds. Yeah, six ninety nine. You know, so that would be, like you said, a clear quartz. Yeah. But, go, but Topaz is... is, is is n is more expensive well, than clear it, quartz. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. So <laughs> this would have been the lowest lowest strand price. And you get instructions. And that was four years ago. Yeah. And you get the instructions. Yeah. And you get instructions. That's why I said earlier on. I was like, people say our prices are going up. Yeah. No, they're not going up. I think we just offer more selection. Yeah. But strands like this would have been more than that. Mm. Much more than that. Well done, everybody. Okay, the last seven chances of your 70 centimeter nan hong agate in six mil this is your text mills uh textbook strand you know yeah I, I agree if there's any strand of nan hong that you could purchase then this is the one so from the size i mean it's wearable versatile the color it is that perfect rich saturation and it's natural saturation the fact that you know they say don't don't they the 100 percent red in fact this is the article that's so important when we're talking about this material nan hong we hadn't long launched it and then uh little did our team know when they were going over to hong kong um was it the beginning of this year i think it was yeah um 
Oh, was it? Or was it November? Yeah, it was. It was November. The trip in November, um, where they went to, to Hong Kong, as they always do. Um, they weren't necessarily sort of seeking out information about Nan Hong because, thank goodness, we actually had we had deposits of it. We've got we purchased it. We have it in the vault. This is what that was. What this was from. But little did we expect to know some fairly crucial in information about this gemstone. That's why it's so important our team do travel around the world. It's not just about purchasing, it's about the information that you get when you're there. Um, and this is what that piece of information. This material is so rare now because of the situation of the mine. This has spooked the market because of the history with, it, with Nan Hong. Since September, the price for this material is now 10 times the price. Um, the Nan Hong with the best red that is almost 100% color um, is as expensive as red jade in the market. Now, remember that quote, but can I just say, look at that picture, sorry, Ross, look at that picture, and you might be thinking, yeah, but look at that red. It's only that red because he's got a torch on it. If you look at what's behind, yeah? And it needs to be polished and everything. Yeah, it's all down to Okay, it, that's only because of the light source. I'll go on, because they say, this material is rare now because of the situation of the mine. This has spooked the market because of the history with Nan Hong. Since September, the price for this material is 10 times the price. The Nan Hong with the best red that is almost 100% red, is as expensive as red jadeite in the market. There's the quote. That's what they're describing, isn't it? What's on your screens right now. Plus, what situation? What situation, Russ? The mine closed in November which is the last Nan Hong mine in the East and the last one in the world. So this is not coming from the ground anymore. China has seen it before when it disappeared for centuries and now they're going back through the mine and grinding up the remains of Nan Hong. Even this is commanding huge premiums. They set it like happy diamonds at, at shop art. It's still around 100 Hong Kong dollars per gram at this size. Sorry, 1,000 Hong Kong dollars at this size. Um, the mine closed. So there is nowhere in the world that is mining Nan Hong Agate. This is totally natural. It's not the same as dyed. It is not the same. How many do we have? Seven. Okay. The reality is we have Nan Hong Agate, or had, I should say. We can't replace it. That's what they're doing to the Nan Hong, going back through the mine, tracing the steps, taking fragments essentially and grinding them down. A bit like we used to do gem art. But far rarer you know that this is the thing Nan Hong is a variety of agate that came from one place one place it was found somewhere else previously but that was is now deplete this one deplete I have seven chances textbook Nan Hong agate that beautiful red color that intense red color tomato red we've only got the final few literally single figure quantities last stock opportunity one for the collectors and the connoisseurs remember the nan hong with the best red that is almost 100 percent red that's exactly what i see it's not almost is it there's no almost about this it's it is definitely 100 percent red is as expensive as red jade out in the market now we're going to do this in two price crashes, jewelry makers. The first price, after everything we've just discussed, is already ridiculous. <gasps> this was Monica's kits that are coming up. Oh, yes. Nan Hong and Jade out together. Oh. That's already too low. For a 70 centimetre strand. In fact, Lauren, could you pass me one of the tall busts? Is that okay? Because if you were to go into any high-end jewelers in the East, that's this would be. Remember, remember what uh, Stanley Chu said. Um, the only thing more expensive than 
than a jade bangle is actually a matched jade necklace. I, I'm absolutely certain that the same would apply, thank you, same would apply when we're talking about your Nan Hong because they hold it with as high a regard. That's what that article was just mentioning. Look at that. Can you imagine that? In a, in, in a jewellers, is it going to be 149? Yeah, not likely. <laughs> not likely, I don't think so. <laughs> totally natural Nan Hon Age and completely irreplaceable. You know, if we do, I don't know, name some of your favourite gemstones. Amazonite, we can replace Amazonite, can't we? It's getting harder, but we can replace it. We can replace Appetite, we can replace that. Amethyst, we can replace that. Tanzanite, yeah, we can replace that. Um, per even no, Grand Dijerite's not coming from the ground, so that's a, that's not. We can't replace it. Larimar, we can replace that. Yeah, amber, we can replace that. Uh, I have seven left of these. That's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. We cannot replace it. So most jewelers would hike the price up. It makes sense. We're not stopping here. We're not hiking the price up. We're doing the polar opposite. Uh, well done, Maria. Well done to you, Lorna. I've got Patricia, Janina, uh, another Maria. Um, I've got Maria in the Channel Isles and Marie in South Yorkshire. Lorna in Fife, you're there as well. Alison in Bristol, £79.99 pence only. Natural, perfectly colour matched as well. Red saturation 100% red saturation um, in a 70 centimeter strand can you believe that for 79.99 Alison you've done it Marie you've done it Rupal you've done it Maria you've done it Lorna you've done it how many do we have seven Paul okay there's still people that need to check out the baskets Jeanette Brenda Jamati Patricia Brenda Janina, I, we're over allocated jewelry makers. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Remember, I'll say it again, uh, the Nan Hong with the best red, that's 100% red, is as expensive as red jade eye. I've got one left, who's gonna get that last one? Unbelievable. Would you all agree? There's nothing almost about this, that is 100% red. The clock is over. It's gone. Well done. Well done. Wait, wait, wait. I have two strands. We bought the Nan Hong not knowing when we when we acquired our Nan Hong Age, of course we were fixated by the beautiful the history of it, of course the the beauty of the gemstone. When we went in November last year to Hong Kong, we had no knowledge about the the depletion of the mine. We had no knowledge about that. But, and had that trip not have happened, we obviously would be none the wiser. And then we'd be like, why can't we replace the Nan Hong Age? Why is the price of Nan Hong Age gone up so much? So most jewelers most gem traders would take that information and go okay so 10 times the price it's irreplaceable we're not doing that and i have two strands both natural both solid red four to five and five i'm going to start with the slightly larger size i i th I, i'd agree it l does look a bit bigger than five mil yeah that's fantastic for you guys at home. Yeah. Because that means you get a better price. Okay, so I'm just going to do this for a second. Because that's coming up. But this one right now. A full 38 centimetre strand. But again, would you all agree? This has some of the beautiful silks within. But it's still a solid red colour. Would you agree? Look at that. Look at that colour. One hundred percent red. No, almost about this. We're going to do it in two price crashes, jewelry makers. Starting off where we closed the previous strand, seventy-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. 
30 seconds on your screen. It's last stock opportunity. We're going to take it even lower. Completely irreplaceable. That means nowhere in the world is mining Nanhong Agate. What's so special about Nanhong Agate? Firstly, it's got that wonderful rich color and it's totally natural. It's not dyed. The other day, um, what was it, Sunday actually, when we did a show with, it might have been Saturday or Sunday. Anyway, Dave stepped into the studio and he saw some, uh, some Nan Hong pieces. He was like, wow, you can clearly tell it's one of Dave's favourites, Nan Hong Agate. But again, that lovely richness of colour is all, it's not dyed, not treated. That is natural, cherry tomato red. Your closeout deal today, wow. We could just sell this back into the market, you know. I make profit straight away, but then that wouldn't make much of a show, would it? And plus, we haven't got the, a big enough quantity possibly to do that. No, we could. Even with Nanon, we don't need a big quantity to sell it back into the market, Ross. We could do that, couldn't we? But, like I said, that's not what we're about. We could cut it up. We could sell it as individual beads like this. Look at those in the tray, which is a very odd arrangement, isn't it? I think the idea is that you just choose one. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Don't really understand it. But anyway, they sell them individually. 30,000 Hong Kong dollars. That's, that's all as much as I need to know. And it's this material. It's the same material. That's more of a bluey red. Would you all agree? Whereas you've got the 100% red in this strand. 55 carats in your beautiful 5 millimeter. Um, again, Monica, I mean, would this work with your, your uh, masterclass? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, but you know what else it would be really amazing with? Uh, a little while ago, we had the um, red jade, um, like that rocking horse pendant. Oh, yes. Which was carved in the middle. I saw it the other day. Yes. I got one. Did you? <laughs> yes. The spinning one? Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing, that this is. would be perfect with that. It would be beautiful. Yeah. Because they're not too big, either. Yeah. And, yeah. it's, and it's the same sort of, um, the same type of red, yes. as you were saying, about the, the jade being. Yeah. Red. it's a t I always say cherry tomato red. Yeah. Isn't it? Um, and it's natural. Okay, I can't believe this, but there's still a few of these available. If we're going to do close out, we're going to do it properly. How many available? Have we? We've got a bigger quantity Ooh. than we thought. Right, there's 40 available jewelry makers. Have you ever watched Nan Hong showcases and thought it's beyond my budget? Because today I think Ross is going to change that. Today is the best opportunity, he says in my ear. Yeah, yeah. Not only because of the price, but also because of the quantity. I have to say, it's normally very limited. Purple clock. I've got 40 available. We need to see at least 20 people, though, add this to their basket for us to justify that closeout price. Well, to be honest, we're already there. That is your closeout deal. But we want to go lower. Because there's no point in me bringing this to auction, uh, bringing this to air and it only selling a handful. We've closed it higher than this. In the past, historically. And by the way, don't be disappointed if you're one of those people. You've still got a fantastic deal. You know, sometimes when uh, supermarkets do promotions. Basically, that's what we're doing, isn't it? It's like one of those supermarket promotions. I need 12 more people. 12 more people to join us. 8 more people. And then we can drop that price even further, should we? No, I don't think so. Don't think so, we're already at an amazing deal. It's irreplaceable. It was irreplaceable probably, if you add zeros to that price tag. Um, definitely irreplaceable at 39.99, regardless. Already lots of you there. More than enough, says Ross, he's happy. Oh, you're going to get an incredible opportunity, he says. If you've always longed for your Nanhong, which is natural, by the way. There's a big difference between Nanhong, Sakuras, um, Galaxy Agates. There's a big difference between these to your dyed varieties. These are incredibly rare. One-time closeout deal at £24.99. 55 carats of beautiful, vibrant cherry tomato red. Um, Baker in Gloucestershire, Stuart, Pauline, Alison, Maker, Lancashire, Alison, Fund Me, Edward, Angela, Gloucestershire, hello to you, West Midlands, Northamptonshire, Oxfordshire. Uh, multi buyers getting involved. Hello to you, Janina, you've got yours, well done. Um, keep on dialing through, that's a massive deal on this strand. An absolutely massive deal. It's not short either. 
Because that's the other thing we could do, couldn't we? We could go, okay, okay, this is back in November, so we've certainly had the time. Back in November, we could have gone, right, everybody, everybody in uh, Jemporia, Nan Hong Age, the mine's closed, okay? So anything that you've got, anything that you've got, don't put your price up, because that's beyond, we don't do that. But maybe reduce the length of the, length of the strand. Yeah. Because it's irreplaceable. It's irreplaceable. But we haven't done any of those things during May because we kept it. We've had the time to do it, haven't we? Twenty four ninety nine. If you've ever longed for uh, Nan Hong Agate, there's never been a better opportunity. Susan, Marianne, Gloucestershire, Alison, Edward, West Midlands, Northamptonshire. I've got 18 left. Uh, Marie, Dawn, Yi Mei. Pardon? One more minute on screen. And then we're going to close the graphics because, yeah, it, it is Nan Hong Agate. So, and we are practically giving it away. We could just take these to Hong Kong, couldn't we? Hong Kong Gem Fair. Which we did for the first time. Not in Hong Kong, but in Tucson. We actually had our own booth for the first time. All right. Yeah, which was, uh, of course, a huge success. Oh. Yeah, because you're always going to. And you've got the portfolio of gemstones that, that, yeah. that we have here at Gemporia. It's going to be a success. You know, Nan Hong Agate. We've brought you some type A jade in the prices. They're at trade prices, though, I have to say. So they'll be far more, more expensive than what you see on your screens. Um, get it home, jewellery makers. Totally natural. Um, again, if you want to do your research on Nanhang, um, we quite often actually speak about the fact that mine closed in November, just gone. And that is the only location of source of this gemstone. Well done. Down to the final five. Should we, I've just seen this. The carvings, the, the the carvings, Ross, are crazy beautiful. Do you know on that on this presentation, there's a carving where it's like the face in a pebble. No. He's in a pebble. He's car that no, no. Sorry. No. Keep going. He's he's carved in the actual stone, and then you see the face, which has got the, the white of Nan Hong, because Nan Hong, you can get the red, but you can also get the silk variety, which works fantastically when you're carving it. Now, this is gonna blow your mind, because using those different colors within the carving, they're some of the best carvings I've seen, full stop, but regardless of the gemstone. See what I mean? That's crazy. Wow. You've got different coloured flowers. The artist has actually oh. gone, okay, that flower's going to be red, that flower's going to be white, that flower's going to be peach. <laughs> Using the natural saturation. And again, let me just check. Yeah, it is drilled. The drill hole is at the top here. You see it there? So I had to rock it forward. I've only I've only seen these for the first time. No, it's weird. There's like a white face. We can show that though. That's that's not the one I was thinking, but we can show it. It's nowhere near as good a quality as yours. But look at that where you actually have the red and then the white is the carving. We're already into single figures. This blows my mind, this carving. It's absolutely unbelievable. Three dimensional um, and again, all totally natural. This is what we have called the silk, Nanhon silk, twisted silk, where you get these lovely colors, um, the whites running through it. I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. 69.99, how many do we have of these? Five, only five available. Karen and Fife, you've got yours. I've got Anna in West Midlands, Lorraine in North Yorkshire, London's there as well. £17.49. and pence. The fact that we are talking about a, 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 a gemstone that is physically extracted from the mine, um, from the ground, mm. you, in its rough form, that's carved like so, with three-dimensional designs. You know, each flower layered upon uh, um, one another. That, again, yeah. I mean... <laughs> Just the skill that you need to be able to do that carving, you know, and then to add in the sort of the, the knowledge about the layers. Yeah, and the by colors. hand. Yeah. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Congratulations. Stay where you are on those phone lines. 
Right, we're going to do, okay, we're going to do one and the only grey jadeite piece that we have, because it's, yeah, it's the black series. I don't know why we've called it grey, it is the black series. Um, and then, and then we're going to do the Tahitians. Um, okay. I'll just pop that there for a second. This is huge. And this, I guess, Monica, could be used with Absolutely. your masterclass. Absolutely. Oh, I love it. It's so enigmatically beautiful, this. It's totally natural. We're talking about one of the rarest colours. So... Jade comes in a colour wheel of colours, so you can get greens, yellows, oranges, whites, um, browns, um, pretty much every single colour. Lavender, of course. Black, or your black series, takes three times longer than any of those colours, and there is no way of actually speeding up that process. Literally, it has to be millions of years. Um, I have to tell you, the real thing is not just the colour of this, the, real, the, the, the rarity of this is the size because black jadeite forms much 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 smaller ordinarily sorry it is almost blue and i'm glad you've clicked onto this because this is bernard bernard is probably internationally globally regarded one of the most respected jade traders in the world um and he uh, he we've learned a huge amount from bernard over the years and he's the reason why you see much of the jade that's on your screens um there are two types of black jadeite both rare and valuable burnt chicken skin variety is black and opaque and then you've got the omphacite black jade uh, which is the rarest this is the material that crystallizes very fine with a strong enough light source will glow uh, which illustrates the fine texture um we have been offered a pocket of something i've never seen before though and it's by color rough which is blue black now when you look at and the reason why i'm showing you this is this is class as blue black right i know our graphics might say differently but as you can see the blue black color right because when you look at a piece like this uh, the enclosed carving is the closest i have found this is bernard's research now um to what this rough could be don't get too excited as we don't know how it will be carved yet so yeah okay but we can produce a smaller series um for you it will be possibly the most exciting in our partnership to date so he's talking about a parcel of rough that he is going to carve for us and he said this piece this carving is the closest that i can find to the color yeah and look at the price three hundred and seventy-five thousand pounds for that carving oh dear <laughs> there's a couple more a uh, blue jade eye figure of guan ying sold for eight thousand one hundred and twenty-five in 2012 be more now this one, which I think is the most like yours. Okay. 640,000 to 1 million. Look at, he's not the most translucent, is he? He's fairly opaque. He's got definite mottling. And he's not massive, by the way. Um, but he's that blue-gray. The haiku that I have here is 125 carats. A 50 millimeter, quite possibly one of the largest taigus we've ever brought to air, in most certainly one of the rarest colors. This is your type A, not dyed, Burmese, blue, gray, haigu. It, and it's absolutely incredible. Again, when you put the elephant, when you think about the elephant, which actually has got fault lines as well. Can you see on his leg? Can you see the fault line? I mean, he's still a million quid, goodness me, don't get me wrong. But I'm just looking at him going, okay, and maybe he's from some dynasty. He might be from a dynasty and there might be the history attached to him. That's why he's got the price tag. But he's not the best quality of jade in terms of its crystal formation. However, it's the colour that escalates the price tag, the fact that he has the perfect elephant colour, really, isn't it? That bluey-grey shade. The graphics are live. How many do we have of these, then, Roscoe? 20 available opportunities. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. 
It's been on air once. And it's going to sell out today. Look at that. It looks like a storm sky. It does, doesn't it? That's oh, absolutely amazing. And that's natural. Even here, at that price tag, it's, a, it's an incredible price. You try and find blue grey, natural type A, Burmese jadeite, 50 millimetres in its size, of 125 carats anywhere else at less than £2,000. What's that? When we first had high goose here at Jewelry Maker, firstly, we didn't have the blue grey, didn't have the black series, did we? We were looking about £299, weren't we, per high goo. We were. That's the reality. And that was more, your more abundant colours like your apple blossom green. Might be the biggest close out of the whole day, says Ross. Yeah, because it's, it's massive, Ross. We're talking about 50 centimetres for what you're getting. You know, the fact... I don't show you the pieces, these, you know, these carvings necessarily to go, okay, yeah, well, this could be worth a million pounds. I don't know the, I don't know the history of that elephant at all, but I do know it's what it was estimated between 600 and a million US dollars or something like that. But again, it probably has got history to it. But I, what I can compare 100% is, okay, that's not the best crystal formation. He's actually got a few fault lines there. There's a big seam down the one leg and he's quite mottled. It's still lovely because it's that really rare color. Look at the quality of yours. You've got no cracks or seams. You've got that lovely patterning. That's very different. Patterning is different. What on earth is that, Ross? I agree. You've just made a statement in my ear saying this might be the biggest closeout deal of the day so far. Fact. Fact. It's got to be, Ross. Oh. Hang on. There's two, Ross, isn't there? No, there's three. In my head. That one. That one. And that one. There you go, they're the biggest closeout deals of the day so far. Would you agree? And they're all and they're all coming up, jewelry makers. Elizabeth in Belfast, at Cambridgeshire, London. New customers getting invo involved. Yeah, there's a lovely moodiness, as Monica was saying, it's like a stormy sky. Yeah. You see those lovely blue gray blue gray colours, natural, not dyed. Um, if it was dyed or polymer impregnated, then obviously. Uh, then obviously um, it would be type B or type C, not the case here. It would go beautifully with your Tahitian pearls, in actual fact, when you see those two together. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Again, make sure you're checking out your baskets. The largest piece. Well done, everybody. Amazing. Right then, it is time for the Tahitian pearls. Very tempted by these, Ross. Um, how many do we have? Not many, okay. Okay. Unless any of us have been hiding under a rock, under a rock or maybe been away on a nice long not, uh, adventure around the world, I don't know, whatever <laughs> it might be, you might not have heard that Tahitian pearls, which were really like that tipping point, in the pearl industry that changed the pearl market to what it is now. It is a fair statement to say pearls have never been more expensive than they are right now. Um, so much so we have articles writing about the prices and the reasoning behind it. And it's not just Tahitian, that's Tahitian, that's South Sea, that's every variety of pearl shell pearl it's even had an effect on 
But if you see this, look, cultured pills soar. High prices and higher demand. I'm not going to read every single word of that, but you can see photographs there that look like, that looks like Tucson, to be honest. Um, around the pearl sort of area or one of the pearl areas within, um, within Tucson. But again, I wanted to show you this. Now, this is actually quite dated, but this photograph is actually the pricing table of Tahitian pearls. But I need to point out that this is actually, um, that this is actually probably, what do you reckon, Ross, about a year out, this slide? Probably. It doesn't matter. So it's actually going to be higher than what's on your screens. So you are getting three pearls. Um, and what sizes are they? Let's, let's talk about the size of the Tahitian pearls that you're going to be getting. Twelve to fourteen millimeters, and we here at JM will always underestimate and over deliver. Does that make sense? So win win for you guys at home. But okay, let's go back to our pricing chart now, jewelry makers. So twelve to fourteen mil, right? So the largest they show on this chart is fourteen mil, mil. and ours are listed as extra fine even if we are conservative let's be conservative then ross shall we let's say fine double a grade would you agree so 13 and a half to 14 millimeters you're talking 300 to 60 600 dollars per pearl and at the very top tahitian black cultured pearl which is exactly what we're looking at right now can you see that in the very top what is it, right or left? Here, 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 right there. That part on the screen says Tahitian, black, cultured pearl, and then you go down the millimetres. Commercial grade, it's not commercial grade, I can tell you that for certain. Not good, I think we're better than that as well. I personally think we're between these of this size because it's not pitted I would be leaning towards personally but I'll be conservative but we'll go to the the double A grade matching the size that's the price per Tahitian pearl 300 to 600 dollars so that already makes this collection you could even argue some would be more because they're drops but we won't we'll stick to the pricing so what is that Roscoe 1800 at the top between 1,200, yeah, and 1,600. Should we meet in the middle? No. 1,500 in the middle for a Tahitian pearl. Now, let's go back to this. I'm going to skip past, but just keep that pricing in your, in your mind. Because this is information um, on the back of the, uh, our Gemporia's birthday. And they were saying they were trying to put together a collection and they said for reference these strands that ha uh, we have provided with the colors uh, that yours display are selling right now for 50,000 wholesale no exaggeration in the market the tahitian pearl industry has changed overnight whole harvests have been reserved for the next 10 years a genuine conch necklace would be more affordable right now than tahitian pearls and they're talking if you look at the top it says uh, please note that if the pearls are not pitted at all um, for round shapes 12 millimeter Tahitian pearls it would be at least 800 per piece per pearl that is not per necklace in the market you can also check the current pearl prices in the market which we have just literally done haven't we what that um, that's we should have one in the studio here actually I've been saying it for ages we should have the, the gem guide like we used to in gems it's exactly the same information that's what you would carry if you were going to Tucson but then reading on, the genius thing that the team have done is source the largest pearls from Harvest over the, over the last few years. I'm going to say unbeknown. They have no way of knowing that the situation would be what it is today. Anything 18 millimeter and over, these are crazy prices now because they are uh, the only team who can facet this material. That doesn't really apply right, apply right now, but they do buy the pitted. So in that photograph, can you see that's a pitted pearl? 
nothing like what you're getting today. Yours are far nicer. But look, even a pitted pearl is $1,500 right now in 2023. Wow. And they don't care if you're faceting them because you're faceting those pits away. It yeah. doesn't matter. But yours aren't being faceted. Yours are being sort of draped from beautiful shepherd hooks or um, peg bales. But they, uh, these are the pearls that right now are selling for a thousand minimum per pearl with the peacock colors, okay? Peacock colors, in fact, let me go back. These pearls have the most peacock colors because of the density of the nacre. These are the pearls right now that are selling for 1,000 minimum per pearl. Would you agree that there's a peacock color saturation in that one in the center? Ooh, Can yes. you see it? Blue, green, yellow to red. Yes. Do you agree? Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? So they're saying, well, just per pearl, it's a thousand. It doesn't matter about the shape. It doesn't matter about the shape. Drops, rounds, they all command high prices. This one here would 100% be extra fine. Absolutely going back to that table. I assume you've seen what's happened in the pearl market. Tahitians are the most expensive pearls in the world now. A conversation between Dave and one of our pearl suppliers over in Bangkok. Um, I just need to check what stock I have first. Stock has been very low as prices have shot up, so things sold really fast the last couple of months. Um, I think this is Dave. Yeah, a Chinese superstar wore Tahitian necklace uh, and it went up like crazy. Chinese are going uh, to Tahiti to buy all the Tahiti pearls. They're even buying it blind, imagine. So, okay, yeah, let me know. I'm open to quantities and prices, just the colors is the most in I'm most interested in. So that's the exchange of conversation that Dave had with one of our pearl buyers. The reality is he probably couldn't even fulfill that order now because of this article, um, the power of influence, that's Nini, who's a global celebrity uh, in, in uh, the East. She wore Tahitian pearls and that is what basically now means that the whole Tahiti pearl mine, um, or harvest, sorry, not mine, um, has been bought out for the future decade. So anyway, it's so important. They've always been regarded as the most expensive pearls in the world, but now more so than ever. The multicolors uh, um, in the pearls we have secured for this collection are now the most in demand pearls on the planet. And prices for these sizes are the most expensive we've ever seen. Match pairs and strands are trading for, it for five figures wholesale. There we go. It is crazy. Okay. I might have to, I, 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 I need these, Russ. Yeah. Even, and I've got Tahiti pearls that I've bought from Jewelry Maker. I wouldn't own them otherwise. But, you know, I've, I've told you that story previously that there's a, there was a pearl necklace that I sold when I was back in my 20s. Well, it was me along with the actual jewelry shop owner. Yeah. And it was £50,000. Wow. To a very well-known footballer. Hmm. You probably guess who it is. Fifty thousand pounds, and that was twenty-five years ago. Imagine what that would be now. Wow. Okay, you get all three. Ross, come the break. Is oh really? Oh, I was kind of hoping I could join you on this. You've got the full peacock colours, which I hope we've described. This is one for, yeah, the big collectors, absolutely. Yeah, I agree. Ross is saying if you're unsure about it, maybe leave it for somebody that. Yeah, look at that. Can you see the peacock colours there, even when I'm holding it? Good luck, everyone. The auction is open. You don't just get the one. Hang on. They're not fully drilled. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness me. So you could just literally pop these onto a head, bin, a head pin. So many of you have this in your baskets, jewelry makers. It is a sweet, absolutely it's a sweet. I would put those together, they'd be the earrings. That's what I'm thinking, do you agree? Yeah, see it's nice that they're drilled through because my first thought was to make a pendant with all three of them on top of each other. Oh wow. A long pendant. And no pearl will be identical because they're no, no, no. organic gems. But before we do anything on the price, 
I want to show you something because this is so important. It's a clip of film of Dave at the beginning of the year in March this year. And he, when we went over, he went over to Hong Kong with the, with the team, not to buy, for the first time ever, not to buy pearls. He knew he wasn't going to come away with pearls, but to get footage just like this that gives you that, uh, that, that knowledge of how amazing these deals are. So watch the VT, trust the process, know that we are going to bring you the best possible price. It is ridiculous, this deal. Up next. Hi guys, so I'm here with Kakuda Pearls who have one of the finest selection of pearls that I've seen anywhere. We're talking incredible natural Tahitians, huge uh, uh, supply of uh, incredible Akoya pearls, and of course the South Sea varieties as well. And we wanted to talk to the man himself about what's been happening uh, within the pearl industry. Mm. And I wonder if you could just um, mm. shed some light on what's happened maybe mm. since September with mm. pearls. Mm. Okay, September to uh, October, it was the kind of a peak time. Uh, with uh, mainly Chinese customers, yeah, mm, it's a big boom, boom yes. in China. That I yeah. you know as a fashion material, fashion uh, material, the pearl is getting so popular. And and it has it impacted the price? It is. Yeah. Now it's the uh, highest in the history. In the whole history. Yes, with wow. the Tahitians yeah. and the South Sea golden color, South Sea white, or wow. even the Japanese aquarius. So, as it would you say, it's gone up thirty percent, or is it doubled, or? What kind of increase? Well, I don't remember much, but uh, looking back two years, maybe last September, October was kind of a peak and uh, it was like a double it's three years ago. Wow. But I know the things are kind of a changing right now. Yeah. Mm, I know it's hitting the top and... Uh... <laughs> so it's very difficult at yeah, the minute to get good mm. quality Tahitians it and is. Golden South Sea mm -hmm. because of the uh, the influence of, is it Nini, the social influencer in Yang Mi? You're right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that's, that's with Tahiti. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but it has also been impacting the price of South Sea, you said. Because mm -hmm. that was Tahitian. Yes. Yeah. Um, so to, to anyone right now who's looking to get good quality South Sea, whether it's the golden or the white, and of course the Tahitians, it is very, very difficult. Unless you can get hold of older material, which mm. you know you may be able to get a better price. Mm. Right now it's at the peak, and uh, we're talking about the most expensive time in history to get cultured pearls, and that is the power of social media and influence mm. and the Chinese market. Mm. Um, we, we, we saw it through September and October, but even right now uh, in March, in February, we're seeing the same high peaks for those incredible pearls. The most expensive in their time, ever. That's what he said. It wasn't Dave, that's what he said. And here we are about to bring it to you at a deal, well, you know what, even if we had the deepest of pockets, we still couldn't replace it. <laughs> Because I don't know what you saw, if you saw the, t the, the five figure prices for an individual Tahitian pearl. One Tahitian pearl. You don't just get that one that you see on your screens right now, jewelry makers though. You get three. Three peacock displayed, totally natural, Tahitian drop pearls for right. Hang on a minute, Roscoe. This is out of date. We cut that that chart. We actually said quite out of date, didn't we? More than a year. We've matched that first price though, haven't we? Straight away per pearl for the for the fine double A grade. I didn't even push. I didn't even say that it's triple A grade, although I do think they are. Um, okay, but we've got two more price crashes. You don't just get one, you get all three. You do get all three Tahitian pearls. We are not stopping at the next price crash. Look at those beautiful peacock colours, natural orient. That's a hundred pounds. Wait a minute. Can you bring that, that behind me? Is there anywhere that says a hundred pounds? I know that's in dollars. But wait a minute, wait a minute, mate, wait a minute. For the poor quality, I mean, yeah, you'd struggle at what, 12? Commercial quality, maybe. We're at 100 pounds for graded quality, 
genuine Tahitian pearls. You're not just getting that one. You get all three. And we are going lower. The, it has never been more expensive. Tahiti pearls are the most expensive that they have ever been in history. I've got what, sorry? Single figure quantities. Beautiful. They're being, they're being harvested, don't get me wrong. But future harvest bought out, completely bought out. That's 50 pounds for Tahitian pearls. That's, I, I, that is actually crazy. Um, you saw then on that footage, five figures, didn't you? Four figures even per individual Tahiti, Tahitian yeah. pearls. Also, that that article that, that our suppliers back in October just gone was saying they're a thousand dollars each minimum. A thousand dollars. Look at this one, thirteen millimeters, two thousand and three price. Even with the pitting, fifteen hundred dollars each, each pearl. Thank goodness we put we purchased Tahitian pearls in volume prior to obviously everything going on in the pearl industry however that being said what we got is what we've got we're not going to increase the price we could do we could have gone to to, to hong kong and said okay you're at you're at four figures couldn't you that one alone at 149 is mad it is isn't it is mad let alone let alone all three Hello, Somerset. Really appreciate your prices and uh, variety of items. Thanks, guys. Oh, you're very, very welcome. Very, very, very welcome. You know, if you just pop that one piece on a head pin, yeah. or gold, whichever you want it to do, it to do, you're easily selling that for high figures, aren't you? Absolutely. Look, 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 hang on a minute, though. That, that lovely gentleman in Hong Kong was selling them without any gold, any silver. <laughs> Wasn't he? They were just literally on display. Yeah. And they were four or five figures. I've got three of them left. Fra uh, Karen getting three. Wendy, well done. Jax, Cumbria getting two. London, Somerset. We've got jewellers shopping with us today. I'm not surprised. Uh, Deborah, Andrea. Why, why do you think jewellers would be shopping with us today? Because they can't get them also. And also, why would they bother? Because they could be paying more than what's on your screens. We've got no problem whatsoever with jewellers shopping with us. We, we, we know of some amazing jewellery houses up and down and all around the world that shop with us directly. But not just in Tahitian pearls, in lots of different gemstones. Um, Elvina, you can do it. Maker, you can do it. Andrea, Cheshire, Oxfordshire. Um, Andrea, you can do it. Oh, well done. You've just got yours, Andrea. Um, I've only got two of them left within the vault. Once they're gone, they're gone. And again, you can get you get three. You don't just get the one. Three, 12 to 14 millimeters. The fact that that one that we showed you in it's it's a lovely round shape. Don't get me wrong, but it's very heavily pitted. But it doesn't matter that it's pitted because it's going to be faceted anyway. But even that, which is effectively a flawed pearl, yeah, would you agree? Fifteen hundred dollars. I've got one left, I'll leave it with you. 17 of you with it in your basket, so good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Okay, well done. The last, the, oh, the last 12 of this bundle is insane. Monica, how many times have you heard me say, our pill buy, we, it's, our, it's our greatest strength pill buying? Oh yeah, absolutely. Without shadow of a doubt, yeah. I think we're one of the strongest pill buyers in the world. However, can anybody say that now? Mm. because we, the thing is they're irreplaceable yeah we can buy pearls pearls are being cultured what we can't do is buy them like we used to we can't yeah. don't get me wrong Gemporia's got the budget it's a big company Gemporia yeah, it's a multi-million pound company they could go and buy pearls for 1500 50,000 whatever they can but it would be a pointless exercise doing that because how many of us are going to buy them at those prices? That's the current situation of the pearl world. So we can say we're the best, we're, you know, it's our greatest strength. But actually, I don't think anyone can say that right now. Yeah. yeah. Is there one left of the Tahitian pearls? Right, if you don't, I'll just give you a heads up. The moment we go into, you get three. There you go. 
Okay, now, there you go. You get all three of those Titian pearls. There's only one of them left. Right. This is completely crazy. Absolute insanity on our part. Because we had a hundred of these launched for our birthday. I've got 12 left, which I can't believe we've... Right, if I say... I, and I know I have done, Ross. We have brought to air... Oops. Strands like this, haven't we? And I've sat here, we've done the big conversation, haven't we, about beautiful, natural, cultural, cultured, metallic pearls. And then we've done prices like... What would you say, Ross? 299 199 maybe on special occasions. How about the Golden Ripple ones that we bought this morning? They closed and sold at 299. Would you agree? All right, okay. So what about if I said this then? They were 12 mil this morning. Okay, so that's probably the most like it. So the one this morning at eight o'clock sold at 299. I think this is 12 by 10. So they're much, very, very, very similar. Sorry, I'm making an absolute mess here, I am. So let's say, 299 yeah would you all agree yeah. you don't just get that strand though do you you have four more strands so you have those rounds that i've just showed you one nine nine i don't know i would have said two nine but okay you know better than me one nine nine okay what about this strand 149 then you've got two of your um kind of baroque ones two of those baroque pearl and they're all natural these aren't dyed these are all natural how much do you think 79.99 so let's just do a tally for kicks jewelry makers all together for this and these, all down to Jewelry Maker, just over £800. If you were to buy all these, we were working out individually what's reasonable Jewelry Maker prices. We haven't, we haven't compared outside of these four walls. We've literally looked inward, haven't we? Yeah. And said, yeah, we've done something similar for 299 Yeah, we've done something similar for 199 Right. I agree. Didn't we say that at the beginning of the show? Genuinely, this is one of the best deals in our 14 years. Do you know what these go to, Monica? No, I don't. It's madness. But I know it was the first thing I thought when I came in the studio this morning. Okay, this is gonna, this is gonna blow your mind. Is it? 100 pounds per strand, but that's not where we're stopping. We have 12 of these. If they don't sell out, Ross bought it. That's how, that, I hope you don't mind me using you as an example, but the fact that Ross has bought this deal speaks volumes. Are you a big pearl buyer, Roscoe? Not really, he says, but you couldn't miss this one out, could you? Oh, look at that. Oh, How about cool. if I said, natural multicolored meta metallic fireball pearls, 75 pound per strand. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Genuinely, when have we ever done the big ones for seventy-five pounds? No, no. Oh yeah, five oh split pay seventy-five pounds. Let me do this again. What about those? I'm trying. Those two big pearl strands. Would they be anywhere near this price? To be honest, three seven seven five. I would be happy to pay that for one of those strands. It's a massive closeout deal already. Just for the one strand, whichever it might be, the round or the or the fireballs. I don't know, I don't know how or why we've done this, to be honest. And there's such a beautiful colour, such a sophisticated colour combination that we've got there. All natural as well. Beautiful. All totally and utterly natural. 30 seconds, I only have 12. And then at the final price, you're going to get a minute, okay? I'm just going to bring my blackboard out because I don't want to just drop these down the desk. But again, can I just show you? If I was sat here, big star by opportunity, and I said, oh, 375 jewellery makers, 
or 399, which is more like a JM number. Um, none of us would be surprised, would we? We're going lower for that one strand. People would be flying in for that. Wait a minute, though. If I said... We're going lower than 375 for this beautiful fireball, multicoloured, metallic, natural pearl opportunity. We're going lower, jewellery makers. Are you ready? One of the biggest deals in jewellery maker history. It's not an overstatement, is it? Two, nine, nine. Wow. So this is what my logic. You're buying this. Well, the one we did this morning was two nine nine. Yeah, it was very, very much. So if I phoned you up and went, oh, do you know that amazing multicolored pearl necklace that you had earlier on? Oh yeah, you get four extra for free. Is do you want them? <laughs> Do you want those extra four that come for free? That's basically what's going down, isn't it? I think you were a crank caller. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, no, I don't. You're all right. No, I don't want them. What? They're all totally and utterly natural, not treated. I'm actually struggling to hold them all, jewelry makers. I genuinely am. Most people don't own one strand of pearls of this quality. You've just got five for less than £60 per strand. Can you imagine? Can you imagine you going into a jeweler's and just going, oh, I'd really, I'm really interested in that amazing pearl necklace. Okay, yeah, it's going to cost you, it's going to cost you, let's, be, let's say £2,000. It would be more than that, but let's just say that. Okay, lovely, I've got a lovely, amazing pearl necklace for £2,000. You, you're just about to leave. They go, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because you bought that one pearl necklace, we give you four extra for free. <laughs> for free. 60 seconds to close because we are so limited jewelry makers and we've got the most amazing masterclass coming your way. Um, four of them left. Well done, Claire in Isle of Man getting two. Janice in Lincolnshire getting two. Janina in Kent. Wendy, you've got yours. I've got Oxfordshire there. Tracy there. Ken there. Joan there. And Claire. And Oh, sorry, Claire. Yeah, I can see you've checked out. Deborah there as well on the app. Yeah. I, I want that kind of shopping on a daily basis because you bought that one. I'm going to give you four more for free. <laughs> it's insanity, isn't it? Actual insanity. And it's not like they're inferior pills either. We could have separated them all and done separate auctions, absolutely, but we didn't because it was the birthday deal. Well done, everybody. 299. We're going to dive straight into the break and we've got Monica's amazing masterclass, your incredible pieces in the Wall of Fame, and the draw, and um, three different colourways. Can we shop ahead on Monica's? No. Yes. Pre-order. Don't go anywhere. This is going to blow your mind after this. <laughs> It's Debbie Kershaw. I'm back with you on Thursday the 13th of June. We've got the most amazing show. It's all about flowers and you know me, I love a flower. In the 9am we've got absolutely gorgeous Nanhong Agate projects um, and I got the flower one so I made a little marla so I'll be showing you how to do that in the 9. But in the 12 we have got more Lucite flowers. Now these ones are completely different to the ones we've had before. Um, really workable sizes, little buds, all different colours. They come in a lovely heart shape box and I'm going to be showing you how to make these wisteria earrings so I've written a project uh, for this and I've also made some other pieces but of course anything that I've done before with my lucite flowers you can do with this box as well there's quite a lot of little bell shapes which I think are lovely for earrings and lovely for single pendants so I hope you can join me Elle and the team on Thursday at JM Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well and having a good week. I'm here to tell you all about my next show which is this Friday the 14th of June where I'm going to be joining Carol, Tom and the crew and there's definitely a high-end feel, especially in my two project hours. 
for example, in the nine o'clock hour, I have got the undisputed king of the agates, Botswana. Two incredible kits, both featuring most beautiful strands and teamed alongside these absolutely, I'm gonna say the word, cute sterling silver bead caps. So that's in the nine o'clock hour. And then at 12 o'clock, we're going definitely keeping on with the high-end feel. I have been given the most extraordinary strands of hematite I think I've ever seen and worked with. Firstly, one of the project kits contains three strands of the most extraordinary high-end polished hematite bicones. Never seen the shape before. Absolutely incredible. I've made this beautiful bracelet so far. And then in the other project kit, a texture and a shape I've not worked with in hematite. Diamond matte, absolutely extraordinary. We've got a peach tone, a rainbow tone, and this incredible anthracite gray, absolutely beautiful. So that's in the 12 o'clock. So we've got hematite in the 12, incredible Botswana in the nine. Hope you can join myself and Carol from eight o'clock. Look forward to seeing you there. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Okay, jewelry makers, can I just take a moment? This is happening. You can pre order. The, this is, and, and here's the book. <laughs> the book. <laughs> it, 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 like Monica has literally, um, yeah, you've, you've, that, you've got gold in this. Taking the record for the longest instruction manual. Well, I can't call it, it's like a manual. Yeah, let's go manual. Well, I don't know. I mean, well, it's we not can't, a book can't compare it to Rachel Morris's book, so. I mean, it's 21 pages. I know, but still. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not comparing. It's a book. Look at all of those, and you get that for free. So, for free. I mean, it's certainly the biggest one I've written, that's for sure. Amazing. <laughs> um, and that's all about these amazing projects. This comes with this. They're available on pre-order. You got all the sea beads, and there's a choice basically between the green, the white, and black. Amazing, but there's 50 of each or less. So uh, 50 or less. I mean, the colours of beads that they've been put with are they're just they're perfect, I think. And they come in a little red velvet bag. Oh my goodness <laughs> me! So hang on. Here's the carving. Oh, I've got the black one. Absolutely. Beautiful. I didn't cherry pick, that's just. We've got the black one here. And then look turn at it that. Over. And then, yeah, carved on the back, reverse right. as well. Guarantee your colourway. And also, you get yeah. the beads as well. Here's the white one. 14 8 millimeter rounds. These, I've got no doubt about this, Monica, not only because of your instructions, but because of the quality of the components and what they go into. Each one of your projects will sell out. Well, I hope so. <laughs> it is, yeah, I think it, it definitely is. And if you have any questions for Monica, chances are she's probably covered it 
in her book. Well, I tried. Uh, you know, I had a bit of space in 21 pages. But. Yeah. Um, <laughs> chances are it's been covered, but if not, you, I mean, you're, you're, you're still welcome to message into the studio. Okay, but before we do, it's the Wall of Fame. Yay. The Waffy Waff Waff. Um, on the web, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. You can shop ahead and guarantee your colorways there. So the jade colors are at the top, and then you've got your sea beads. As it stands, neck and neck, black and white, right, mm -hmm. okay. 10% of each of the stock have gone and three of the green have gone already. That's it. Literally, we barely mentioned it. Barely mentioned it. Ignore £1,999. We could, but that's not what we're stopping. Uh, not at all. So guarantee yours. Black and white are out in front big time. Amazing. Mm. Not far behind. Maybe them. because nobody's seen the green. Here's the green. <laughs> yeah, the green <laughs> is beautiful. That's just the pendant, obviously. I haven't done the necklace. Oh, my goodness. 25 mil of that's amazing yeah uh, and they're so beautiful the carving is amazing i'm looking at the back as well that's gorgeous yeah amazing right before we do wall of fame uh wall of fame and we can make some people a little bit richer to go towards maybe your project yeah um Should I start? Should I start? yeah take it away okay this one is from margaret gibson and she says this week's entry is a stretchy bracelet and earrings made from baltic amber bought from jm quite a while ago the usual thanks to all at JM and good luck to fellow offers. Amazing. Loving that, Beautiful. Margaret. I have number 759 from Julia Christie. And Julia says, hello, everybody. Here's my entry for this week. Uh, I couldn't disappoint Carol. My first attempt at Mark's lovely wavery bracelet. It's lovely to do. All components from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to everyone. P.S. Sorry about the photo. Not my uh, skill set at all. I don't know. That's all right. That's fine. Well done, Julia. Well done, lovely. Good luck. Okay. Oh, have, a, have a look first. Oh, nice. <laughs> this one's from Gail Burge, and she says, please find attached my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Uh, Malachite eyeball rounds with sterling silver findings. All products are from JM. Good luck to all who enter the Wall of Fame. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Amazing. Loving those, Gail. Um, I have number 767 from Francis. Hello, Francis. Um, hello, all. Mark's demo using uh, bugle beads. Have oh, we just done that one, haven't we? Uh, reminded me to look out for these bracelets. Looking forward to receiving the two boxes of bugle beads with all those pretty colours. Um, wishing you all well. That's from Francis. Your number 761. Amazing, Francis. Well done. Oh, another beautiful one. This one's from Valerie Ferguson. Oh, hi, Valerie. <laughs> she says, hi, all at JM. Can I please enter the stretchy jade bracelet to Wall of Fame this week? It is made with 10 millimeter jade fancy coins and three millimeter gold plated sterling silver spacer beads. All components are from JM. Big thank you to all at JM. And as always, good luck to my fellow offers. Oh, amazing, Valerie, loving that. I have number 763, a very beautiful wrap bracelet from Jude, uh, Jude Ryan. Um, hello, jewelry maker. I was inspired by the wrap bracelet demonstrations last week uh, um, to try it myself. I raided my stash for six mil rounds, leather cord and beading thread and created this version. I love it and I'm planning another version in the different colours. I love that too, Jude. That's beautiful. Good luck, your 763. Okay, now we've got a bit of seed beading here. Yay. It's from Angela Smith and she says, Hi, all. This week's entry to the Wall of Fame is a necklace set made using pearls, aquamarine and labradorite linked with seed beads and silver plated chain. Good luck to all fellow waffers. Oh, that's really lovely, isn't it, to put two different necklaces together? Loving that, Angela. That's Very beautiful. beautiful. Uh, I have... <gasps> oh, I like the hearts. Look at that's them. pretty, isn't it? From Molly Rogers. Molly, 765, says, My entry this week is a jade and silver necklace using leftover beads from other projects. Oh. Silver spacer beads and closed fancy jump rings uh, bring it all together. The center uh, piece is also at uh, the clasp. Oh. All from Jewelry Maker, of course. Thanks again, Jewelry Maker, for the great demos and supplies. Best wishes to you all. And to you, Molly, that's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I always think, like, um, jade out fo uh, photographs quite blue, doesn't it? Yeah. It does, yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing. Loving that, Molly. Good luck. Okay, this one is a beautiful pair of earrings from Sue, Th Sue Thursfield. And she says, here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. A pair of earrings for my daughter's birthday made with thread through ear wires and faceted blue John drops. She loves them, all including the box from JM, of course. Quality assured. Good luck to all. 
<laughs> Amazing, Sue. So, oh. Loving those. Right then, should we make you a little bit richer? Or try to? Try to. It's time for the draw. Ooh, do you like I doing the draw? I do, yes. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Right, okay, thank you. And again, it's not done on skill set. This is all literally done by random. Um, do you want to do the winner? Okay. Take it away. Give it a whiz. Yeah, we Yes, good luck everybody, good luck. Whisk. So receiving a hundred pounds credited to their jewelry maker account. Take oh, it away. There we go. Not looking. Number. Number. Seven, three, eight. Ooh. That is Sue Gauntlet. Sue Gauntlet. Yay. Well done, you're our winner. Receiving a hundred pounds credited to jewelry maker account. Yay. Congratulations. Okay, right. Give it a whiz. Runner up. Runner up receiving 50. <laughs> I don't know if that be. Imagine if it rolls off. <laughs> yeah. Oops, a daisy. I was enthusiastic today. Oh, number 748. Sandra Gray. Sandra Gray, you're our runner-up. Well done, receiving fifty pounds. We do this every week. Just give jewelry maker money away. Yeah, Loving that. Amazing. Well done. Make sure you get your entries in. The only stip thank you. The only stipulation is that it's jewelry maker components, effectively. Now, um, okay, it is time. It is time. Everything about these projects, Monica. I mean, the moment they must have landed on your doorstep, you knew you had something special, didn't well, you? Well, what happened with this is a bit of a story about this. So you may remember I made this same necklace for the Christmas advent calendar. Yes. Right. Uh, at that time, we weren't writing instructions to go with things. So it's quite a, it's not a difficult design, but it's, it's got a lot of parts to it. Okay. Um, and at that time, we did a, an extra one hour demo in the afternoon. Yes. So during the one hour demo, I managed to demo how to do the pendant section, but okay. I didn't demo how to do the necklace part. Right. So first of all, my demo today is going to be the necklace section. Okay. So, you, so if you want to go back and watch the demo for the pendant part, you can go back to, I think it was on the 6th of December, uh, and you can watch that back. But all of it is now in the booklet because uh, Georgia asked me if I could redo this project again because they've got the, um, the jade in the different colors and also write the instructions. So, um, so here it is. <laughs> so Monica, very good. you could could have said no. That would be hundreds of photographs. <laughs> I didn't realise actually. To be fair, I'd forgotten by that time I got Had to you. <laughs> no, Georgia, I'm not doing those instructions because yeah. that would be 21 pages. <laughs> no, Monica's far too nice for that, isn't she? Literally, I don't know if you can show this on, but you get it for free. I mean, Literally. by the time I was sort of on page 19, it was too late to back up, but then it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, you'd committed, didn't you? Bless you. That's absolutely amazing. Now, we have less than 50. We're going to start with the white. Um, it's the, okay, we're going to start with the white. And again, it comes with the instructions. The end, th these projects are absolutely exquisite. The piece of jewelry is absolutely exquisite. So I'll start with the sea beads, quite unconventionally, I know, but um, you get a selection of sea bead colors that complement the beautiful carving of your jadeite. Um, and a mixture of your sizes as well. Yes, because you need all those sizes. Um, obviously, most of it is made using the size 11. So you've got two colors of your size 11. Right, that's that and that. That and that, yes. Yeah. And then you've got the size sixes, which, uh, well, there's one size six B holding the pendant in place in the center of the pendant. Okay. And the rest of them you can't see because they're inside of the beading. Oh, okay. They're actually holding. And what about these here? And then the 15s you need for the for the bezel around the pendant and also for the back. And also in some of them I've used it in the necklace uh, section, which I'll talk about in my demo as well. Oh my goodness, Monica, that's absolutely amazing. Because when I originally made this design, my thinking was that I didn't want to cover up any of the of the design of the no. carving. Yeah. So that's why I've made this type of bezel, which doesn't wrap in towards the front and the back. Um, but if you look at the back of it, it I mean, it looks like it's going to uh, rotate the pendant yeah. in there, but it can't because the back of it is covered. Um, not not completely. So you could flip it over as well and use it on the other side if you wanted to, but. Um, so your pendant can't flip over. Uh, it looks quite nice on that side as well, but I wanted to show 
as much of the yeah. pendant as I could without covering it that up. That beautiful carving. And here it is, Jewelry Makers. So you get 14 uh, Type A Imperial White Jadeites yes. in the rounds. Six mils. Yeah. Eight mils. Eight mils, sorry. And then you get, look at how pure. Remember, this is not bleached and dyed. This has been within the ground over millions of years. Yeah. And white jadeite was once upon a time solely reserved for the imperial crown. Oh, oh, right. So nobody was able to own. Look how pure that white is. It's, it's the largest piece that we have. The, oh, this is bigger, slightly bigger. Yeah. 37 millimetres. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you, I mean again, that's... The quality of that carving, the quality of that jade eye, oh, again, amazing. you would 100% expect to be on somewhere like First Dibs for the Dizzy Height prices. Yeah. Look yeah. at that. And the piece of jewellery, Monica, is absolutely remarkable. Comes with the red velvet pouch, comes with all the sea beads, comes with a 14 8 millimetre imperial white. Do you remember the, la for the launch of white jade eye with Sally Hewer? Do you remember? Yeah. 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 Where we only actually had like, individual beads. Do you remember that? And they were all, you know, quite considered amazing in comparison. Yeah. But that was the beginning of it all, really. Yeah. That was the first time I've ever seen white jadeite like this. Okay, graphics alive. Irreplaceable because the mine is closed. And see that beautiful translucency, yeah. 499. Yeah, I think I can safely say that these are probably, no, these are definitely the best project kits I've ever had. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I don't, I don't doubt that for one yeah. second. Mm. It's a big statement. Sorry. <laughs> this is a very strong oh. light source. Can I just say yeah. I'm a good 20 centimetres away? Yeah. yeah. Would you agree, Monica? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Wow. Look at that. If I come closer. Look at that. You can really see the carvings, the patterns in there, can't you? I love the flower in the middle. That's amazing. <gasps> Good luck, everyone. Already collectors getting involved. The purest white imperial jadeite. Plus you get the 14 six mils. Plus you get all of your seed beads. Plus you get the absolutely mammoth 21 page <laughs> instruction book. For free? <gasps> what? what? No. Sorry, what? I've just heard something shocking. Are you, are you? I heard that. I can't believe it's true. Oh my gosh, you're joking. Do, I, do you want me to say that out loud? <laughs> All three projects right now are under £100. What on earth? I mean, that's just that. That is £100. Everything uh, else is free. Yeah. Probably two nine nine when we first launched it. Yeah, yeah. What on earth? Natural imperial white jadeite with fourteen eight millimeter beads, four tubes of seed beads, and the book. Effectively. Well, this tutorial, if you went onto Etsy and bought one that was the size, it would be between, I would say, between 25 and 30 pounds. Okay, so let's say 25 pounds. That means this entire project is 75 pounds. Yep. That's yep. amazing. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. And it's Imperial, Type A, Imperial White Genuine Jadeite. Irreplaceable, once upon a time, historically reserved solely for Imperial China. And then... Yeah, yeah, I agree. Ross yeah. has just said, even if you don't want the seed beads. Absolutely. Absolutely. Even if you don't want that, for the carving alone, that's yeah. absolutely amazing, and isn't I mean, it? I've made this particular design using this project. That doesn't mean you have to make the same thing, obviously. 
the instructions are written in sections, in five different sections, in fact. So you don't have to use all of it. Mm. Um, I've said on there that it's an advanced, I think I said it was an advanced uh, tutorial, only because the bezel is cubic right angle weave. Okay. But if you don't want to do that bit, just leave it out, do whatever bezel you want. You can make the necklace look almost exactly the same with a different bezel. Mm. Or if you wanted to leave out the sort of the bar sections and just do a pendant bezel on a, on a necklace nice. rope, you can do that. Or you can just make the pendant and put it on a chain. So you can take components from it and you can use sections of it. You might not use any of the booklet to go with this project because there are so many different things you can do with it. Um, you know, you don't have to. You still have that booklet and you can still learn the techniques that I've written in the booklet, even yeah. if you don't use any of them with the project. No, absolutely. I mean, that technique for the necklace alone is absolutely yeah. stunning. Um, yeah, I mean, we've done carvings for more than what's on your screens right yeah, now, haven't absolutely. we? There are so many of you in the process of getting the Imperial White. What we're going to do is allow the call centers phone lines to clear and the web to catch up jewelry makers because, yeah, it's a bit of a backlog at the moment. So doesn't don't abandon your calls. The black and green are available on pre-order, but what we're going to do is get into the demonstration and then when the phone lines calm or when Monica uh, sort of prompts me, yeah. um, I can bring the other colorways. Know that I've got 50 or less of each of these. Mm -hmm. In fact, very limited on the white now. 16 left of the white, that's it. Wow. Yeah, so I would, and over 50 of you with it in your baskets, yeah. So definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you do check out your baskets on that one. Um, okay, over to you then, lovely. So I'm going to show you how the rope is made. Um, actually, maybe you can pass me one of them. And then yeah, anyone? Actually, if you give me the white one, because there's something I want to mention about the thread in there as well. So interestingly, um, I'm always trying out different beading threads because um, I worked out I use about 20 spools of fire line a year. So that obviously works out quite expensive. Yes, <laughs> I'm I imagine it does. Experimenting yeah. with other threads, but I keep coming back to fire line. Uh, and wildfire at the end after some experimentation. So for this one, I tried a new thread. I'm not going to say what it is because I don't recommend it. Um, but it's a softer thread, almost like a like a Ceylon type thread. Okay. So that's what I've used in the white necklace. So if you have a look, because it's a softer thread. Oh, it's twisting. There's a bit of, um, it's not even the twisting, there's a bit of wrinkling. Oh. It's not as stable, uh, the rope, as actually I used wildfire for the other section. So can you see that's a bit softer and wrinklier? than this bit. So once again, I've come back to Fireline again for my thread. So that's what I'm using here. Um, the, this section of the rope, you need to make starting in the center, and you'll see in a minute because the starting point, you can see it on this section there, the starting point is a little bit different. Um, so I didn't want to have that on one, one side of the front and then not on the other. Plus, because this is herringbone stitch, it kind of shows a different pattern going in each direction. Uh, so it's kind of directional, basically. So that's why for this, these sections at the back, I've got the starting point at the end of the necklace because that's going to be at the back of your neck, so you won't really see that. And then I've got the nicer end uh, with the bead on, uh, sort of on the side of the necklace. So the front section, I didn't want to have that starting point on either end. So I started in the middle. This is all in the written instructions as well. Uh, so I started in the middle with a really, really long thread. Uh, I think I said... Uh, 12 feet of thread because you're starting in the middle of your thread so you're only using half of that and then you use half the thread to work that way and the other half of the thread to work that way um, so that was just a quick word about that so you can put that back if you like so as i say for the center section you're going to need a lot of thread for the, sm uh, the smaller sections you need probably about six or seven feet of thread so it's basically a herringbone stitch tubular herringbone stitch which I've made using the size 11s, and I've used the size 15s for the embellishment, but here I'm using the size 11s, which you can also use. In the black and white one, I actually use size 11s for the embellishment as well. And then in the, um, in the red one, I've used the size 15s, and in the instructions as well. You can use either one, it's the same technique, doesn't make much of a difference. So um, you don't need, actually you do need a stopper bead. So you're gonna put a stopper bead on. So that's why I say in the instructions that in the um, when you're starting the center section you want to put your stopper bead in the center of your thread when you're using when you're making the smaller side sections you want to leave about a 30 centimeter tail thread um, 
to, to do sort of the flaring out on the ends. So for now, I'm just going to put it at the end of my thread for the, for the demo bit, because I'm not going to use the other, the other end. So you put on your stopper bead. You're going to start off by picking up, I'm using the main color first. So this, um, actually, I'm going to use the gold for the main color, because the red is my pendant bezel. So you're going to pick up four of your main color for your necklace. Okay, you're going to bring it down to the stopper bead. Then you're going to go through the first two that you picked up, round in a circle. So when you go through those two and pull it tight, you're going to end up with, just pull it right down to your stopper bead. So now you've got two um, sort of pairs of beads next to each other. So it's like two little columns of two beads. Now you're going to go through the other two beads. So coming around in a circle still, coming down those two beads there. Okay, you could go through all four of them at the same time, but it makes it more difficult to position them in this way because you don't want them in a circle. You want to have two columns of two beads next to each other. Okay, then you're going to pick up your next two beads. Now you're going to come around in a circle again, and you're going to go through those last two beads there. So this will position the next pair of beads next to it in another little column. Okay, then you're going to come up with that column to get in position for the next two. Okay, so this is just basic, um, it's basic ladder stitch really, if you know your seed beading stitches. Um, now you pick up the next two and you're coming around in a circle again to add the next two again to the bottom. Okay, and then you're going to do that again. So come down the last two beads and you're going to add, and you need to keep going until you've got eight columns of two beads. You could make a thicker rope if you wanted to. You could make a thinner rope as well. Um, this size works out well because I can use the size six beads uh, to fill it out because it does make quite a soft rope that collapses on its own. If you, if you, especially if you're um, using a bigger rope like this one. If you use only uh, six beads in your starting point, you might be able to get away without it collapsing. But certainly for the eight, you need to put something inside. If you're using six. So you start making a narrower rope, you can always use size eight beads um, to fill it up to uh, stiffen it a little bit. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six little columns of two beads. So pick up the next two, come around again in a circle, and then go through the last two to get to the end. And then I'm gonna pick up the last two and do exactly the same again. So around in a circle, and then through the last two, okay? Now what you want to do is you want to join these two, the two ends of your little strip here together to make um, the start of your rope basically. So you want to make a loop. So what you want to do is you want to carry on your circle through the first two beads here. So you're going in through where your stopper bead is into that first column. Okay, so your, bead is, your thread is coming around this way in a circle. Don't pull it tight yet because it makes it easier to see what you're doing if you still have your thread there. Okay, and I'm going to carry on that circle through this last pair again. Okay, so I'll pull the thread through so you can see. So you can see I've got a circle of thread going around. So when you pull it tight, this little strip of beads comes together and makes like a circle like that. Okay, when you look at it from the side. Okay, now what you want to do is this column here that has got your stopper bead in it is the one adjacent to the one that you're coming out of now. So you want to go up that column. Don't go through the stopper bead, just go through the two gold beads. Okay, so when you pull it tight, now you've got your, your tail thread and your working thread coming out of the same pair of beads in two different directions, which is nice because you can use that to, to pull it tight, okay? Now you're going to start your herringbone stitch. So for your herringbone stitch, now this is two drop herringbone stitch. And I'll show you what that means. It's very simple, really. What you're going to do is you're going to pick up four beads of your main color again, three, four beads. And then you're going to come down the bead that's adjacent to the one where you're coming out of. You're only going to come down one bead. Okay. Pull that tight. So that makes your little columns longer. So if you've got your columns there, so you've got the first two columns are now longer. Now you're gonna to go to the next bead along 
and you're going to go up the top bead, just the top bead, not both. And the reason you're going down only one bead is because that helps to sort of join the beads together because you haven't got a thread going across that way between the first two rows. Um, so this helps a little bit to sort of strengthen the end. Okay, then you're going to do the same thing again. So you're going to pick up four beads again, go down the next bead along, only the top bead in that next column. And then you're going to come up the next one. So I'm going to do that all the way around. So if Al wants to do the next. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, we can bring um, black, did you say? Okay, here it all is. There's the lovely colours. Um, so, <laughs> um, so many of you shopped ahead. Sorry, I'm chuckling. Could Ad Adam's do an impression of uh, our Ross? His his impression sounds like Zippy. That's where this the cult. <laughs> it does. Here it is. Here, I've been ready. Hey, listen, I've been ready. You get the three tubes. Sorry, Monica. You're very prepared. You get the three tubes, two stra uh, two tubes of your 11 O's, one of your 6 O, then again, the matching 15s. Um, gorgeous color yeah. combinations with those, aren't they? So you've got galvanized gold, silver line flame red AB, Ooh. Uh, transparent red 6 O's, and then you have the gold, light gold topaz. And then look at this beautiful type A black jadeite carving as well. Again, it's the same design as in the imperial white, but black, obviously. Um, it's all down to personal preference, I suppose. Yeah, it's hard to choose a favourite, isn't it? Yes. I don't envy you. Yeah, but I mean, if I, if I was really pushed, I would probably say the black one. You're leaning towards the black? Yeah. She's picked it. <laughs> I picked it. Roscoe <laughs> likes the black. Adam's loving the green. I think I'd go to the white. Mm. See, we've properly yours. We, you know, what do you reckon? I like the white. You like the white as well. Two more price crashes, jewelry makers. We've got less than fifty. In fact, we've probably got way less than that again. Less than thirty because you've shopped ahead on this one, and we made a price pledge, didn't we? Ross, we did make a price pledge. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I see. I see, I see. Why is there a clock? So you said each all of the kits, we're going to match the price on all the kits, 99 99 That's not matching, it's going lower. So you get the book as well. He's right, you know, technically he didn't say he was matching the price. He said did they're he all going to be under nine, under a hundred pounds. Did he? He didn't say they were all going to oh, be yeah, the same. trickster. <laughs> I see. Under 100 pounds, not meaning by the penny then. <laughs> not enough people, not enough people. If you wanted to go lower, I can't stress, we are going low. This alone should be 30 pounds. It's a book, 21 pages. It's taken you 11 hours to write this. That's just the writing, yeah. 11, oh really, not the, well, not the actual construction. Well, no, I mean, I've said on there, it takes about 12 hours to make the whole necklace. And then when you're taking photos after every step, that's probably at least three times that. <laughs> yes. Phone lines of litter, exactly. We are going lower, jewelry makers. You get the 21 page book. I'm going to describe it as a book because that's that's a lot of information in there, isn't there? You get the Type A natural black Burmese jadeite carving, and you get the fourteen eight mils, and you get the four tubes of seed beads, seventy nine ninety nine. No way on earth would I've even entertained it going to this price. No, <laughs> no way on earth. I mean, I mean, just just for the for the pendant. Yeah. Well, this is the thing. Let's put that I there. Mean, just look at it. <laughs> you have 14 8 millimeters rounds there. Yes. That's 40 carats. Yeah. So you have a beautiful double side carved type A Burmese jadeite. It's Burmese as well. You get a 21 page book and you get the four tubes of seed beads for 79.99. And you can do it, get it on split pay if you wish. We only had 50 of them, though. It will be an on-screen sellout, jewellery makers. No doubt about that. No doubt about that. And definitely strongly encourage shopping ahead as well on the um, on the other one. We need to get a wriggle on. And also, don't forget, um, if you 
because there's a lot of techniques in, techniques in this booklet. Obviously, you've got the herringbone rope, there's peyote stitch, there's cubic right angle weave. Um, and I've assumed that you don't know anything before you start reading uh, any of the stitches before you start okay. reading the booklet. So I've started at the very beginning with all of it. So if you, if you, even if, if you just want the booklet, it's only going to be available while we still have these kits. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I hope you get a copy. Did you print well, I have, a copy? I'm taking this one. Yeah, that's all right. That's I'm not printing it. Look no. how many pages it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, you wrote it. The least you can do is get that. Yeah. No, um, uh, back to you then, lovely. We'll be bringing you the green oh. shortly. Okay. <laughs> right, so I've come all the way around. So the last set of four beads that I've added, I've come, come down this last column of two beads. But now, of course, you've got to step up into the next round. So now you're not just going to go up the top bead, you're going to go up three beads. Because if you think about it, before we were just going up the second row of beads from the bottom. So if you go into that second row of beads, you've also got the two new beads on top that you've put on, on this round. So now you need to go up the top three beads. Now it's a bit hard to get in there because the bottom two beads are quite tightly stitched to each other. But you can get in there. Okay, so now you've stepped up to the next round. Okay, now from this, and this is why it's different in the beginning than later on because well, I started with that ladder stitch section, so that didn't have any embellishment in between. Because for the embellishment, we're going to put a bead in this gap. Can you see how it's flaring up? Because it's only joined up after the first two beads. Okay, so we're going to put the embellishment in between, so you don't have the space in the bottom section to put the embellishments in. I mean, you could you could change the ladder stitch and put them in there, but uh, I didn't really need to do that for this necklace. So this, you can just do it like this. So for the next round, we're doing the same thing again. So you're picking up four of our gold beads. Okay, my thread is coming out of this bead. I'm gonna go down just the top bead in the next column. Okay, so that adds on my next four beads onto the top there, okay. And now, before I go up the next column, I'm going to pick up one of my embellishment beads, okay, which in this case is a green. As, you, as I said, you can use the 15s or the 11s. It doesn't make a huge big difference. And now I'm going to go up again, the next column, just the top bead. Okay, so when you pull it tight, that puts your embellishment bead in between the two columns there. Okay, then you're going to pick up your four beads again, and you're going to come down the next one. Okay, so that puts four beads onto the next column, next two columns. Then you pick up your embellishment again, and then you come up only the top bead again, and then the third one, four beads again. Come down the next bead, okay, and then you pick up your embellishment again, and then up the top bead. And you, you're quite easily, as your rope grows, you'll quite easily be able to see when you've come to the end of a round because you can see that my next column is much longer because I've already added the next set of four beads onto there. So this is my last uh, pair of columns. So I'm picking up my last four beads for this round, come down the top bead, pick up my embellishment again. And because we're stepping up again, we're not just going through the top bead, we're going through the top three beads. And that's basically how your rope carries on. Uh, and you just carry on, carry on, mm. carry on until you have the length that you need. Uh, the only extra thing I did at the end to make the sort of flared out bits a little bit prettier, because obviously your, your jade at is going to come into there, so you want that to look quite pretty. Uh, so for the last round, instead of picking up four at the end, I picked up five. Okay, and again, come down the next bead. So this is when your rope is the length that you need it. Okay, so now you can see that the top, the last five beads on top here, they make a little point at the top, and the top of your columns are not flat like the like they were previously. So you've got that little point there, which makes it look a little bit prettier when it flares out when you put it around your gemstones. Okay, and then in the last round again, you do the same again. Pick up one of your embellishment beads, go up just the top bead in the next column, um, and then you carry on like that with your last round. Okay, and that's basically it. I mean, it's really simple and really repetitive. Um, so this is probably the easiest part of the of the necklace wow. to make. But the end result, I tell you what, is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, uh, update. There's five left on the. Oh, oh yeah. sorry, on the black. 
50 have those five in their baskets. Oh, one more thing, if I can say quickly. Yeah. On the white one, uh, which I didn't put in the booklet, this is why I want to tell you this, because the white pendant is slightly bigger. Yeah. The one extra step that I did on the white one is I went around the inside edge of the bezel on the front uh, with an extra thread and tied uh, tied it up as, as tight as I could to bring it in a little bit over the pendant. Okay. So that the bezel doesn't sort of peel off the edges of the of the pendant, if okay. you know what I mean. Because obviously the smaller one is a bit more solid. Okay. Um, so it's got almost like another row on in, on the inside. No extra beads. I just went through the existing beads. Oh, no I extra see, thread. I see, I see. Yeah. Um, it's lovely Mark saying, after seed beading for nearly eight years, I learned how to do the herringbone stitch last week. It's going to be a firm favourite of mine. Love it, says Mark. Yeah, I love it too. I mean, I, I use it all the time. The twisted one as, as well. But I didn't want to do a twisted rope for this design because I thought it was a bit more sharper to do a straight one. Yeah, you can do twisted beautiful, well. absolutely amazing. There are literally a handful of each of these projects, but I've still got the green one to bring you as well, haven't Ooh, I? Yes. Make sure you're checking out your baskets on the white and the black. Right now to bring you, again, you get the 21 page booklet. Um, free with this project then you get if you see just down here the most beautiful translucent type a green jade eye flower double carved as well front and reverse you get it in the green and oh look at that that's amazing isn't it Monica? Oh, I mean on the on the green you can really see the carving yeah you can uh, more so and the I translucency. Than on the other colours, yeah. Yeah, I totally, I totally agree with you. Um, then you're getting this lovely selection of your sea beads as well. So these are your six O's, two tubes of your um, eleven O's, and then one of your fifteen O's. First price fashion, no, we're not stopping there. How amazing is that? Yeah, can I borrow that? Yeah, sure. Uh, let's go through the text. That's okay. <laughs> I can kind of hold it alongside to so get an idea. I didn't quite have time to finish that one because I was a bit busy with the book. I <laughs> think we can forgive you. I think you can be totally forgiven for that. But I at mean, least you can see how the pendant's going to... You could you could use the gold for the pendant uh, and yeah. twist the 11 O's around the other way if you wanted to. Gosh, that's gorgeous. Not stopping at 99.99. We only had a limited, what was it, 40-something of these? Thought so. 45 of these, very limited. This has got to be one of the best jade ideals. What? Oh, Again, for the 14 mil rounds, that's fabulous, isn't it? Oh. <clears throat> a 21 page book. <laughs> for a master carving. Oh, sorry, Monica. Yeah. Um, for a master carving, I'm going to pass that back to you because I don't <laughs> trust myself not to break it. Um, amazing. For the four tubes of sea beads, for the knowledge and the inspiration, all because it's not just a design, it's the mediums that you pick up along the way as well, isn't yeah, it? The techniques. The techniques, absolutely. Well, that's what I was saying. If you don't want to use all of the techniques, you can change the design and leave some of the techniques out yeah. and change them. Or, you know, wow. it's, it's, it's up to you. I mean, it's your, your project to do with as you please. It's a project, but there are techniques. Yes. It's a yes. project and a technique book. Yeah. Basically, yeah, yeah, amazing. And look at the split pay: twenty-three pounds and thirty-three pence only. Jacqueline, London, Zara, Elaine, sorry, Lorraine, Janet, Kathy, Angela, Pauline, Alison, Rupal, Cumbria, June, Holland, Linda, Valerie, Catherine, Oxfordshire, new customer in Yorkshire. Make sure you're checking out everybody because we only had forty-five opportunities. You are amazing, Monica. And I've, uh, yeah, oh, you, you. I've said it from day one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> A few people have actually asked what? For tulip needles? Yeah. Okay. Is that I, what you were I, demoing with? Your um, tulip needles? I can't remember because I've got so many needles and they're all mixed up. I think the tulip ones, they're the ones with the coloured ends. Yeah, they're gold plated on the end, yeah. Yeah, this isn't one of those, um, no. But okay, but I mean, I think... But those are brilliant. Yeah. Especially because you've got the different colour coding for the different sizes, so that's, yeah. Mark was a big fan of the tulip needles, yeah, wasn't he? I quite often find myself looking at my needles trying to work out, is this a 10 or is this a 12? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So th would this work then? Would your tulip needles work with this yeah, project absolutely, then? Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Um, so those of you that, ha and they last a long time as yeah. well, your tulip needles. Um, 12 pounds and 99 pence. They come in like a little, like a test tube. Yeah. Don't they? I think they do, yeah. With a little cork lid. Yes. 
They're very cute. <laughs> very, very cute. Um, amazing. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. I'm back with you tomorrow as well, which is going to be fantastic. So got lots coming up. I've got lovely Debs joining me. Um, eight o'clock is all about your uh, the bead stopper tool. Interesting. Oh. You've got carved Nan Hong. You've got the amber clover. Uh, necklace coming up as your deal of the day. Last to stop Jade Eye, and then all about the lovely Lucite flowers and your masterclass jewelry makers. Um, when are you back? Do you know? Uh, on the seventeenth of July. Yes, oh, I, I think it's the seventeenth. <laughs> I don't know if that's us or. Oh, is it not? No. It's not with us. Hmm. It was no. going to be the next week, which would have been with you. But I can't do that week, so it had to be changed. Oh, oh sorry. Keep on <laughs> dialing through. Um, the Black's very limited just brought the uh, details to your screen, so don't leave that in your basket. I'm back with you bright and early in the morning, jewelry makers. Have a wonderful afternoon, won't you? Thank you, Monica. Oh, we love you. pleasure. It was good fun. And we love you. Bye.